Yeah, OHP baby. Game. There it is. When does it there end, it though? Uh, January. January. Oh, that's a long time. I don't yeah, know if I can stay yeah, that long. Nearly, nearly a year away. Jeez. January. Yeah. <laughs> Just Around after about. March. Yeah. March. <laughs> Good old March. Octumbus. Octumbus. My it's like October, but really long and chunky. Yeah, and it's like, and it's a bit jollier. Because he's fat. Fat man. And we're public. Ew. I mean, yay! That's that, that's that, that's there. Okay. Well, just get into the idea <laughs> of, uh, should we be doing the, the Hassan Twitch saga catch up today? Oh. Right. But yeah, first, that will be Streamlabs. Get them out of the way. Come on, get them done. So, we start with. Uh, Twitch bitches really do be activating my base instincts to fucking hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, please don't. But uh, I, I've lots of rage has been induced from lots of people watching the reactions to all of. Well, not really. Just watching <laughs> the, the things. I suppose it's their reactions to Jay. But <laughs> I just found that on my PC again. <laughs> what? Hang on. Send it, you fool. <laughs> Pachimbo. <laughs> Pachimbo. Oh. Good shit. Do fair Pikachu. And Pachimbo. Uh, Pachimbo. I wish that LEGO games kept the no voice acting, prop acting stuff. The original series is way more funny because they didn't talk. Now it's just talking. Mm. There is some humor, but it's not that good. Uh, yeah, what I've come to discover from playing it is that there is a weird amount of, like... Reliance on simply recanting the scenes as they existed with no changes. It's I've been like, watching your streams. Um, yeah, me too. I think I'm missing like 40 minutes of your. Uh, all I need to catch up on is the last part of your third stream. So that's the Empire Strikes Back mm. part. Uh, Dude, you what saw I've seen it. about this game looks it, it looks very mm -hmm. dull. Did you, did you see shit. The, 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 the Bespin <laughs> part, the fight I had in Bespin when I was waiting for the Millennium Falcon to be repaired. Where I was just, there was a doorway and I was just shooting at the doorway forever. No, I haven't seen right. that bit. That's the, the latter half of the Empire ones, but oh. We'll go into all of that on Saturday, don't you worry, people listening right now. Um, Hawkeye <laughs> clutching Natasha's body. Natasha, what happened? Don't, uh, there's, there's nothing else to that. That's that's just that on its own. I don't know what, uh, anything to you guys? I don't understand. No. I hate you if yeah. I wrote this. Made Metal <laughs> hate you, so good job. Yeah. The dollar meat store is a lie. It's an Asian <laughs> store, so maybe it's a translation issue. However, the prices are far from a dollar. Check out the store on Google Maps. They have pictures of the shop inside and out. Oh, no. We need to confront Dev with his lies. I was gonna oh, say, God. next time he's on, we have to bring this up. Dollar meets... We trusted him, and he led us astray. Yeah, he said he'd oh been in God. there, and he let us Google. believe. He, went, he said he went to the dollar meat store. They had the Nutra trading. Yeah, and, and just let us believe it was a dollar per purchase or whatever, right? Per thing in there? Seems like that might not be the case. He didn't, he didn't say anything about it. I typed in dollar, dollar meat into my Google and it auto corrected, uh, like auto filled in to the dollar meat store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dollar meat to the dollar meat store? Yeah. I can't imagine a dollar meat store being anything but popular. That's uh, that's where everyone wants to be, you know? The has, same one has he been. Is that just what a McDonald's called? The dollar meat store? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they don't just sell meat there, they have fries. Sometimes Some even people, a salad. They have drinks. Deep fried salad. They do have disgusting, like, the meat stuff that they have there. This, this off, it's like the meat of the, like when you watch those semi-dystopian or sci-fi shows where you have the astronauts in space and they're on a long voyage and they eat the weird astronaut food, right? 
toothpaste. That weird <laughs> meaty pasty stuff. I feel like is what McDonald's meat is. It's just this. It will. It's that minus all of the nutrition. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that on chicken nuggets made from some kind of pink slime that gets formed into something. I can't remember because it was it's like really. All the it's, it's like, like all chicken the leftovers. Bit. Yeah, yeah, it's like all yeah. the leftovers just smooshed together and, and blended. Everyone's and reaction to that is always, yeah, okay, I'm still gonna eat them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with chicken nuggets. It's just, I mean, I don't. Are they like where the nuggets? proverbial sausage is made? I just don't, don't want to think about it. It's fine. Uh, I watched all normal EFAP since May 2021. Caught up five months ago. Now going through EFAP movies, etc. Love all you guys do. You made me approach things with more thought. Wish you could go forever. Also, wish me luck with my bachelor degree art at uni. Hell yeah. Yeah, good luck, man. Kick its ass, dude. I also like the idea that people sort of would skip over everything that isn't the mainline EFAP podcast. You'd think EFAP movies would probably get more engagement because it's more edited and, and stuff. And shorter. Yeah, yeah but, but that is not the case. People like the mainline mm. stuff. Oh, fine with me. I, I, I am happy that people are interested at all. I, I didn't even mention gaming there, which we haven't done one in a while. We should, will, I'm and so make a choice game. Yeah. The only reason I have I haven't planned one as well is because I'm not really drinking anything right now because of my diet. <laughs> it's like um, you can have spirits. I know, but I just I was just so into the groove right now. Like I'm just the dropping groove? the weight. Well, the groove of the weights. Um, so good. We'll have to. When, when you like hit a milestone, you'll uh, we can we can have celebrate with having shots of vodka. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey man, it does what it says in the tin. Tastes horrible, gets you drunk. Okay. Gets you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> not. I'm not gonna drink all that nice whiskey Thing. I have in my in my display. I'm just gonna drink the five buck vodka. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the Irish cream where it's like it'll taste like fucking. Best thing ever. Five also make you drunk. No, <laughs> Irish crumbus. Irish crumbus. Crumblo. Crumblo. That's probably the first time, like the, uh, the first time I watched like EFAPs all the way through while you guys were doing one. Drunk on vodka? No, just the the the, the latest ones because I was interested in them because I do you do all the Twitch streaming stuff. And I, I got very mad. <laughs> um, you only finish EFAPs when you're mad? I'm so confused. <laughs> no, I got mad from watching them because those oh. people are insane and horrible. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was funny having Ooh. Devin uh, yeah, people bringing people. being people who are Twitch streamers and then getting told by these videos like you wouldn't understand. You're not a Twitch streamer. And then Hassan being like, you don't make content you wouldn't understand. Mm-hmm. Quite interesting. Yeah, it's, uh... yeah, it must be. It is quite frustrating. I have seen many people say that this this arc, in particular, either the the Hassan or the Denims one, really made people yeah. frustrated. It was well, the Denims gets one off made me quite do... easy because he's so much better than the other two by comparison. Yeah, it's insane how that works. Jesus. Like a 45 minute rant on my stream after I watched it. <laughs> but not the Hassan one, just the Denim's one, isn't it? The Denim's one, that's the one that frustrated me the most. Because it responded to the points and it was so horrible and so wrong. I think um, the Hassan one frustrated me more mainly because of the matter of just, my god, you are like the largest political streamer on Twitch. Oh, yeah. It's like, just that, you're just that a horrible mind, person. Like, Right, whereas just like Denims is just one of many. It was, I don't know. It was, it was a clear it's scale not. to me. Um, our relevant mm -hmm. was an idiot and kind of lied about bits and bobs through not being a better streamer <laughs> in terms of like, be careful with what information you're being given. Right, he sees yeah. the screenshot and he takes it for granted instead of doing anything else with it. Mm -hmm. Denims is a really huge idiot and also a big, very uh, conscious snake. liar. Like, snake, snake she knows grass. exactly what she's doing when she was speaking to Jay. Like, uh, the idea that she gives off the entire opposite statement when faced with potential repercussions, just like, no, that's not an accident. So, but then Hassan, he's like kind of the stupidest one and the biggest liar of them all, and the one with the lies having the most impact. To me, it just scaled Ooh. up. 
Mm -hmm. Something that I uh, realized after catching up on the R place drama is that I think whether or not he knows what he's doing consciously, he knows at least subconsciously. Because, like, the thing that he kept repeating consistently on the R place stuff was dead dog. He kept saying that. Because I don't know if he realized that that's, like, how you earn sympathy points, right, in that situation. Mm -hmm. But you, you just kept saying it over and over and over again. In the same way that he kept saying the same things about Jay over and over again. Yeah. I don't even know if it's like a thing to try well, and reinforce it in his own mind. I don't want to be like a pattern, but... um, Abba and Peach, I think, is the channel. Uh, a lot of people have been talking recently. They made a video about Hassan responding to him, responding to them. Basically, they have comments about the whole um, trans and sports stuff. And he covered them. And then they responded. They made a compilation of... Uh, the amount of times he says transphobic in his response to them, and it's like fucking 50. It's just back to back, constantly being said over and over and over and over again. And, you know, funnily enough, like, from what I'm seeing, they're getting like universal praise for their response to him because they weren't insane. Like, they, they had a pretty reasonable position. Oh, mm -hmm. Abba and Preach, sorry. <laughs> That's one of those words that just doesn't mean anything to me anymore. It's like racist, sexist, misogynist. It's one well, of those. At one point. It's just doesn't mean anything anymore. Uh, Hassan's chat goes it, back like, on him, guys, and he eventually concludes that uh, it's not unfair to call people transphobic because pretty much everybody is. What? Um, nice. But I mean, <laughs> so, if, if, if you reach that point, then you've just kind of removed the... Like, the word doesn't mean anything yeah, anymore. Yeah, like, who cares then? What, why even bother if calling someone? If it describes someone? everything, then it doesn't... It's not helpful as a definition of anything. Yeah. Everyone's transphobic. Everyone is a Nazi kill stream. Yeah, um, so, I don't know, like, seeing that, the thing that, uh, the, the Frings was talking about, the stuff that we've had with, with Jay and everything, it's just like, For those you hope who don't. it, um, it has an effect, uh, long term. I, I feel like it's got to at some stage, right? There's only so many times that you can say something that idiotic that, like, you start to... You gotta just breach that away. fucking bubble, man. You gotta get that... I, well, I think the big thing that protects him is that it just seems like a lot of people want to suck up to him because I guess that's the thing we've learned from this Twitch art. Clout is apparently very important on Twitch, which is something I didn't know. I thought people just played video games and had fun. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that they Back made the day. friends, but... Well, I guess that's the more cynical part, is it's like, does, is anybody friends with anybody on Twitch, or is it all transactional? I'd like to think that it's like they, they, those react streamers, it's all transactional, it's like all it was like it is in that or whatever. Sure. Yeah, well, this, that it's all... I don't know if we've taken it for granted, the fact that if ever one of us is streaming, we can reliably contact at least someone to keep us company. And I wonder yeah. if they have yeah. that situation or not. I wonder if they're in a position where they're just like, well, who's going to stream with me? Unless they can give up the time and I Unless can promise them clout, you know? Something. Well, yeah, if you think about it all as like when you trade time that you're trading something for another, yeah, you, like you gotta think about the utility of everything. Of some kind. When mm -hmm. we've always treated it as just being like, hey, you got a few minutes, you wanna just hang out? <laughs> yeah. Cause well, I mean, something... you can do two things at the same time, you know? Like, just because I'm hanging out in a stream doesn't mean I can't edit or draw or do something. Well, yeah, and, and sorry, what I'm trying to make clear is that we enjoy hanging out. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, so, like, it's if something that, that would happen I regardless of a stream, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Oi, Frogo! Thanos snapping half of the all, all animals confirmed in the movie itself. Time to rescript. Uh, Funny that Google's Thanos Easter egg literally fixes the snap with the time stone, not another snap. So I don't. I'm. I'm pretty sure it is not explicitly in the film. I, they say fifty percent of they, all they link living this? creatures, I don't know if, right? Does this help? Whatever this is. Um, I mean, feel like I don't even need it really to explain how fucked everything is. But let's see. Oh yeah, I'm just. Um, I can't check it because copyright. But I'm curious if. They've linked that. Oh, as apparently evidence. the sound of the birds get quieter. Okay, well, so the problem is like, uh... man, I. So, the pro I, I guess the thing is, I'm am given I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt that it's like not everything because if it's everything, it's completely falls apart. Like, if Thanos destroys half of all living creatures, then he's destroyed like all life. Yeah, no, it, it's already bad enough as it is, but. If you include every form of entity that's considered living, slash sentient, slash both, or whatever, then it's just, we're done though. like, um... Well, just think about all of the, uh, the ecosystems that collapse. 
Like, I'm at half of plankton disappear. Like, that's gonna just kill all fish. Just, yeah. You... It, it, like, it nearly did in the, um, in the, when we had, I, yeah, that's what I mean. I don't even think I care to, like, go back and put that in. I, I gave the film the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I also think that might be pushing it too far, because I think people might be like, well, no, that's stupid, like, why would you assume that, even just even though Kevin Feige said it? Well, I guess... One thing that I try to be consistent on in this video is I'm not doing any, like, external, I don't care what was said in quotes, I don't care what the Russo brothers said or what Kevin Feige said, I'm just relying entirely on, like, what is in the film. I suppose, um, you have a throwaway line to explain that you're not going to be assuming that, but if you did... Would be catastrophic yeah that's uh that's an easy fix yeah i can i can find a way to fit to be that fair in. that could go anywhere in the script really someone said birds and are brought back on screen when really yeah i don't because in endgame we don't see anybody get brought back uh in one division we're in a hospital and i can't think of any other examples where anybody was outside where we could see birds coming back into view i don't remember that but i could believe it um, and I guess as well, if it's, uh, minutes after the snap, why would it be minutes later? I thought everybody came back straight away. Birds are slower. <laughs> are they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the uh, you hear the birds come back. Well, maybe you hear them, but I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's good enough. <laughs> like, maybe they got I... surprised. Maybe they just got surprised by all these fucking people everywhere all of a sudden. They started going, oh, the thing these trees about... and birds. Well, I, yeah, sure, but like, I figured those birds were just there, and it's just like, ah, see, everything's happy now. Not that the birds themselves got dusted and came back. Oh, that's Man. worth highlighting as well. Someone in chat just mentioned it, and I did see the trailer for it. They're, they're doing like a walking with dinosaurs, but with David Attenborough commenting on it as though it's like a planet Earth type thing and mm -hmm. super high graphics, and I was just like, ooh. Wow, BBC like... with Earth React Meta. Wow. I think, I'll, I think I'll, <laughs> I'll be watching that. I'm so much more interested by the fucking, like, the recreations of past life compared to new li uh, current life, even though current life's amazing. That's just, like, how it goes. Show me more T-Rex. Doing T-Rex thing. Guarantee it, it will be better than Jurassic World Dom Dominion. He thinks it worked. I, I just never figured that it was because the birds got snapped back into existence. I never thought that, ever. I just thought he felt that way because of an, a feeling that he had. Like oh wait, Finn. is that what they're saying? Like it worked because he sees birds? Well, he goes out to the window and he looks out and there's a tree and there's birds and he says, I think it works. I just oh. assumed that he got a feeling, like an, a, a gut feeling that it was working. I didn't I didn't take that as the... I mean, I have to watch out. it again, but to be honest with you, that yeah. that probably would be enough to tip me on that, yes, they were trying to argue that the animals have come back. Oh, hold on. All right. That they... Okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, and to be fair, right, we're only pushing back on this because it just makes the, the film so it's much even worse. worse. <laughs> yeah, like, um... We're gonna attempt to protect the already broken, ruined remains. <laughs> just showed up from Jay's stream. Jay was streaming? On Twitcheroonies, yeah. Legos? Nah, I was doing like was reading an article or something. Oh, okay. About Doctor Who. I, don't <laughs> know, I, I only give it a short okay. look see. Doctor Who is lame. Yeah, like you. Yeah, that's why I know. Oh, okay. I can see the cringe. I own cringe snack. <laughs> okay. All right, an apparently terrible React video from some Twitch nutter named R Relevant. I survived Quinton, Jack Saint, and EFAP8493, the debates, and Grace Randolph, so I should be well prepared. I have my emergency blunt ready just in case, though. Hi, Rags. Hello. This person's called Fields of Weed, and they've posted <laughs> one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six paragraphs for me to go through in a row. Oh, boy. Jeez. So, I suppose, interrupt me if you want to, but I'm going to try and just read this all as one thing, because I think it is one thing. Burned through my doobie in the first hour of 179 was the irrelevant one, right? 
I had to go to my field to roll up another for the, another. Enough for another, sorry. I'm not trying to get toasted, but listening to that hovel inhabited dozer is putting my sanity to the test. Hi, Rag. Hi, Mola. Hi, Chris Rock in mask. Hello. Hi. Chris Rock in mask? You want Sitch? I don't have an answer for that. Because okay, he's well, black. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he then says, took a tinkle, hit the shitter, and flushed the fringy. Alright, I have about five tokes now. My field is looking sparse. Soon it shall give So he missed when he was tinkling? Like he hit the rim with his pee? Took a tinkle, hit the shitter, flushed the fringy. I'm not entirely certain of exactly what the... That could mean a couple things. Because <laughs> I'm thinking... Because in my head, I'm thinking... Because if you're going to do both, it's almost like if you if you go if you say I'm going to go use a number two, that doesn't mean that. Well, generally that implies you're going to do both because they tend to, you know, it all just sort of happens down mm. there. Mm. You're taking a number two. I've never heard someone so specifically say I took a number one and then took a number two. Yeah, and two is like a package deal. You get one for free. It is absolutely a package deal. You do get one for free. You get them both. People don't, yeah, people don't say, I'm going to take a number one and a number two. You and they, they don't say. come back from a number two saying, I took, it turns out I also took a number one as well. You know, they say there's two ones and two. There is. Yeah. Two is. Say. Think about it. A one and a one. Mm-hmm. If you, how, if you take two number ones, though, not no. generally the same. They don't recommend that. As, don't want to do that. <laughs> Who knows what'll happen. Uh, so... Says, um, I'm at five tokes now. My field is looking sparse. Soon it shall giveth neither cannabis nor fucks. Um, okay. Only two hours left to go. Hi, Rag. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Mola. Hi, Efap Chat. Hi, Mysterious Green Goo Man. Hello to you. My field gone. My blunts used. My tokes burned. All in sacrifice to my sanity. But I made it through. Our retarded was apparently the best one, and 180 is denims, and I'm not prepared. I'll invite my dealer. We can get stoned together for it. Heil Ragu Uwu. Heil Uwu. Um, Strange. And someone else is like, is there a... Uh, if there was a Lego game, Game of Thrones Seasons 1 through 4 game, what do you think the best parts would be? Um... I don't know. I guess, because I don't even know how they would approach it. You know, I think the the normal thing to do would be like to appeal to maybe the best action scenes, but you know, the, the fucking boss fights in LEGO games aren't exactly very good, so... I'd have to figure out what the best parts of the LEGO games even are at first, and I am I am quite, you know, painted, in a sense, with, with my view of LEGO mechanics for now. Um, yeah. Uh, here we go. Time for 180. My dealer is with me. He brought that good shit. It won't matter how bad this bint is. Ah, I know that word. Uh, bint. when I know that word too. me and my toke bloke are toasted to Tuesday, he spread this toke weird bloke. green goo shit on his. Says it's top shelf shit. Heil rag, heil Mola. Heil. Hi. Um, my dealer bounced and my brain broke. Barely an hour in, I can't stand this blithering lobotomite. And no grass to bamboozle my noggin, just pure molar filtered mental anguish that is denims. Uh, fuck, I miss Ra. This bimbo would have been defenestrated by now. Ra wouldn't have liked denims, that's true. Mm -hmm. You're talking about, like, Ra the Egyptian god Ra? Yeah. Oh no, Fringy. Uh, that was just wondering as all that Ra's just chilling out like you know what I don't, I don't really like the state of react content on twitch it's been bugging me for a bit i mean he runs what one of the best streams so it doesn't surprise me <laughs> the streak he does in a sense doesn't he just done 24 hour story, days so. seven days a week for the last four billion years he's just been really trying That's He's been working hard on improving his content, and he's like, well, you know, this this thing's gonna blow up, and uh, this stream's really gonna blow up soon. He might just be contacting some people higher up to get something done about this, that's what I've heard. So yeah, keep that in mind. 
took a toilet and, break. And, oh, go ahead. Do you think there's anyone who's wondering why you're uh, playing Double Dash instead of Lego Star Wars? <laughs> why? Would... <laughs> <laughs> I've still got to fucking play the sequels. I'm gonna do that tomorrow and. Oh fuck, if I don't finish it tomorrow. You're gonna try to one stream it, just blow through those puppies? Oh, I suppose I can do it on Friday. It'll just be around the other thing we're doing. Yeah, do that. Um, I'll allow it. Took a toilet break, flushed the fringy, was gonna look at some lesbo porn, then I saw EFAP with denims in my other monitor. Choked the chicken to gay bro porn instead. I have that post nut clarity, I'm ready to continue 180. Wish me luck, rooftop god. Okay. There's three goddamn versions of this tart so far. What kind of fucked Chris Crisis on Infinite Earth garbage is this? We got parallel universe right. versions of this one nut all within this reality. Makes me realize God does really does exist and he fucking hates us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice. a wild ride we're reading. Yeah. There. He's yeah, that was what a journey. Getting through a lot here. I feel like Doctor Strange from Infinity War. I went forward in time to view alternate futures to see all the possible outcomes of this coming conflict. 14 million, 605, and she's a fucking moron in each and every one. <laughs> <laughs> the end with that, that is That is funny. Like, maybe before the stream starts, you're sitting there with your legs crossed and you're floating, and then you look over to us and you raise your hand and it's just a zero. <laughs> We're doomed. Fingers are just round for O. It just ends with, I blame Friggy. Oh. Uh, I mean... That is kind of fucked up, Friggy. Um, this is it. No weed, no dealer, and I already flushed the Fringy. Now, all I can do is endure listening through EFAP to this sentient sea sponge that poorly tries to pass itself off as human because, like a sea sponge, only shit comes out of its mouth. I think that was uh, the Asan one, so. I already flushed the fringy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way to say it. You guys have discussed a lot about animal fights on Super Chat Catch-Ups, but how about this one? Who'd win in a fight? A Bruce Lee in his prime versus a Mike Tyson in his prime in the Octagon. UFC rules. I don't know the UFC rules, so... And also, I don't really know that much about their fighting prowess. I just know that they're both really good at it, so... I'm not equipped to answer this question. For some reason, I like I jumped to Tyson, um, but I guess there's no fucking way I could possibly know. Tyson in his prime is like terrifying. Yeah, but then again, of course he is. We're talking about Bruce Lee, so what does chat think? We got Tyson, Tyson, Lee, Tyson. Tyson, 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 Tyson. That just be by virtue of Tyson being the larger man out of the two of them. It could be, yeah. Tyson's punches, man. Yeah. Have you ever seen like a knockout compilation from him? No. Mike Tyson. Yeah, like. It was, uh, I don't know, maybe someone in chat will know, but there was a fight that I saw where, like, opening begins, and, like, the, the, it's, a, it's a big, it's a guy who looked kind of, might have been a little bit bigger than him as well, he was a white guy, he, like, walks toward him, and, um, he goes to throw a punch, Tyson dodges it and just does one punch to him, and he's just on the ground immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, ooh. Yeah, that was the other thing, Tyson was really quick. As well as being yeah. a fucking weighty, weighty boy. One punch! <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. There's not much we can discuss with that one, I guess. Um, theoretically, it could be either of them. I would probably... Because this is a weird way, way to do this question, but let's just say, you know, a wizard hands you $50 and he's like, I'm going to fucking force you to put this on one of the two to win, even with your limited knowledge. Who are you going to do? Um, what would you guys' answer be? Between Mike Tyson and who? Uh, Bruce Lee. I, d I just... I have no idea. I I just don't know enough about either of them. Uh, I, know. Yeah, but, I I guess, like, in in a like a, a fight in the ring, 
Yeah. Sounds like it would be Tyson. I think it'd be Tyson. Yeah. 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 I think That'd that kind of fight, I think it's just... I think Mike Tyson, just the sheer strength and tankiness of him, he's just a, a strange beast from another dimension <laughs> who could just punch his way through life, and I, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I can't know for sure, but I'd just probably go with Tyson. Uh, of course, Hassan the... Oh, I don't even know if you're allowed to say that word. I can't remember. Uh... We'll, well, damn we'll, yeah, we'll rely on the safe side. I, just, I, I genuinely don't know if we're allowed or not. Uh, he's a thieving bastard. He steals lead off church roofs and wines when mommy is late with his tendies. Next, he'll be flogging pegs and heather. Um, all right. <laughs> I don't know what Hassan will get up to next, but bad. Uh, it seems like morbid people will be ready to pay attention to it because it he's pretty reliably like, um... stupid at this point. <laughs> Seems like the reputation is starting to turn, uh, main, mainly because of the Ukraine stuff. But then also that was fucking bizarre to see. Brother. Yeah, man, holy so shit! So smug um, well, as well. I mean, the, the really awkward one as well with that Adam something like the I man like he always gets so mad when he's like insulting people, and like I said, he seems to resort to like the really I don't know, man. Like words like filth. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain... I don't know, there's just something about that that just feels a bit harsher than if you call someone, like, an asshole. you know? <laughs> well, especially if you're modifying it with Eurocentric stuff, like, Euro... Yeah. Trash, Euro... Felt. It's like, what's, yeah, what's, what's, what's... it seems more dehumanizing. Well, I mean... Well, it, I mean, just switch out Hungarian with, like, any Black. other... Well, you gotta go with nations, right? Like, if you said Mexican, well, then, I think a lot of people would well, be like... Yeah. Well, I mean, hung, hung, Hungarian, right? In the uh, backyards, yeah, I suppose, but are, I, I guess it, it would be, um, it's more, it's more readily identified probably as a national identity. No, nah, maybe, no, nah, maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah. I Either think it, way. It, I think it would help illustrate it to the fucking world very quickly if you said swap out hun Hungarian for Mexican. Because, uh, yeah. I think people would be ready people to, uh, understand it that way and then be like, oh yeah, that would be really bad. He said, filthy Mexicans. People would be like, oh, holy no. shit. Yeah, of course. Because you're not meant to do these things on the basis of people's, <laughs> like, national identities or ethnicity. It's bad. <laughs> not a good thing to do, it's true. Yep. And then you're like, well, who is this guy? Like, a super edgy gamer bro? And you're like, uh, no, just the leader of the left on Twitch. <laughs> The people who are like, are very, you have to consider people's feelings. Yeah. People, people say, no, he's not a political commentator. It's like, I don't know, man, seems to talk a lot about political subjects. I don't so. know. Mm. I've seen yeah, people say, like, you're supposed to take him seriously in that regard. He's just like a fun person that does fun. He yeah, doesn't yeah, really sound fun. like a fun person. He doesn't fun. sound like fun. Holy, I, I don't know why you would even think he's a fun well, person. I, it's funny how I said he doesn't sound like fun. I fucking, I've fucking suffered through three full streams yeah, of his yeah. at this point. But also, like, hasn't AOC come on as... It's not like he's not being taken seriously by people who recognize that he has some level of influence. Yes. Um, though a lot of people do look at that as a... They didn't give a fuck about him. They were just using his platform to be like, vote Bernie, you know? Yeah, that doesn't... How does that still not illustrate the point, though? That well, because he would be replaced in an instant if he wasn't the, the highest, like, streamer, I guess. Sure. I, I don't know what that means to me. I think a lot of people could be replaced if they didn't so somehow I'm saying become... So not invested in him as a character, it's more so his oh, viewership. Right. Uh, yeah, sure, I get you. One person who... Because why the fuck would you be invested in him as a person? Like, in a good way. <laughs> One person who are regular... I mean, maybe, maybe you're interested in what it feels like to live in a... Was it like a $3 million <laughs> like, like, Yeah, you know what, yeah. Plenty of people be like, I, hey man, I'll be your I, friend, I can I hang out with your badger? My favorite part of that, when people are trying to defend it, is West Hollywood's expensive. I looked it up, the median house price in West Hollywood is like a million dollars, so it's like... It's like twice the median. Okay, one Sorry, million, no, three million, million, why is that three significant? And also, you don't have to live in West Hollywood, you could live in Tucson, Arizona. Well, <laughs> just think about it this way, a million makes you a millionaire. Three million, you'd be a millionaire. They're both... It's millionaire. Both, you know, millionaire, yeah. like, it's not much difference. Yeah. I... Uh, 
Yeah. Remember, it's fine to be a millionaire now. Now it's about billionaires. Now well, it's I mean, about billionaires, become billionaires, yeah. but not all. I mean, it's really just I whatever. Before honestly. Hassan gets a billion, then he's like, those fucking trillionaires, man. <laughs> mm hmm. They're the wow. real problem. About the super wealthy. Or whatever they said. Three million is a multi-millionaire. Yeah, categorically, definitionally, three million is a multi-millionaire. You have multiple millions. Yeah, you're right. True. It is, it's um, but it's also just remember, remember Ooh. when we talk about one percent. If you're, if you are, I'm pretty sure in the United States, like no matter where you live, if you're making like three hundred thousand dollars a year, you're like categorically in the one percent. It doesn't take much to be in the one percent. Well, I mean, it does obviously, right? <laughs> Blood, it doesn't it, take but... as much as you think, maybe. Well, it doesn't take no, as much yeah. in, in the world of Hassan, where he fucking describes himself as like, I'm just a working class guy. It's like, fuck yeah. off. Well, You're not doing well, the work so... of working class, and you certainly don't have the brackets of a working class well, person. Well, I don't know that he's ever been working class, right, in terms of his background. Did, 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 isn't he, I mean, unless we have different, very different definitions of what working class means. I would guarantee you, you do. Well, of course we do. <laughs> I'm just... But I mean, I'm pretty sure mine more closely aligns with reality. But... <laughs> My mine is more, um, you know, right. <laughs> yeah. I guess, uh, well, yeah, so, um, uh, it's because on the 1%, remember, in the United States, a country of what, 330, 40 million people, the 1% is 3.4 million people. It's like enough people who live in, in like the county of Los Angeles, right? So that's how many people are in the 1%. And I think it's just easy to remember that, like, Billionaires are a very, very, very small number of people. There's a lot more millionaires. Dude, he would outright call himself poor if it weren't so absurd. Like, he would, he would I be mean, like, I am kind of poor. That's one of those. I only have one mansion. Yeah. That is one of those matters of perspective, right? You take in the whole world population, like all people on the planet, my dude. <laughs> like. If you're middle class in like a Western country, you're already doing pretty well by global standards. But if you're like living in a three million dollar house in West Hollywood, oh, by the way, the original plan was to put the yeah. um, the working class comment back to back with "keep hating your life." Then, um, but I couldn't find the origin for that clip. Yeah. Well, it's a good one though, isn't it? It's kind also, of a bit awkward. I didn't want to use ones that I couldn't at least see the origin in the clip. If you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, the full context. Yeah. Because, well, just, it's covering my ass a little bit to know that they actually said it, rather than it being, you know, fucking made up or some shit. There's a chance. Uh, especially with <laughs> fucking how many people hate him at this point, which, yeah, that's an ever-growing group. He used mm -hmm. to be a little bit untouchable. He is not anymore. Well, um, I guess, uh, it's a matter of, um, the, the second that there is, like, a real viable alternative to him that has as much traction, I think that would be the point when it probably starts to collapse. Somebody who has as much traction, but it's just a little bit more intelligent than he is. Just a little, a little less angry, as well. Yeah. He is a very uh, upset. He is, well, just, he's a very well, childish person. Like, just focused surely anger. He's hard. Like, anger where yeah. it's fucking good to bring it to, out. Like, one person who said something on Twitch, it's like, I feel like that's got to be an ode to, hey man, just because you're rich doesn't mean that's going to make you happy. <laughs> like, you got to, oh God, you got to yeah. sort out something in there in your brain that makes you so mad when one chatter says something that upsets you, you know? The maddest I ever up. see him is when he's responding to people fucking criticizing him. Well, yeah, it was, it was the out of something thing, right? When he was getting so mad that um, all good faith evaporated and then he starts calling him like, you know, just like get real, uh, Dude, real cruel. It's man. kind of interesting because we talked about, you know, like how if you call an idiot, asshole, piece of shit, garbage, yeah. blah, 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 it might, like, I could see that not getting to him at all because even if in the clip he's like, call me a Turk roach, do it. Like, but when you say, <laughs> yeah, I know, but when you say, um, yeah, Hassan has a limited view because he's got an American centric. A POV on everything political, so he can't understand very European true. politics. That is like a very calm way of saying you're a useless source on this, mm -hmm. and so it fucking infinitely pisses him off. Probably yeah. because of the fact that it's packaged with nobody else sees it as that offensive. It's just like, oh yeah, you do, you kind of are American. Maybe you are viewing it a bit, and he's just like, fuck, like don't say this. I can't handle it. And so yeah, he when immediately he says like, well you're fucking yeah. you're Hungarian. Fuck you. <laughs> Which is such a, a, such a, isn't it a funny response? I don't think you're well informed enough to talk about this. Yeah, well, you're Hungarian. It's like, what the, what? <laughs> like, 
my, what are we doing? People, I didn't know that we were so reviled. <laughs> <laughs> Those pesky Hungarians. Uh, Metal, did you do any streams on the Twitch stuff? No, I, uh, not specifically. I did like a 45 minute rant after I watched that EFAB. Uh, the Denim's <laughs> one. Yeah, you that. Uh, I, I was busy creating my own content on Twitch. That is possible, contrary to popular belief. I don't I, believe I, you. I, I do it all the time, it's insane. No. No, um, no. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of Hassan talk in this catch-up, by think, the way. Uh, I, I think the really, the really interesting part of the, uh, of that whole reaction, though, was his, uh, failure to under- So, like, there's one part where Adam something says that- Um, he, he phrases Adam it in a way that's a little- That's his name. Um, he phrases it in a way that's a little stilted. Um, that he says that, like, nuclear war would not be the- But essentially the sentiment was nuclear war would not end humanity, he's, which is probably He's true. literally correct, it's just not very he, effective yeah. optically or well, rhetorically, yeah, saying, I guess saying, I would say. Saying that- saying on nuclear war, sure, it would suck, just kind of sounds a bit That's, floompy. Yeah, I wouldn't um, put it that But, like, way. The, sentiment, the sentiment is- it's true that it wouldn't end the world. And then, something that was really I weird mean. was that Hassan said something along the lines of, like, if there's a nuclear war, you die, not me. Like, I'm in yeah. California. Yeah, that was so a good fucking... Like, what? Like, you gotta I'll understand. on the list. <laughs> if, well, yeah, like, there were enough- there are enough nuclear missiles to blow up like every city on Earth that has more than a million people. Um, it's and it's, you're in the United States. If there were a nuclear war, United States is gone. I would expect London <laughs> pretty to be much new. Like if we're talking about oh, all our oh, world like, war, um, like where it's just fucking Europe, nukes flying everywhere, London's going. California's oh, yeah, going. Like, you're, you're, the Europe would be of turned, Zambia, they'd be alright, maybe. Europe would be, like, wiped off the face of the Earth, but, I mean, like, pretty much oh, every right. major American city would be gone, too. I, I guess it's yeah. just when he said... He says something like that, and then he starts, like, laughing about, haha, I'd survive and you wouldn't. It's like, are you... Like, how do you... I... <laughs> Dude, he I, fucking like, said, I hope you get drafted to the people in his chat. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is fucking yeah, crazy. Right. Like, what? This, this, this fighting aged male sitting in his fucking chair yeah. telling everyone, I hope you get drafted. Yeah. He's very well, physically he's, fit as well. Yeah, he he's works out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's quite a large target. I, I just love the, that that guy is with him, his reaction, where he's just like, whoa, what, what? <laughs> yeah, it's, bro. What? It's, it's like he's only half registered what's happening. He's like, what, what, what? No, what? But he, re oh, he realized, like, you, mm -mm, that's, why, why mm, would that's you say a, that? <laughs> mm, let's not do that, no. This reaction was really funny, and I was like, Almost stone. It's like, mm, oh, oh. <laughs> takes a second to realize what's just been said. It's like, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, you... it's, it's really funny to see Hassan doing that with other people there, because like suddenly you have the perspective yeah. on it. If someone else being in the room, you can be like, what? Mm hmm. Well, um, there's a clip that I considered throwing in, but then I just thought there's no fucking point because we have to explain the whole drama behind it. But you know, like the cracker stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. He yeah. like. It, it, he did get temp banned for for saying it in you know, like a, I think he the the specific usage was like someone in chat complaining and then he says like shut the fuck up you like dirty ass cracker or something oh. like that. It was just like, yeah, oh, that was really bad. It was yeah, really well, bad. It, oh. there's no it, it qualifies for Racial all of the things. Slurs, love yeah. Him. Um, yeah. But anyway, like he's talking about the issue with Pokimane in the background, and um, she's. Like awkwardly being like, stop, um, you need to stop talking about this, stop saying it. How about that? <laughs> just mm -hmm. like, because he keeps going on and on and on about how it's totally fine that everyone should be able to say it all the time. And she's just like awkwardly realizing, like, man, uh, I wonder if there'll be sorry. repercussions for this. <laughs> this is a funny little coinky dink. I just, when I looked up on the stream, I noticed you're playing Yoshi's Island on a on Mario Kart and GameCube. I just mm. raced on Yoshi's Island, in, oh, uh, Yoshi Circuit, sorry, in uh, Mario Kart 8. Neat. What are the odds? Pretty low, actually, because there's pretty a lot low, of courses. Yeah, yeah, I still have to find Yoshi's Island in Elden Ring. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Probably is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just keep looking. Yeah. Pronounced, uh, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Yoshi. I'm pretty sure you Yoshi. should shut the fuck no. up. Oof. Because uh, yeah. I thought it was All Yoshi. Right. No, stop. It's your, well, I just did a I sick burn. <laughs> Yoshi, Yoshi says Yoshi, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, Professor Xavier says Professor Xavier. <laughs> yeah, no, I know he does. <laughs> I, we've had this conversation, though. Yeah, no, I don't know what the conclusion was. 
I think the conclusion was, yeah, I don't know why I said Xavier. It is Xavier. That's what he says. Oh. Do you think Hassan would say, up, like, filthy fucking mutants? Reason. Oh, yeah, he would, yeah. <laughs> Yet Morla can get first place. I got first place. Yeah. Well, he would say that if it was considered, if it was deemed acceptable by the team. His, his the peers, team. yeah. No, He'd be like, like you know, <laughs> I guess he'd I'm, be like yeah, feeling I it up as like a mutants. Yeah. Mutants? Do we need to protect mutants or not? And so, oh no! Oh, okay, then it's a, then it's something I can denigrate people with. Go back cool. to your mutant hole. The world, the world you get is drafted, you filthy mutant. <laughs> the world is simultaneously simpler yet more complicated when you're operating through one of these lenses because you can never just derive it from principle. But as long as you stick to it rigidly, you never have to introspect or think about whether or not your positions oh, yeah. are stupid. Thought leaders have become a fucking problem throughout all communities on the internet, kind of. Like, the people well, make jokes about it I mean, on our subreddit, where they're just like, Oh, this new film's coming out, what does everyone think? I'm waiting for EFAP's coverage, and then I'll know what to think. Like, they say that as a joke, but like, there are some uh, people yeah. who... I imagine the Batman was probably one of them, where they were like, This is good, right? This is great, right? Right? You're right, right? right? Yeah. Please? Yeah. <laughs> make, make, sure, make, sure to, uh, make sure to be your own thought leader. Oh, yeah. Seems like a good idea, in general. Yeah, well, if your thoughts are shit, then get someone else leader. to have them for you. <laughs> if your thoughts are shit. Like, you have really shit thoughts. Well, sure, but you can improve those shit. by thinking less shit thoughts. And no, 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 just get someone else to do it yeah, for it's quicker, you, man. Just get like, it's, it is yeah, quicker. It's less you hassle. Just, anytime that there's any issue or thing that you need to try and figure out, just look at who, what your favorite streamer says and then just co-op their added ideology directly. That's why drama is so popular, it. because it's two thought leaders clashing. Mm -hmm. That's when it's like, oh boy. I need to know what to think, so whoever wins yeah. this one gets my thoughts. Well, but also, because no, if my be right. guy loses, if my guy loses, it's partly an indictment on me. Oh, come on, they just switch. The thing, they no, just fucking if, switch if you consider, If you consider it, if you consider that your guy has... If you consider your guy losing to be an indictment on you, you don't consider that they lost, you think they won. I was, well, I was gonna say, You're those like, are the two results. Either you ignore anything, like the Hassan people, or you just switch thought leaders. You're like, I like this guy now. That must be nice to escape any sort of yep. internal account yep. within yourself. Because <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because, dude, they, there are people who are probably like the hardest core, um, crazy like Nazi people who've switched all the way over to the other side of like communism or whatever, who've like felt like, I've been right most of my life. I have. Right, like they don't even appreciate any changes in perspective it, or... Like, you know, back, back when Nazism was true, I believed in that. And now that it's not anymore, I'm a communist. <laughs> Yeah, easy. <laughs> there you go. That's how I was always right. <laughs> uh, uh. I used to watch reaction videos. Don't anymore because I agree it is morally dubious. That's not. Well, it depends, right? We do that reaction videos. That wasn't the takeaway. That wasn't the takeaway. That was not the takeaway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do watch it. Watch my so... fucking video. I was gonna right, say, no, your video is Fight all you. bad faith. I don't want to watch bad hey, faith videos. Good question. Has anyone watched your video and come away understanding what you said? Is a... You have. Oh, I guess I don't count. None of us. I, I, I don't know excluded, what the fuck okay? we were talking about. Yeah, no. I don't. I still don't know. I was just. <laughs> I think Xander hold it. About well, is this video phenomenon with it? your he video was, where everyone understood. just refuses to understand the words you used and instead invents a bunch <laughs> of shit? Charlie. Well, uh, yeah, well, Charlie did. The... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There As well, um, Xanderhol and Chud Logic both covered it, and they seem to get the the right idea of what I was saying. It's crazy because you were so aggressive in it that I think that that kind of put people off. Yeah, all the yelling. People I just really didn't, didn't want to like watch the it. part where I like where I where I, I I brought on a child and I was like, this child represents the son, and then I beat up the child. <laughs> people didn't like that. And then at the end, the you're part... like, see, this is what Hassad does. You're like, <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the reason is that I could watch a video I liked for a second time while tricking my brain into enjoying it like it was the first time I was watching it. Um, Good trick, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused, I'm gonna be honest with you. But, um, hope you enjoyed the second and, uh, time. The last of the Streamlabs ones from everything other than today is I'd ask Hassan, what does your Uncle Chank's buffalo cum taste like with a donation if I didn't value my money as much as I do? <laughs> Jay, do you want to answer that one? Um, I just heard like buffalo cum or whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, 
It's pronounced Jenk, by the way. It's pronounced. Uh, I looked it up because I was gonna. I was gonna use his name in a video that I was making, and then I just just rescript. Well, I don't. I don't exactly script, but I redrafted the line. Didn't have his name. It's pronounced Jenk, with like a, a J sound. So get wrecked. Oh, well, I have no idea. I just go off what other people have said. Well, oh, I mean, wow, it's... a sun moment right there. Well, no, that, that that's how I do. We've just established with Yoshi and Xavier, Xavier, you know. Ah, uh, well. I know, I know that it's pronounced like that because I've seen a video of him explaining how you pronounce it. So, a f appeal to authority. Oh, wow. You're an authority. <laughs> yeah. Get wrecked. No true person with a name has to explain how their name works. Is that like a rule? Yes, that is. Well, that's it for Streamlabs. So now we're going to move on to the... Uh, the Super chats of that stream, which Schleem laps. Guys. I'm right here. Hello. Oh, I'm you. on the right. No. I'm gone anyway, yeah. God, everything's about you, man. It should be. No, I've I've petitioned for that, but I've not gotten any <laughs> results so far. Damn it. <laughs> Banners for flowing from the temple of metal. Mm. Metallicus. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Why can't I find the beginning of it? Really want to go reverse order. Mm hmm. Weird. It's funny. So, what are the like fuck? Scrolling, and there's so many insults to Hassan. I'm just like, so I'm definitely <laughs> in the right area. <laughs> right area. So, what, what, what are the odds that someone uploads a video of his. <laughs> Craftable only run while I finish up my one. My one. <laughs> the odds are very high, okay? Everyone's obsessed with doing different runs in that game. Sorry. They probably did ones for like the other games, right? <clears throat> oh, he, do he does like a, a whole bunch of uh, challenge runs. Watch a bunch of his videos. It's actually pretty good. It's fun stuff. But just the, the, the fucking odds, like, because I even tweeted, I was like, oh, I think as far as I'm aware, I'm the first one to do this. And then I just look it up at Google, it's like, did someone try this? And like, on the day yesterday, it's full upload. <laughs> it's like, fuck. <laughs> and he even beat Radagon with, uh, I, I just skimmed through and I was like, oh shit, you actually got him. Because I thought that part might be an impossibility with how little damage is done with pro bullshit. Radagon? I beat yeah. Radagon. Not really. I beat Radagon normally. You, that's normal? What do you mean? I r r rode around him and used poison and stuff. Oh, what I saw was you, like, stunned him infinitely. What? That's what you sent me. With Radagon? Yeah, the first phase of the... Uh, final oh, the, uh, the bad guy uh, oh, in the hang, great no, mouse hang on, hang on. I'm right? just I'm mix I'm mixing up tisms. Um, I I I was thinking of Radan just now. Wow. Well, you played the game <laughs> for like three times as much as me. Gosh. Man of man of Radan. <laughs> but yeah, he he did. I know it was possible that way, but I just couldn't be asked. <laughs> when I found out wow. about that, I was gonna do it like this. <laughs> but I beat more bosses. Anyway, so I'm still better. That's no man. I don't, have to, I don't have to know their names to fucking stab them. Yeah, you know, some people think, think that uh, Radagon's harder than uh, Melania. And I was like, oh shit, really? Um, did he get See, Melania, I cheesed the fuck out of her too. <laughs> ah. I used the zip glitch to break her AI and just kill her that way. Oh. Yeah. I tried a couple of times and I just I couldn't even get her to like any health down because I threw something and then she punished me back and got the health back immediately. It's like oh, mm -hmm. I wonder if that makes the the run kind of less meaningful though because it's like I'm only using these weapons to beat the fights. You're like oh that's really cool and it's like but I glitched the fights. Like okay, the one fight and Radagon. Oh the other ones I didn't without. But uh, of of. Two of the fights that you get a glitch. Two of the one of them's the half the final boss, and the other one is the hardest boss of the game. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. CJ agrees. Yeah, it's agree. fine. I just don't talk about it anymore. It's okay. 
No, it's fine. It's okay. It was impressive with all the ones. Oh, that oh you now did it's eat. impressive. Okay. But, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 Metal. If it makes you feel any better, I don't think it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the spirit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about this game, so I think that you can you no, can neither do definitely I. achieve something. Something was I, I don't know anything about it, which is why I'm not impressed. You know, if it's like you heard like, hey, did you hear like Glamulon? He did the um, he did the Frangus in only three attacks. Oh yeah, is that impressive? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. He wow, did you don't Frangus. care about Flamulon? He did the Bleem run. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I worked really hard on that run. Okay. In 17 Schleams, he was able to pass the Glorp test. It was that's pretty fast. It was really something else. I didn't think it was even possible. To be fair, that's essentially what the whole fucking lied about possibly do with the Kessel Run and X Pasax shit was for the longest time. It's just like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's I guess good. that's impressive. Or at least Han. What if Han Solo. It could be that Han Solo is literally the only person in the universe who thinks that's impressive. So he brought it up to these two people in this bar in this backwater scumville, and they're just like, uh, uh, okay, okay, and See no one quickly. else thinks that's impressive. Even even Chewie, when he hears Han say that, he's like, ugh. This I'd love that to be like consistent. I'd love that to be a consistent trait of Han that he just thinks that things are way more impressive than they are. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's talking to like he's to, he's like talking to Leia like, hey, guess what? I've got five inches. <laughs> Nice. She's like, that's Horrific, that's that's cool. Horrifically thick. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking hit myself with an egg. <laughs> I hate when it happens. Um, I, I would find Solo's getting if... hit with eggs too when he tells him about the castle run. <laughs> the, uh... I like the idea that it's just an, an, a totally normal way to do the castle run. It's like that's that's yeah, that's pretty standard. Or it's slightly, it's slightly, it's in average range, but it's sort of the low end of average. Yeah. Or... Like he's, you know, he's going like, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually five eleven. That's my height. Yeah. yeah that might be impressive. No, he's now five work. ten. Oh, well, you know, he's there five is, ten and a half. There is a fridge on the Millennium Falcon in the in this kitchen, and constantly Chewie is having to put up Han Solo's drawings that he makes while they're going through space. Oh, cute. That's really cute. <clears throat> <laughs> and then, like, like you know, towards the. Um... After he's, you know, he's, he's, I was about to say after he's, he's given birth to Kylo Ren. Um, um after we, Kylo Ren yeah, exists, yeah, yeah, so after and, Kylo and, Ren and exists. Han, after Kylo Ren, let's say he's like eight years old, and he's got like, um, a guest on the Falcon, and like, Luke comes on the Falcon, and he's like, oh, hey, that's a cute drawing on the fridge. Did Ben draw that? And Leia's like, oh, no, that was Han. <laughs> that was Han. And Luke's like, oh, it's, it's lovely. It's really nice. That's a nice yeah, little sitcom really nice. yeah, yeah, it's really great. Yeah. Maybe they'll make that. In time. I mean, it might be more fun than a lot of the stuff they've made. Maybe. Yeah, it would be. So. JJ, oh, remember, JJ opened the new trilogy by, like, destroying five planets. No, we didn't. Halfway through. It's a lion. No, it's, it's at the beginning. No, it's not. I mean, it's the it's opening the movie of the trilogy. <laughs> It's at the beginning. It basically yeah. starts. You have Ray making her water soup or whatever, and then, in, and then in terms five of, planets get exploded. In terms of um, the full trilogy, it's only like what's well, less than twenty percent of the way through. So. Oh yeah. Well, in terms of the saga, it's really late. Well, twenty percent. Well, in the terms of not. 20% is not the first act. So. I don't consider the sequels a part of the saga. You fake fan. In terms of, um, like, um, the full history and future of filmmaking, there is an infinite potential of film ahead of us. So <laughs> Yeah, you know what? There's a big like, amount behind, too. Yeah, but, like, there's an infinite... So what, potential, we're forever infinite. in the beginning? <laughs> yes. Until then everything confirmed is in the beginning. ending, we're forever in the beginning. Yes. Then there was no point specifying that anything is in the beginning. Yes, there was. I just well, really because no, things be... are in the beginning once we have a confirmed ending of something. Well, this so it's not in the beginning then. Yeah, it is. Also, not by Jay's logic. 
No, I guess it's the not. beginning until we have an ending, what? apparently. Jay's logic. No, no everything's the beginning that? until we have a confirmed ending. Schrodinger's logic. Over everything's here. the beginning <laughs> until there's an ending. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> the best writing advice on EFAB. Help me, Obi-Wan. Just keep in mind, along with all of this, 12% is your inciting incident. No. 12% okay? uh. is... That's an interesting rule. It is. It's amazing how he just... You just made that shit up, and you no. put it in a video. No. He, he compared all of stories, and he averaged out a time. Wait, who yeah. did this? That's pretty impressive. Who did this? Oh, who was, who was <laughs> that? That was... Um, that was our uh, close, close look, look, yeah. Point. Point. I don't know if he made the... I think he said he was going to make a follow-up video talking about how the Dune video he made was crap. Um, I don't know if he ever did. I'm curious if he wants to pull I back on that. I did. Inciting did he not make point. it? I don't know. Now, maybe one of you knows better than I do, but I'm pretty Definitely. sure that a lot of stage... Pl Shut up. I'm pretty sure that a lot of stage plays are two acts, not three. Isn't that a common uh, well, structure? Well, there's an intermission for... in the middle, yeah. Well, that, that... Right, so how do we square away, like... I'm gonna go ahead and say that I imagine that a lot of core storytelling principles translate between stage plays and films. Um, we, we've already we gone Black Bill on Acts. You know, no, I, I, 10,000 yeah. if you wanna. Let's, we'll well, I, to, guess, I guess what I'm saying well, is... Well, that would be what a TV show is, I guess, really. Well, so, I guess what I'm saying is, like, how does Closer Look reconcile that... No idea. ...structure? Or is it like, well, feet, film yeah. is a different medium, therefore it's, it's not the same rules? Well, have we not learned that so much of what people's commentary is is just osmosis, basically? Like, others, they got it from someone else and they repeat it. They got it they from just... someone else, or they read the book that you have to read for the audible pitch. Yeah, and um, they never understood like, the like argument, that. they just said it. It was that. Well, it was like... it's just, yeah, people said it, but rule. you haven't figured out the core behind it. Well, I mean, yeah. Remember, kids, these writing rules, they're kind of just suggestions. Except for yeah. makes sense, that's not a suggestion that to do that. <laughs> well, you know, like the statement, Joker isn't really, uh, really a, a real movie. That still depends what you're trying to achieve with your writing. Ah, uh, sure. I, I guess yeah, it does. I don't think Smiling part. Friends yeah. makes sense. Um, yeah, it does. The characters react realistically to well, okay, absurd situations. Okay, okay, to be more specific, there are aspects of it that don't make sense. Yeah, sure, uh, but the but characters the parts of it that the the parts of it that um, the understanding of the narrative depend on generally do, or at least consistent oh, with each so other. Then that would be my rule, that the parts of the narrative that are necessary for comprehension of the story that must make sense. Because if they I don't, then the story that. is incomprehensible. Like, it yeah. needs to be comprehensible. That's the important part. And comprehensibility comes from consistency and just cause and effect. Uh... Yeah, I, think, I think I'm happy with that one. Good. Well, now that Jay's satisfied, move on. Yeah, I that's suppose. Go on ahead. What about Alice in Wonderland? Well, I haven't, like, I haven't read the book and I haven't watched the original in a long time, so I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure that, like, Alice in Wonderland is structured and characters react logically to situations, so. And yeah, in their own little version of the world, they sort of. Even yeah. if their world well, is isn't, insane. Isn't yeah. it canonically a dream? I can't remember. It's weird because I've read both. I've read both, and I, I don't remember if it was actually a dream or not. It was. What if you were doing? Sorry, I was just. What do? You, what if you're doing satire? Like, I don't think that satire works if what you've created is so like vastly different from what you're parodying that that nobody can understand it anymore. Like, for it needs instance, to make if... sense on some level, right? Not. Yeah, of course. Necessarily every to. possible it's level. If it doesn't make sense, you can't comprehend it. Like, this, this we're, we're going to the core. Like, Whether or not it's good or bad satire, I guess it's going to be a different discussion, but... Like, it needs well, to make like, sense. Like, for example, if you're specifically making, like, a parody of The Last Jedi, for example, the actual story that you that you present may not make narrative sense within universe, but that would be the point. And you're conveying information in a way that does make sense to people who uh, have to perceive it. And if it doesn't make sense to that, like... The, if it doesn't make sense at all, then you it, it just makes sense on a different level. Mm -hmm. I'm too tired to have this conversation right now. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, you... <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to read out some Super Chats. Uh, I'm convinced oh, yeah. Adam will never come, lol. And yet he did. Huh. Wow. He did. And yet he did. <laughs> he surprised you mm -hmm. with his coming. 
Definitely surprised me. When you popped up, I was like, oh, I got hit by a red shell the moment lightning struck me, so it didn't affect me. Pretty good. Especially if I'm in first place. Jeez. Thanks, game. Today is Saturday, April 9th, 2022. Well, we weren't too far away from that one, eh? Hmm. And That's now, pretty damn good. we have descended to the depths of Twitch's darkness. Behold, the source of the malfeasance. Which is kind of true, by the way. He was the source. Like, the other two came from him, basically. Yeah. Wouldn't have happened, because... They, if if ha Hassan hadn't fucked up so dramatically, the video wouldn't have been made, and then they wouldn't have reacted to it, so... But to be fair, as our relevant said, uh, Jay gained a lot by doing that video, so really, yeah. you know... A lot of, a lot of you, know, you know, it, it performed slightly below average for my channel. Oh. I gained a lot. <laughs> That's, That's like a Han Solo brag right there. One of the comments <laughs> on um, the Hassan cover, someone was like, so he said, like, you have bombing clout or trying to with this, and it's like, okay, the Hassan episode, I guess someone figured it out, that it was 73rd in top viewed episodes. But like, how oh, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> well, that mean, you know what that means? Well, well, you know what's funny? It's his um, his only evidence, right, that it that it's just clout farming, is for him to say, "Well, look, it's getting views, right?" And I I assure you that if he realized it wasn't getting views, he'd be like, "Well, so they they failed at their clout farming, you know? They were trying to yeah. clout farm and it didn't even work out." Are for you them. saying that his system accounts for any and all statistical data to income come in, and he can just conclude his point no matter what? Yes. Wow. Impressive. Cruelty. Um, is it okay to blame Destiny for Hassan being a thing? <laughs> I, I feel like Destiny's getting the blame for so many fucking <laughs> money. <laughs> Look, considering Hassan hates Destiny with a fiery passion, I, uh... I feel as though we gotta, we gotta just lay the blame at good old Hassan himself, okay? Hassan is why Hassan is the way he is. Hassan's crew. We can, blame, we can blame Jank. To some degree, but even he probably is like sweating his he ass off. Know, whenever he didn't there's a realize the monster he created. <laughs> He's just like, look at what I've done. You know those yeah. do you know those those stories you say about, hey, let's go we're we're buddy cops and we're gonna fix the timeline. We're gonna go back in time and we're gonna kill Hitler. Like there's a division and they have to go back in time and they have to stop Jank from that one day that he said, <laughs> I'll bring my nephew along to work today. I, found, I think I found like the original tweet where uh, Jenk promotes him. I found I found it a while ago. Uh, it was just funny to see where um, Jenk is like, "Hey, here's my okay. nephew." Oh, look where we are now. Uh, is that Chud logic, Mister Girl and Destiny on EFAP? When? Uh, no, oh, no, no word on such things. Who knows what happens in the future? Wings quote of the day. Oh boy. Uh, Charles, nice. ban any mention of the word lasagna unless it's a donation. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the lasagna, hate? You think, yeah, you think he'd it's love because, lasagna. Well, it's like when he said ban anybody who's trying to give me advice. It's just he notices a trend in things people say. He's like, well, ban it. Lasagna yeah. is a funny word when it's said this much in relation to Wings. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's like Garfield. Bad word lasagna. Someone, does someone just comb through wing through wing streams looking for whatever they the quote of the day is? is. Everyone's combing through moment. his streams making compilations, so you don't have to do much other than yeah, watch compilations. They're, they're I guess. Compilations pretty regularly of, of wings quotes. Dude, he'd probably um, like what kind of money do you think he'd be on if he got all the money from those compilations? He'd probably be doing pretty well. Um like 350. Yeah. Look, like if he made a cult channel of his own and bought into it and started doing that, he'd probably find some success. Well, yeah. He's not... too busy getting his ass kicked in Call of Duty to do that. Is mm. not a... uh, do, we, do we know that he doesn't run any of those channels himself? Maybe he's playing a 40 channel. Dude, he revealed that when he was actually stream. all of those accounts? It was him? Yeah. When he's off stream, he and he, he he blatantly copy strikes any account that does that he doesn't own that does tries to do the same yeah. thing. And as soon as he ends streams, he's like, ah, yes, another day of fooling the masses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one the day time. they'll know. One Got day. Them again. Not yet. Not yet. 
<clears throat> um, or he, ta he takes off his mask and it's just an alien. Or it's just I'll another just wings of redemption. Tear reveal, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I guess the there's a so a lot of the, the um the way it works on sort of the Twitch YouTube crossover with these streamers, at least from what I've heard from them. Is that they'll they'll start out their streams, they're doing a bit of brawling with the debating and, and different takes and stuff, and they can be a bit edgier at the beginning, and then clips will start getting passed around, and then clips will want to be saved onto YouTube so you can share the clips, and then when you find a channel that's posting a lot of your clips, you contact the creator and be like, Look, I'll pay you if we then like work together and you know you, you post all this shit on my own channel. And like it, it usually works out because the money they're making from just posting those clips isn't compared, isn't very good compared to what that person would offer. Wings cannot do that. He is uniquely in a position where he could never offer one of those editors more than what they're probably making from compiling clips mm. from his channel on their own. And to be fair, even if he could offer them more, what is he gonna do? Like, I would like you to become my editor, clip out all the cringe and crazy shit I say. <laughs> like, not what everybody's there for. Make sure you clip the part where I banned the word lasagna. <laughs> classic. Even I know that's a classic. Please make I sure I look cool. Said it. Don't you really... include the part where I complain relentlessly about how much I hate Call of Duty and how I don't want to play Call of Duty. I want to play other games, but everybody only shows up for Call of Duty and it ruined my life. Just leave my those lie. out. I gotta say law. Yeah. Law. My laugh. You know? My laugh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess that's uniquely sad. And imagine, like, he did do that, and then the editor was, like, actually came to really appreciate him as a friend, and yeah. did, like, something really embarrassing, and he's like, please They probably do sort of think of him as a friend. I'm sure someone I, will come to find him charming. Um. Yeah. I don't know how many, though. <laughs> a lot of them very much kind of well, hate I guess, him. Uh... Some of his worst moments <laughs> do kind of make him a piece of shit, <laughs> to be fair. Well, it's just the throwing controllers. Um, <laughs> Very bad controllers auto -mobile like. wreck, automobile wreck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, yeah. Just, that was that great. He, he threw his controller at his desk. Like, he throws it at his desk and then he's like, did I crack that? While well, he's looking at his monitor that he's destroyed. It's like, well, yeah, that tends to happen when you throw your controller at your screen. Just, he's like the fact that he's so practiced at quitting out of games um, that he can do it with one hand as he's tossing his <laughs> <controller>. <laughs> That's a skill. Oh, apparently, the muscle memory in his fingers is uh, legitimately incredible. Apparently, he has tried claiming that he is behind one of the channels. Um, oh, I tried. Well, one of one of them. Well, that puts. I mean, that it, would, to it would be. I could believe he did one of the channels. I could believe that, but. I still doubt it, I guess. Um, mm. I don't know, I just, I just, well, it'd be cool if we could find out for sure. Um, and then, uh, bonus one with him reading his chat. Hey Wings, how many seatbelt extenders are you currently chaining together in the truck? <laughs> 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 oh, no. Holy fuck, he is fat. <laughs> he is a oh. large man. Does anyone know how much he weighs? Does he know? Why do I uh, make it I free that people can insult me in my stream? Uh, I'm missing on so much money. Fuck. I, I think he was like, I think he was equivalent to Boogie White when b before. He's like, equivalent now. to one Boogie. <laughs> well, uh, so the problem is now, I don't know what that is. Now I've he's only point was seven. Someone in chat might know. Boogie. Someone said so 430 pounds. Yeah. How much is that in like real white kilograms? Is that like that's like 200 kilograms? I don't know, close to it. Oh my I god. Don't the conversions. I'm a 450 pound man who can barely walk. My life can't get much worse. Was that before that or after the question. surgery? Yeah, well, I think that was before the surgery. Um, but I don't think the surgery worked. Because um, you got to change your habits more so than just yep. having passing it in your life. That doesn't seem to yield long term results. Yeah, that was before. How much? Uh, I honestly thought he'd well, be now, heavier than 450. Um, Especially with well, the spherical nature of him and Boogie. I the, yeah, but, I mean, 450 is like 200 <laughs> kilograms, right? That is a. I remember when I watched Biggest like Loser when that was on TV when I was younger. That one, the heaviest contestant was like 212 kilograms. I think when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, you can't really get much bigger than that, right? Like that's like, that's like the the, the sheer extent. 
Yeah, I, it turns <laughs> out I was wrong. Um, it, well, you can get a lot bigger than that. They have that My 600 Pound Life show, right? Where a lot of the people look kind of similar. And I just figured that that's where he was at, maybe. No. All right. That is like, like, it's, man, it's so big. Six, so it is. 600 is the point where I'm just like, so you must have something wrong as well as just packing, like genetically wrong. Because like, how do you maintain that level of fat? You have to like, just have a pie pipe. To just well, I think because um, I remember <laughs> that there was uh, there was uh, this there's this YouTuber called Amberlyn Reed who like does those mukbang videos like all those people do, but she's very mukbang? large. Mukbang. I've never heard it called mukbang, mukbang. before. Is it called? Oh, okay. Uh, whatever the case, it's mukbang you know now. it's where people <laughs> eat food, and it it's just eating streams. It's the portions and the the like frequency as well of of eating that seems to be the big. Well, I mean, of course, right? It's that you eat a lot all the time. Um, like if you yeah, don't go the, for um, an hour. That video I watched with you and Rags uh, later, it, 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 the argument in that wasn't even portion size. It was uh, just the fact that there's lots of in between foods being eaten. On the go. Well, well so. yeah, yeah, exactly. If you if you eat three meals a day and they're normal sized meals, you probably. But like, if you're also eating ice, like, a, I guess this is one of those things that you know how like there's always the meme of eating a tub of ice cream. I didn't know that people like actually did that, like eat that. a whole tub of ice cream. Um, well, you know? what it would it surely depend on the tub size we're talking about. Right? I guess so, because well, because yeah. I was thinking tubs of like two tubby. liters, two liters. Okay. Yeah, but even like a in a in a day, like in a night, you know. It's a lot. I feel like it's a lot no matter how you tub. cut it. Um, oh, right, well, I don't know how big those are. I mean, they're not, they're not tiny, but I, I don't think they're I, as big as you can get, right? And they like, fucking designed no, they're, they're to, to make you want them more. <laughs> they're like, filled yeah. with all of the sugar. That's, wow, that's, like, that's, that's... I could definitely learn, see like. Chungus people, like, devouring... You know, oh, like I, I can. I guess I'm just saying that I don't see healthy people doing that consistently. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, like please, I, 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 I will have like crazy unhealthy things that I eat from time to time. I like my diet isn't great, but I also exercise consistently, and I, I do try I to like, eat like good some of the time. You know. I feel like that's all that all that's necessary. Um, you're, yeah, you're kind of. Says you're kinda I, a pretty big insane, guy insane. myself. Oh, say, yeah, I think you are getting pretty fat. Yeah, I was, I was worrying about you. Yeah, yeah. Now when I, I've noticed a few times that recently you, you've turned sideways and we've seen you, so I think you're putting on <laughs> some weight. I don't think it's really possible for me to gain like substantial amounts of weight. I like in in the periods of my life where I've eaten as badly as like I, I ever have. I've not really gained, I've never gained like more than five kilos. So I think that's the thing is when you realize that it's possible to get to like 600, I was about to say kilograms, but I think at that point you're just dead. Mm -hmm. uh, if 600 pounds, it's, I think it, it is a consumption of food that is beyond what even like a regular, like a regular person would consider to be an insane I mean, that's the idea with the, with the show. They wanted to get the fattest people who are living, and then the ones that have a chance, I suppose, of being able to cut back. Survive. So you've got, they're always going to be sub, like, age, probably, what, like, mid-40s. They have to be at that or lower, otherwise there's just no way. Well, I mean, isn't what, because one of the things that deters people of that size, right, is that when you lose the weight, you're just going to have a lot of skin just dangling um, about. I don't know why that would deter someone compared to death. You know, like uh, I I understand that. I think it's I think it's just sunk cost, right? Oh well, I've already fucked it, so <laughs> might as well just continue eating the food that I like until I die, right? Also, it's so funny you I, say that because like that is what Boogie argued back in the day, right? He was like, I'd rather just isn't be that fat what and Boogie die. argues now, though? Isn't that what is Boogie, Boogie says? Like, it, doesn't Boogie often talk about how like he wants to eat what he wants because like he's, he doesn't think he's really gonna fucking clever? The only all I can say about that feel mean but like all i can say is you'll fucking regret that when the day comes mm. well it's um it's a it's a pretty it seems like a pretty standard aspect of the human experience is like when you're confronted with death you'll actually try really hard to stay alive um it's it's, it's uh it's, it's often that you can't really fathom unless it's well, right there in front of you 
often mm. spoken about by like Seneca and stuff that uh, people who spend their whole lives making a lot of money will very readily dispose of that money like if it means that they're gonna live like if they get ill they're gonna readily part with that money to make sure that they stay alive but before that they'll work so hard to get it while not really dedicating much time to being alive I don't know that just seems to be how hu humans want to persist generally racist yeah, you don't want to look like that bastard when he loses all the weight but at the same time he probably mm. added a whole bunch of years well, onto his life Exactly. Well, at the same time, surely it's still better to have that loose skin that you can just hide under a shirt than to just be massive. Yeah, well, you're still you gonna look at it no matter what. Or, or, something. or I guess there's always a chance you can get surgery too, if you got enough Being money. Um, That's true. I, I don't know what the average cost for something like that is, but like, I don't know if it's reachable sure, for the average cheap. person. Uh, I don't know, actually. And I don't even know if there's like, are there significant dangers or any like big risks or I don't know. I, I, well, I, I have no idea. I just know that that's something that people, like, again, I'm pretty sure the guy won the biggest loser in Australia the first season, like, had to get surgery because it's just so much skin. What's the biggest loser? Uh, it's, have you not heard of the biggest loser? No. I've heard of it. There's a reality, a reality TV, TV show, show I mean, where, yeah. like, Happy very thing. obese, yeah, so yeah. very obese people would come on and it was a competition to see who could lose the largest percentage of their, uh, body fat in the time of the competition. Interesting. Um, it was always percentage because it would just be very unfair to, yeah, like, yeah. the women who are only 120 kilograms, where it's like, yeah, the guy who weighs 160, but... Are you allowed consistent. to get an amputation? <laughs> no, you, it's just... What? I don't even know why I even entertain that as if that was a real question. Hey, man, if you really want to win, okay, what's the prize, <laughs> buddy? Request. Yeah, if you're just like, I don't want this leg anyway. Fuck this <laughs> leg. I'm trans-disabled or whatever it is. I'm just gonna get rid of this leg. Fuck it. We're gonna make well, it somewhat, all. And so, the judges are like, well, I mean, he technically did lose well, the largest amount of What if, um, what if you have like a rare birth mutation where you're like born with an extra leg? Could you get that removed Ooh. for Biggest Loser? I yeah. assume that would reach some form of TOS. I am, I am, <laughs> well, well, I mean, like, I guess, I guess the question TOS is, what if you had, what if you had an accident during? your time on the show and medically were advised that you needed to have an, a limb amputated. Well, would count, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what their rules are for this. The, <laughs> the biggest loser judges would have to convene. The council would the have elders. to get together. <laughs> the council has assembled. If we have Someone assembled. That, uh, doesn't the winner get skin surgery paid for? It's like, well, they win a lot of money, so they can afford it. <laughs> you win like a million dollars. they put that in the package, though. What, the skin surgery plus a million dollars? I mean, I'm sure people would like it to be paid for instead of using their money for it, if they had the Yeah, choice. I guess. But I mean, I, I think a common criticism of the show is that a lot of people end up gaining weight afterward anyway, because it's such an intense, like, regiment that it's kind of not- you can't map it onto a real life. Well yeah, I mean, as in, like, it, it presents weight loss as, like, a- or, or in, into even health in general as a sprint rather than a marathon. Yeah, which it seems like it's much more so a long-term like, change in your attitudes on food and exercise and health. I imagine that a lot actually... of the people who um, who compete in that show would get to the end of it and go, Oh, good, now I can relax. Yeah, exactly. Well, it also, I gotta go back to work. And one of the problems was, when I was working, I didn't feel like cooking, so I went to McDonald's or something. Right. So, you're not addressing the root issues because you yeah. put them in a situation where they're working out way more than they would in regular life, where they're eating food that they wouldn't be eating in regular life, and they don't have to worry about jobs or taking care of their kids or um, any of the other responsibilities that kind of, or just stress, like the stresses of the real world that can cause people to eat. It's, um, it's, it's something you watch and it's like, oh, that's fun, but I mean, it's not, it's not really helpful for regular life. Um, Zach Gilbert was the one that sent that in, and he's, he's, he's just said, like, I'm sorry, the, 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 the quote from Wiggs has got about Chungus Talk for a while. <laughs> 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 Chungus Talk. Good old Chungus Talk. Well, because it is an interesting topic. It's like they uh, didn't both Wings and Boogie do the, the gastric sleep thing. Thank and yeah. it's not, um, I guess, had the best results for either of them. Well, I mean, if Boogie's there, like, he got it, but he still wants to drink Mountain Dew. What was it when he poured out a whole oh, bottle of Mountain Dew into a bin? Yeah. It's like, so, so, some so Boogie hoping so, to prove to his audience yeah. that he's better improved is, like, in, the, in an airport or something. He's like, look, guys, uh, 
things are changing. Look at this Mountain Dew. I bought it, I tasted it, and I was like, ugh, terrible. And so, look what I'm going to do with it now. And he walks over to a bin and just pours the entire thing into it. Oh, now, no, bro, uh, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, the poor pork is just going to throw it away. Seal out. the fucking container, dude. Exactly. exactly. You wanted Don't to make a it thing of it, though. Water. Pour it out. Look at that. So, I mean, I, I think at this point it's been firmly established, but like, Boogie, Boogie's, I... I An idiot who doesn't <laughs> care about other people? <laughs> it's just, it's just, I don't want to, it's just, he, he's very, um... You just, sound like good writing, in terms of, um, if this were in a show, I'd be like, well, so, it's a really stupid thing to do, but the show's telling us that he's so much more concerned with convincing the audience of a thing, that he's completely ignored the damage he's doing to someone else. Uh, well, he, he's, he's, so, he's, he's caught up in trying to tell the world what a good person he is. He actually does, but he doesn't actually think about what, you know, the consequences of his actions on anyone else ever. Well, I think it's just, it's always concerned with how he appears to be rather than, like, who he is and what he's doing. Um, that's why he did the, the yeah. confused racism by accident, where he's like, that's a lot of money for a black person. <laughs> For a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. And then he tries to say fake. Well, it's why he doesn't stream as much anymore, right? Because when he streams, the real boogie comes out as opposed to the manufactured yeah, he said fake. He's returning sort of. to streaming. He says, oh no! I mean, don't do I, it! Don't do I mean, it! He has, he has reached the point, right, where if it was like the, the at this point, he's kind of almost given up on uh, maintaining the facade because the reputation is like like done for a channel with what four million uh, subscribers, it gets like forty thousand views. On a video, even less than that, like the metrics are dog shit. Well, I can um, check. Uh, I'll excuse your slur and we'll go to Boogie2988. <laughs> Let's see how old Boogie's doing. 4.15 million subscribers. Are you right back? Videos. Uh, he lost millions for a tweet. Rip Gilford Godfried. My apologies to Ethan Klein. Ugh. What oh, he's got he to? he uh he didn't get a good response for that one. Um, he got himself in trouble over that controversy. I don't even. Know I can't what remember exactly the details of it, but it had something to do with fence sitting, didn't it? it well, it, or, it was uh, fucking bizarre. Um, I don't like Ethan Klein, oh, but Ethan Klein said oh, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. in hospital or I'm I'm like bedridden or something, and I, I there won't be any podcast. And then Boogie was like. Yeah, see, this is why it's important to take care of yourself, okay? Like, ah. just take it from me. And it's just like, what? That's such a bizarre thing to say. The, well, the normal response is, oh, damn, that sucks. I hope you get better soon. That's yeah. like the normal response. The Not, weird response How do I is, help everyone learn from someone else's misery? <laughs> how do like I benefit me, well, from this? Well, it's it's twofold. The assumption that Ethan is screwed up and is in part the reason why he's in hospital, but also how can I make this about me? It's yeah. it's it's so. It's weird. always boogie. How can I make this about? Dude, told this yeah. death. It's really fucking annoying. I am. I'm looking at some of his. Like, um, I was wrong about Elden Ring, and you might be wrong too. No clue what that is. Um, boogie twenty. Oh. Ooh, seven days ago he made boogie twenty nine eighty eight the fence sitter. Yeah, I think that was uh, about the Ethan Klein stuff. Something that was really annoying to me in that one was that he made the observation like, ah, politics is so partisan, unlike when I was younger. It's just one of the most <laughs> naive things I've ever heard a grown adult say in his life. <laughs> like, I can't believe someone would say that, but... That, that politics weren't as partisan as they seem to be now? Well, he made it sound like politics was highly cooperative when he was younger. It's just like, I don't know. I, like, I would agree I, I, that it was less partisan i think but that's because it's just well, gotten so I mean, crazy out of hand with social media i guess it feels that. really awkward when you think about the fact that america had a full-blown civil war over like disagreements on politics you know i wonder if it it, it is more partisan now or if it just seems it more partisan be. because um, of the kind of people that we're seeing well, well i'm happy social to media could have amplified either, right? our perception of the partisanship our perception of the partisanship but I, yeah well, but, I mean, well I, it's probably an well, effect of social media right but has it affect has it has it amplified um, how partisan people no. are, or has it amplified our exposure to partisan people so we perceive there to be more of it? Well, so, I think all I'd say is, f the filibuster is not a 21st century concept. Um, I don't know what to... Uh, yeah, you know, like, I, I don't know what... The, the, these tools of... Yeah, I don't know, it's just weird for me, to, for someone to sit there and be like, ah, yes, you know. Everybody was so cooperative when I was younger in the 1970s, um, as opposed to now. <laughs> I don't know.
it just seems like an incredibly naive statement to make. Uh, but like, but well, the reason why he appealed to that is he said that that like informs his desire to um his desire to like be a fence sitter. <laughs> That's kind of his argument. That he he figures it's like fundamentally the correct approach to uh to dealing with all subjects, not just politics, but like everything. Just a weird um yeah. He he made a video called "Why Bob Saget Dying Is Bad for Comedy." Fucking idiot! What he? Uh, what? Uh, I, I who knows what he's gonna say? Do you, you guys know why? Maybe the? Do you know? You guys know why Bob Saget dying might be bad for comedy? Nope. Do, do you think you could come up with a reason? Because nope. I got nothing myself. I, I have no clue. because uh, he's fucking dead. Garl of Adam still showing Sorry, up in the no, thumbnail no, yeah. despite not being here. He is truly the number six sidekick. S class is best. Class. Well, he did show up eventually. He did. Maybe, maybe they will send in an amended super chat saying, "Oh, he showed up. That's amazing! Yay!" Patrick Wilhelms has a new video out. I think it's why they are afraid to make a Batman and Robin movie. Because of Batman and Robin, probably. <laughs> I imagine that's informing it. I don't know. Probably. Did that movie like fail, or, or is it just not as good as they wanted it to uh, be? I don't think it. Batman and Robin. I think it, I think it bombed. I think it bombed, or maybe it didn't. It did just underperform. I just don't get how it didn't break all of the records, you know. Like, uh, it is, well, I mean, people, lot, people are cheap and people just bad. don't value great writing. Exactly. People do not appreciate the gifts that they have been given. Yeah. Um, are any of you planning to make content on Peacemaker? I really enjoyed it. None of us have seen it beyond episode one and a half. I'm not really interested. Oh, yeah, no. Also, hi, Rax. Great to see you Hello, on you. Logic's channel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You collaborated with Logic, did you? I did, yeah. We had a collab. Um, it was Talk about religion. Wait, wait. Not really this time. He's... Not really this time. It wasn't as much about religion. It was really more of a just a funsies response to this crazy guy. Hmm. We had when we had a really good one time. Uh, funsy responses on your own channel. Well, funny you mention that because I finished up today. I finished all of the audio and decent parts of the video for a video, and it's about an hour and five six minutes. So oh, hopefully that will be done soon, and that was a recently started thing that I did um, based on something that kind of interested me and I thought would be fun, and it was fun. So, that's good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, today's animal of the day is the Sifaka Lima. Sifaka Lima? Again, because we're back on oh, with the yeah, game on screen, I can't be showing that shit because he'll fuck everything up. Oh yeah, look at that fella. He's uh, he's having fun jumping around, climbing them trees. Can you post so I can see? That'd be neat. Seems like he does a lot of uh. Look, look at this fella. He's he's a, he's a happy guy. He's like, hey, look at me. I'm a lemur. I climb around on trees and I'm having a good time. Oh. I think he thinks <laughs> in English or. Uh, I don't know what he thinks, and I don't think it, I think he, I imagine he thinks, dude, he's always smiling. Look at him. He's that's a cool, that's a cool little critter. Hope he doesn't do something creepy like eat his own young or some shit. <laughs> yeah, if you got like reincarnated and you came back as a random animal, and that's what you came back as, you're like, you know what? This this uh, thing oh, okay, right. this, this is, yeah, uh, it's all right. Yeah, all right with this. I'm not some fucking shit eating gnat or some horrific. I'm sure they don't mind creature. it. But if you were with them, you know, you might be like, you know what, this was misunderstood. A lot of people think this is bad when really it's fine. Maybe that's maybe that's part of the punishment, though, of if you're reincarnated as a as, as an animal, as some lower form of life, you know. If you didn't know wow. any better as part of that, then, Take well, I did, did the quotes, right? That From their perspective, you know, would it would almost make it not really a punishment in a certain way because you wouldn't even be able to maybe comprehend the downgrade that you've just received. I was going to say, what would the point be of that? that 
point. <laughs> like if, if the, you'll go to hell, I'm but not, you'll enjoy it. I'm, you're like, oh, okay. I'm not gonna begin to try and find out how it makes sense. Hmm. Good not call. Not even gonna try. Yeah. Um, Adam needs to get over his hatred of Fringy. Come on. Also, Mountain Dew or crab juice? I haven't had crab, crab juice. Crab I haven't had either of them. I don't think I've ever I'm drank a Mountain Dew. Have you never what had is, Mountain Dew? No, I've had a lot of juice? soft drink stuff, but Mountain Dew. Uh, I don't have Mountain Dew as Mountain often Dew's as decent. I would drink Coke, but I like Mountain Dew. It's alright. Mountain Dew's pretty decent, um, but I have enough. no idea what crab juice like, is. How come it became like the fat guy that's drink? What the Simpsons, that's what, that's what <laughs> Homer Simpson um, drinks, uh, drinks in, uh, in the Twin Towers. Um, I think uh, the reason why With his Mount, I, that's right. I think the reason why um, Mountain Dew became the fat guy drink is because of its association with like Doritos and gamer <laughs> culture. Gamer I think Jew. so. I do. Gamer I do think that's the reason Dew. why. Well, it's, it, it, you remember the 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 Jeff Keeley Mountain Dew Doritos Halo Four thing? Where he's just sitting there next to. Well, I was referring to something for Halo Three. I'm oh, well, I, I know about the Halo 3 game. I think it goes back war. further yeah. than... I remember there being something to do with Doritos and Gears of War. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, because it was one of Chips the jokes in the war. earlier RB of the Chief episodes. Like, Chief always liked Game of Fuel because of its association with Halo 3. It was, yeah. uh... Yeah, there's like Game of Fuel. has got, like, Master Chief on it. It's like a limited yeah. time thing. I never and had I think... it. Never had it. I've never had it because... It Probably tastes like shit. <laughs> No, I probably uh, just taste like Mountain Dew right gaming. Like There's someone out there listening to this one day who might be that that's their favorite beverage. Do they make it anymore? Uh I don't Did they I, imagine, it I, it I think something, I think it's or? called G Fuel now. And I think it's def it's like a whole bunch of streamers. I get paid on like, brand. PewDiePie no, um, promotes G Fuel. Was G Fuel? I think G Fuel yeah. is game of fuel. Um and it's a lot of a lot of streamers do promote it. I think so. I thought those were just always different things because you know there's People make stuff, so I, I did, I never knew. I because I've never had G Fuel. You know, I spent well, many me... years not knowing what G Fuel was. Like even as a product, I had no clue. I was like, it's this stuff that's in a thing over there. Oh um, right. yeah, so hmm. it's it's, uh, it's it's a powder like an instant drink. No, I know what it is now. I just didn't oh, know okay. it ages. I was <laughs> like, I'm curious yeah. what it fuels and in what way. I just never looked into it because I didn't care at all. It infuels gamers so yeah. that you can get yeah, those. Thing, because wearing... it was called G Fuel, I didn't even know that stood for gamers I, or whatever. I just... Oh yeah, it helps you get the G Fuel. really tasty stuff. I'm sure. I had, wow. I had it uh, quite a few years ago now because I ordered some with a friend though because there was no outlet in Germany. I don't know if they have one now or in Europe even. So it was like super I know expensive that to even get I it over use... here because you had to import it, so it was like hmm. expensive Apparently you shit. don't have to now, because I just saw it, that you can get it in Australia as well. But I mean, I don't see why I ever would, but... Because it's amazing and it helps you get the Victory well, Royale. Well, see. I could have my Game of Fuel and my Gunner Optics and my um, really nice. shit Game of Fuel as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, I want to be your friend. <laughs> oh, no, I know. And, and my, neon, so cool. all of my, my neon lights and everything, it's, uh, yeah. You know, I, I remember I, I, the lesson I learned is those gamer chairs, just, you meant to, it seems like you meant to get ergonomic chairs. That's like the ones that are actually good for your back that you can sit in for hours. Not gamer, gamer chairs chair. seem to be very hit and miss from my yeah. understanding. Some some are good, some are bad. It's, they're all over the place. Well, what I've learned is, um, I don't know if anybody in chat can relate, but one of the, I find it incredibly frustrating to shop for any, like, tech or furniture products because of how disparate the reviews from users tend to be. Oh, yeah. How some people love them and some people hate them, and, like, it's really hard to compare which one's going to be better. I remember when I was looking for a drawing tablet, it was, like, one of the most frustrating experiences I've ever had in my life, because, well, <laughs> it's probably not true, but it was really annoying because, um... I just, I had no idea what information I could rely on, or like what perspectives would help me figure out what's going to be best for me. And of course, with like chair, if you're ordering it online, um, because the selection, like office works or something, isn't very good. It's just like, I well, think this is why I guess a lot of I hope people, it's good. I think this is why a lot of people base their purchasing decisions around a couple people that they really trust, and they just mm -hmm. don't give a fuck well, about the huge anonymous reviews online. Well, so the problem is, 
I don't think that I know anybody who knows enough about shares by comparison to some people who may well know a shit ton about shares and also... Wow, and also, I don't know that the perspective of someone I know helps me with a chair because they're a different person to me. Like, I don't, I don't know if they're like... Sure, well, I mean, not really specifically to me, like, just to chairs, but why? But in the relation of, I don't know who to trust on the internet when there's so many reviews yeah, yeah, and sure. all kinds of different things. But, you know, I've got a certain amount of people that I can sort of trust, it seems, or who do care or whose perspective I do value. That's why a lot Nothing of YouTubers are really big on staying pure, so to speak. Well, how did you yes. dodge that shell? Once you've traveled far enough, Your they eventually skill. lose you. Oh. The one fucking in chat was like, I, I hate that Mola never throws things behind him. I was like, no, 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 you have to keep stuff. But when things attack you and then you throw it behind, unless you've got a guaranteed target. Especially in first place. I often yeah. come first, because I'm a double-dash MLG <laughs> player. Is Metal not a chair expert? No, Charlie is the, the expert, because Charlie's a chair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, I love the energy Chud Logic is bringing. Wow. Uh, he was quite a little lad, I thought. I, I, I enjoyed him. I, I, I would consume lad. him again. He was again. small. Mm. Is that what you're Come saying? On. Well, I mean, look at his image. He's like half a person. I think definitely a small guy. Small man. Well, I was having loads of fun doing the Jedi battle, and then suddenly my perspective locked onto Jango Fett, and I was like, I want to look in other directions. Anyway. Oh, Jango Fett. Jango. Well, you know, I just, I just want to, I want to look in other places. I don't want to be locked onto him as he literally flies all around the arena. Oh, I guess I'm looking over here now, because Django has moved. Must really hate people, huh? Hate gamer detected. You you sound like someone who needs some G Fuel. It's now, now that we talk about G Fuel, I might order some in the future. I haven't had any in a while. There's some tasty stuff. You should really... Is it, oh, is it? Sorry? Is it tasty? Yeah, they had some 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 good stuff. At least they had like a few years ago when I when I had some. What is the like um what 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 would be a good comparison do you think of something it might taste similar to? Uh, there's like a million flavors, I don't know. I mean, I guess your basic G fuel if such a thing exists, like the the typical I think it's just fruit G flavors, fuel. the typical ones. At least back in in my days when I got them, uh, sort of like the the usual strawberry and whatnot and uh, lime. So it tastes like chemical lime, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> all natural, more like all industrial. I love those exactly. all industrial. <laughs> G Fuel has a Crimson Tears Elden Ring drink. Well, I'm sold. <laughs> Crimson Tears. Yeah, they're really trying to keep those names new and fresh every time they make a new Dark Souls. They're at Crimson, Crimson Tears now. Tears. Oh, they actually do. Oh, they even have like a little blood. Elden Ring box with a. We got Crimson Tears. Look, look at this. They even have like a little box set with a. With the, with the logo and stuff. Hey. And you need a shaker. With one of the Elden Ring on it. Sold out, by the way. <laughs> oh. You should really give Peacemaker another try. If you still don't like it, I'd really like to chat with you, Moller. I love that show. I already said, like, I would have given it another shot if enough people had recommended it, but it seems like it's fallen off and nobody really cares. Like, so I doubt it's that great, even at its best. Um... I, I just, I'll, I would rather spend the time watching Peacemaker on something else, basically. Um, but if, say, a season two comes out and people go, no, 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 season two is fucking phenomenal, and that it doesn't work as well if you haven't seen season one, it's like I could see myself watching it then, maybe. I think I assume you'd want to watch season one anyway. In that case, um, um, well, if people are telling context. me season one's kind of like irrelevant and they've 
go on a completely different storyline with different new characters except Peacemaker, and nothing really re is relevant from season one, then obviously I'd be like, oh. I, I know, just, like, I, I swear I have memories, I, I can't name a specific example, but I swear when, like, normally people will say stuff to you, I, I swear I've heard it before from someone like, yeah, you don't really need to watch the first season, you're like, oh, see it anyway, though. Well, so, I got about half of that. I wouldn't if it were an anthology type situation. Or I wouldn't need to, I might, but I wouldn't need to. Uh, compared Shunfire. to, oh, don't watch the first season of Star Trek because it's too cringe old and campy or something. I'd be like, no, fuck that. I want to see, like, where these characters were and how they progress. Even if it is kind of cringy, sure. that's fine. Well, I mean, Star Trek is a fun example because it's like um, an anthology, you know, a semi-anthology where you have, like, the um, the same characters consistently and they might have grown over time, but ultimately any episode is oh, its yeah. own story. I don't it think it would be, be that bad of a thing own. for me to watch like TNG and then the original series. I don't think it's that bad if I did that. However, I would just for the sake of going by chronological re release that uh, I would probably start with the originals. Uh, it's, short, it's shorter too. The original season only had... The original series didn't have uh, that many seasons relatively. But the three the later seasons themselves were much longer, weren't they? Um, I, think I don't think TNG so. has like 25 episode seasons and the original series has 50 episode seasons. Fuck Hang no. on. Did it? Fuck me. Let me let me have a little quick look. Um I will go on Netflix and I will go to Star Trek. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting one. Someone said what about Blackadder series 1? Well, the thing about Blackadder series 1 is that you could watch Blackadder completely out of order. You could watch season 4 then 2 then 3 yeah. then 1 and I wouldn't think you've ruined anything. Like that's fine. Yeah, each each series of that is its own story. Yeah. I mean, they don't even right, do, do they have any references to like each other as seasons, or is it entirely self-contained? Right. Oh no. Yeah. Full of references. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's not oh. true. Each other, like. Yeah, that's bullshit. Canonically, the first Blackadder is like an ancestor of the second Blackadder, and you know, so on. Um, so there are references to events that happened in the previous seasons, but like no nothing important, just like minor details. Also, I was wrong. They are not 50 episode seasons. The longest is 30 episodes, and there's only one 30 episode season. You gonna make a video to apologize? Yes. Good. Um. Hey, Mola. I wanted to stay for this part of the saga, but got too much to do, so I have to catch the re replay. So have some money. Also, hi, Fringy. And Rags, I guess. Hey. Hi. I'm definitely getting the most enjoyment out of Moon Knight than any of the other four Marvel shows, that's for sure. Oh, we'll have things to say about that show when we hit Saturday. Things. Yes, we will. Uh, there's a new episode out as well, so... I'm oh, very boy. enthused by that news. Oh, how could you tell? It was, <laughs> it was all the, the, the balloons and the body crackers. And... Oh, oh, calm uh, down. Yeah. Man. And mm -hmm. things gonna go to shit. <laughs> yeah. Bring in Rex. I feel your pain over Halo. It may not be canon, but holy tone loke, did it still make me angry at how much they don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They yeah. clearly just want to use Halo to do their own weird oh, their own story, shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they just happen and to be really shit at telling my, stories, so it, yeah, that's 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 what really makes it suck. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you had something cool that you could have used and instead you really made something that's pretty crap. Some of the it it, it can baffle you sometimes, right? Because if someone was like, I'm gonna make a movie out of Star Trek and mine it'll the two main captains on the same ship be Picard and Kirk. And they're going to be bloodthirsty mercenaries who just fucking annihilate any planet they come across. My adaptation. You're just like, but why? Why? Why would you make a Star Trek <laughs> thing instead of this? It's I don't know. Cool, thing. bro. But why? Well, ultimately, ultimately, I think the only reason to do something like that is an explicit Elseworlds thing, right? Where you've um. I'm a well, You're so exploring an recognizable traits of a character in a different context. You can answer the question. Where maybe they've been raised differently. It's not really... My mm -hmm. point is you definitely answer the question. It is just a strange desire to have, especially with Halo's like first big adaptation to TV, that you would want yeah. to do this. Oh, yeah. So strange. To capture an audience that I don't think exists. 
And it's just like, no, this this story we're telling is incredibly nuanced and important, and you, you guys will love it. And it's like, um... Uh... Okay... Uh, People aren't loving it. What I've gathered. It fucking resurrected R E R from the, the grave, so... That's yeah. how bad it is, okay? Um, Saw so Sonic, very cool and fun. 6.5 out of 10 overall. Idris Elba's voice acting uh, knocks down half a point. Um, oh, is, funny that's gonna be a meme. is that a meme comment or? I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I've delivered it as it's <laughs> written. I, <laughs> no. Before I before I get angry, I just want to give you an opportunity to claim that you were joking. Yeah, to pro. <laughs> yeah, to, to uh, pretend I'm not really angry. Really I guess that's, just, um, that's just kind of funny. I don't think it's a six point five. That's for sure. Um, and Idris Elba was the best part of that movie. What, what score would you give it? Sorry? Uh, like a three or a four, probably. Oh, funny yeah. enough, I actually kind of want to see both of them, but I'm actually just going to wait now until we set up a recording for it, because there'll be an EPAP movies for sure. Yeah, I would like to see Probably, them. yeah. In the meantime, if you want to know, know no. more, Metal's Forge did that. With Ringy, it was great. Wait, yeah, I you had him on? Yeah, yeah, because you're too smelly these days. Yeah. The smell comes through the Discord call. Yep. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I thought it was none a of you today. Notice, but yeah, but it's so. Discord. Yeah. Um, Colleen O'Shaughnessy blows him out of the water. Um, she plays She's tails. Um, and I disagree. I think Idris Elba is the best part of the movie. I think this is the best version of Knuckles. I think it's Ooh. better than the video game. But... Careful, yeah, dude. the Sonic fans are gonna get. I don't even. I don't know if that's actually controversial. I think that seems to be a common perspective. Sonic. Um, we've got it. Well, get over okay, there. There's, there's... It, well, we if you talk about something like Spider Man, though, I feel like Sonic might have the same kind of atmosphere. Where in Spider Man, every perspective is a controversial perspective, even when it's a common one. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Maybe. I just what I like about the movie is that in the games, Knuckles is presented as an idiot, whereas here he's presented as naive and a bit stilted, which I prefer. Mm -hmm. As and it hmm. makes a bit more sense to me, given his history. I don't really see why he would be stupid, considering he has this whole perspective on, like, um, I guess, Eggs. honor and integrity. Well, no, because the Eggs. whole idea with him... No, that's... that's bringing his look forward to edgy. You better fucking believe I'm looking forward to edgy the hedgy, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I want to I just want to know who's voicing him. Make it Willem oh, yeah. I... I don't know who'd be voicing him. I it's feel like shame it can't be Gilbert often. Gottfried. Yeah. Aww. I, I would I would love would be Willem the funniest Dafoe. fucking thing ever. There's so many people who'd be funny as fuck to cast. I hope they don't go with something fucking like Jack Black or Chris Pratt. It's like please don't. Uh, <laughs> you have a chance here. You can actually do something cool and interesting. Oh, they said Jared Leto. It'd be like no. no that was, I thought of, I I actually thought about that too when I was thinking like it's fucking Jared Leto. <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, what dude, is he I, dude Nicholas what? Cage. That'd be fucking great. Oh my god. Oh yes. Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. Oh. So Sonic. Oh. Oh. Sonic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's legit. Make it happen. Keanu. People said Keanu Reeves, which I think I think that's more of a likely choice. I like Keanu Reeves, but I feel like that's a waste. Um, Knuckles being a dumb consequence, uh, dumb as a consequence of flanderization. Well, I guess that's what I'm saying, right? I like Knuckles in the earlier, like, in the Genesis game. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, And I don't, I don't dislike him, like, uh, in the games, but, I don't know, I just, I just way prefer this interpretation of the character. And it's like, man, Knuckles having some level of gravitas, that's kind of funny. Wait, sorry, did, cool did Shadow well. talk, or is it just baited? It's no, no, it's a post, post credit scene, and they, because yeah. they say, like, 50 years, and as soon as I heard that, I'm like, ah, it's <laughs> But then again, I think we all knew Shadow the Hedgehog was going to be the tease for... Uh, Even for, I knew that. For, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was everyone's I don't know anything assumption. about these movies or Sonic. Um, it was the wise thing to do. Yeah. It's always the right move, Shadow some, the Hedgehog. Someone suggested Arnie. I would be okay with that. Be pretty funny. Oh my god, yes. Ow, oh, Sonic. Ow. <laughs> you have to get the rings of power. <laughs> That's my shotgun, Sonic. Ah, the golden. I just love the idea that they get the director. They're like, why did you choose Arnold Schwarzenegger for the, the role of Shadow? And he just smiles. He's like, 
Mm -hmm. why, Come on, you know why. why? <laughs> Chat, someone said, what are the good Sonic games? The Genesis ones? Generations. Sonic Mania. I like Generations a lot. Um, and the daytime sections in Unleashed are cool, but otherwise I'm not really sure what I'd be pointing to. I like Colors. Sonic Boom. I only played it the one time, but I had good memories. I've heard good things about Colors. Um, also, I, and I'm pretty sure, is, Sonic Boom is the one that's like, like, 2006 equivalent, right? Where it just doesn't yeah. work. It's like completely broken. Yeah, and Sonic Charles Adventure 2 is the one that's like everybody goes nuts <laughs> over, right? Um, that's the one that seems to be hyper contentious because a lot of people adore it and a lot of people say it sucks. Ooh. I could just stream that for a meme one day. I feel it would be funny. I think I said that on Metal Sword oh, as well. Charles Dance for Shadow, that would be great. Oh, no. hey. Hey. What? I said that like. A while ago. Did? Jay actually yes. did, yeah. Damn. Someone in chat stole your idea. Wow. Nice. Wow, yeah. chatter. Put him on I'm gonna screen violate and violate the person. that person. Yeah, Bang. well, dude, talk about how they're a worm and their whole life is not worth yeah. living. <laughs> <laughs> your parents hate you and your friends are not really your friends. I hope you get drafted. Dude, he, he went as far as saying, like, that feeling you get when you meet someone new that they'll figure out that you're not, like, yeah. a worthwhile person. Your your paranoia is well-founded. It's like, what? <laughs> it's he heard that somewhere and he repeated vile. it. That's something that's too, that's too long of a string of cogent thought for him to have come It is kind of that. impressive that he said all yeah. of that, yeah, in a way. He becomes, he becomes immediately more coherent and <laughs> lucid as soon as he's, Cruel. like, trying to destroy <laughs> someone. A target for his cruelty. There's probably something to that. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, it's a passion project, in a sense. That's know? the whole point of his whole streaming career. He just wants to insult people in front of massive amounts of people. Seems to me. He he wants, to it, seems to, it seems like he wants to run a kill stream. What? Nazis. Kinda, yeah. Um, well, I'll just it. notice the stream title, Here's More Dollar. That would be... The, the very kind title I gave Hassan. Oh. I fucking love that thumbnail still. It's so good. Great. <laughs> uh, today's Kirby music is Vagrant Counting Song of Retrospection from Planet Robobot. The, the peak fuck of two those Kirby. words? <laughs> Robobot. Uh, I mean, I read them as is, Rags. I can't do anything else for you. Alright, it's fair enough. Uh, bonus fact, galactic novas are clockwork stars capable of granting wishes. I assume they're talking about the game, but maybe they're talking about real life. In Robobot, Galact Kirby must defeat one before it uses its power to erase all organic life in the universe. Um, okay, calm down. Damn, <laughs> Kirby. I've been told that Kirby uh, has power scaling problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a Thanos running around in Kirby's will. <laughs> It's always one of them. Always a Thanos. Um, incorrect game quote of the day. As you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once. Before I F-word killed him. That's, I thought you, what do you mean incorrect video game quotes? All that's I, spot I on. That, that's incredible. Uh, have you guys seen... Cormi Chato's videos? Cormi no. Chato? You no, know I don't, who that I is. not know who that is. Neither do I. Nope, sorry. Animal of the day is the finch. This small bird has a beak adapted to eat seeds, nuts, and the flesh of its prey. It's also one of the few bird species that carry around small tools such as swords that it uses to hunt prey. Hmm. Dang. I always knew about finches. I didn't know they were so fucking badass. Are you swords? You know, finches are probably pretty cool, but whenever a character has the surname Finch, I always see them as being a, a bad guy. Evil. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of any character I know with the name Finch. Um. Well, you got Filch. That's close. <laughs> That's the sort of like Finch. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they went with Filch, because they were like, what's a more gross vision of Finch? <laughs> Flurbsh. Uh, Mr. Finch from uh, Viva Vendetta. He's like the evilest character. Who is that? Edith Finch? Who's that? 
Shadow Isn't that the game? Shadow the Finch. That game the... <laughs> Atticus Finch. Oh, the to oh. Well, that's a different Finch, I guess, but... Finch from American Pie. I don't remember who's called Finch in American Pie. What about uh, Mr. Finch? From... Oh, Mr. Finch. Don't forget Dr. Finch. Well, there actually is a character called Mr. Finch in, uh, in Doctor Whom, I believe. Doctor he's, Whom. Uh, he's played by Anthony Head. Oh, I remember that episode. It's a school well, one. Doctor Whom is a bit more subjective than the typical show. Yeah. Uh, who is this guy? I make my bed every day. Savage. I've seen a lot of pushback on the whole bed thing to what Chud said. Uh, you are winning the audience, I think, Rags, with the whole make your bed thing. Damn right I am. Um, make your bed. A lot of pride in making your bed, I understand. Specifically, if you use it as your streaming background, holy shit. What? What's <laughs> taking pride in your <laughs> bed? Taking pride in your bed? Look, your bed is what I use when I ain't got nothing else to say, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That was one of my favorite parts of the whole stream, when we play that clip, and Chud was like muted, he unmutes and just goes, Look, I feel I need to <laughs> apologize on behalf of <laughs> Just... <laughs> from the look... It's already so clear, you know, where he is, where he's at, emotionally, mm. having heard that. Uh, One Punch Man Season 1 EFAP Breakdown when? That could be a cool idea. I'd be on board with that. Only if you guys are there. I watch EFAP. That could be cool. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one if day, because it, totally we could finally it, claim sure. we've covered an anime. Ooh, yeah, and people could leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I, it would be cool to see what your reactions are to that show, because I do yeah, I've heard love really it. Good. So, I, I'd be curious if it makes you laugh or nay. Um... Asmongold is a great example of a Twitch streamer that reacts to videos and makes it transformative. He can turn a 10 minute video into a 50 minute section, providing insightful and funny commentary. Wow. You know what, I appreciate those numbers even if they are rookie numbers. <laughs> Fine. I don't even know what our average conversion rate would be, but I'm pretty sure it's insane. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I hear nothing but good things about Asmongold, so... Good, good stuff. He's one of the most popular streamers, if not the most popular streamer, right? Um, one of them, for sure. Because, like, the top tier ones are all gaming, I think, right? Like, like Hassan isn't... I think so. He's number one for politics, but he's not number one in general. Well, no, there are other people who get, like, 70, 80,000. XQC is probably another one. Is he primarily gaming? I mean, he started out as, like, an, an esports guy, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, like a pro, pro, pro game war. I've never uh, understood the appeal of pro XPC, gamer. Uh, from the clips I've seen. Well, I mean, like, Mr. Beats makes really good videos, and, you know. That's what I go to XQC for. Oh, I understand. Hey, guys. I'd like to say that bathrooms in Brazil are completely normal. We put sinks along with the toilets. Australia is weirder than this. Sorry, bird. We're back. All uh. right. <laughs> there was a... Uh, can you all hear me first off? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so there was, was just it, it's storming outside, a cra crack of thunder, loud as fuck. Like I like jumped. It was so loud all of a sudden. First one I've heard all day, mm -hmm. and then it made me like jump, and then everyone was quiet and my monitors flickered black for just a split second. So I oh, guess no. autism for just a moment. <clears throat> Jeez, God, sometimes that still happens. I'm a grown-ass man, and it just, boom, all of a sudden, that well, loud. I mean, well, we hate jump scares. <laughs> like, yeah. they, they're designed to get you, no matter what, really, and they do work. I mean, dogs typically don't like uh, thunder, right? Yeah, flashes. No, we really don't. These sudden, this, these... Oh, it's the, the, the noise. It's It just happens all of a sudden sometimes, so yeah. But it was, it was, it was like really thunder. windy and rainy. Huh? I like thunder. Yeah? It's just very atmospheric and you get to look outside and see if you can spot the lightning. It's good fun. Sort of a, it's sort of a vibe. The doggo right there. Okay. Well, you know, I, I don't I don't have sympathy for wimps. Oof. Yeah. You stunned him into silence. 
Goof, you got a wreck there. Oh, so, oh so, oh, sorry, sorry. Someone, someone didn't react harder to your content. Ooh, look at Ooh. you. <laughs> are you, yeah, are you mad that I don't react hard enough to the lightning rags? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you said you, you react, react too hard. To the Go in and open and blind. I'm and saying that Ra rags reacts too hard to the lightning. He's like, oh, lightning, right, and I'm like, right. oh, okay, what's cool a hard lightning. reaction? Jumping or going? I'm gonna open blind and go see if I can spot the lightning. Furiously shitting yourself on the spot. That's the third option. So yeah. So you do know. That's I, I just do it in general without thunder. Yeah, and the context is like he hears <laughs> the thunder and then he's just like, yes, I get to shit myself furiously. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite time of the year. He made a deal with some kind of creature where he could only shit furiously when there's thunder. Yeah. Weird deal. Very some people say like, Mel, what did you get out of the deal? And you're like confused. Deal. Deal. I just got given a gift. <laughs> um, hi, Rags. Hi. Mola, how much time did you spend on the Hassan supercut, and would you say that time was worth or wasted? I, I think it was worth it. I think we got a really decent level of coverage on a lot of them. It took, I want to say, was it two weeks for the for the three supercuts? took a while to cut all that. It was fucking mind-numbing. It took a while. Uh, and I had a lot of problems trying to, like, finalize it, uh, Vegas tugging a little bit, um, not just in operation, but in the rendering portion, I was getting some problems. We got there in the end. Um, also, hi, Chud, who are you? Well, hey, we did a little section, uh, at the beginning, going over, a, uh, hopefully that would have been answered there. Do it again. Um, well, we did throw that clip on at the end of the stream, which is pretty good. Mm. Hi, Fringy. Yo. Is New Zealand the Canada of Australia, or is Australia the Mexico of New Zealand? The people no, demand an answer. New Zealand is definitely the Canada of Australia, yeah. Hi, Rags. Hi there. You are the greatest ever. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you so much. Damn. Hi. I appreciate oh, that. That's that high that praise. Cool. That is the highest praise. Um, out of context, Rags quote, The darker it is, the louder it is, much like nothing else in particular. That's from EFAP 1. <laughs> That's from EFAP 1? Oh, I have evolved as a critic. EFAP 1 was, um, I think we covered Tonald saying, Tonald explaining what the problem with the PS4 is, or rather, yeah. like a general sense of its, its, its position in the industry, and then uh, Jared video, I think, right? Man, Ooh, simpler I days. think so. Something like that, yeah. Simpler days. Now we're taking on Hassan. Yeah, I know. We're just leveling up. Taking down the big wigs. Boxing match. I tried to find that. a neat Welsh animal to no avail. So instead, check out Kanta's giant soft-shell turtle found in the Philippines. Oh boy, yeah, that is a uh, look at that fella. <laughs> In case anyone wants to be able to Google that, um, apparently there's only four known. Four. Um, yeah, I think so. Let me Damn, see. They're on their way out then. It is, yeah, critically endangered. Oh. That's an animal that I look at and I'm like, yeah, I can believe that's endangered. <laughs> it says there are four, and only five to six living individuals are known. Okay. So maybe there are more, but that means that there are only five or six that we're aware of, so yeah. Oh, look at that creature. guy! Yeah, I know. I'd be a soft shell. Uh, Jay's patience is the greatest rake lying on the ground for Twitch tards and their absolute cataclysm of being <laughs> incapable of participating in fair use. A little bit. I was going to say, uh, uh, Jay, you, you had a lot of um, traps for them that were laid without your knowledge, and they worked really yes. well. Yes. Yes, the um, um, the picture of 200 views where they're like, fat bump! You know that that was edited in post into Hassan's video that he uploaded to his YouTube channel, right? Wasn't. Um, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, he, he on, the, on the video on his YouTube channel, his editor went and found the tweet where I posted my uh, metrics. Right. The Hassan only references oh, no. on stream. He's like, yeah, you show a fat bump, right? Oh, 
And then next to him comes up the full graph with legible numbers no, that shows okay. 200 views. Oh, so, you fool! You're saying the editor was tricked by it too? I, I guess. Or maybe or maybe he genuinely secretly... thinks that 200 views is a fat bump that I should be thankful for. Maybe uh, maybe that's the possibility that we should... Uh... That's embarrassing, he, man. He never comments on this stuff. All right, let me see if I can find the uh, clip. Let me see if I can find, let me find a screenshot of it. Oh, I believe you. I just, I'm just saying, like, this, it, uh, how does this keep getting? I know. I, I, I see. I'm like, I mean, like, I didn't expect you to like not believe me, but it still looks <laughs> funny to see. Like, I still want to show you. Uh, fools. Every last one of them. They all lost their mind. He I like that, I like in his coverage Twitter? of you, uh, Jay. He's like, uh, you know, they might be deleted tweets now, as if like you would try to hide the evidence when it's in your video. Yeah, it was really funny. <sighs> Pathetic morons. If it wasn't for Amazon's help, Hassan would have never been as big as he is now. Amazon propped him up and Vorsh. They did? Amazon? I don't know. Do they mean just in purchasing Twitch out. in general, or do they mean something else? Hmm. I don't know. Same name. Hi, Rags. Hi. Can I get your best Mauler impression? Can I get your best Mauler impression? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> hey, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> It sounds like a kid doing his dad's impression when they do like the attempted deeper thing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pay my taxes. Oh, look at me. That sounds like Mr. Frog. It is the frog. Hello, I, will, I hate I'm women in Black Widow. I'm from Welsh. I'm from Welsh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sorry though. Sorry though. <laughs> How Halo TV series should end. Master Chief takes off his helmet and then gets shot in the head by a jackal sniper. Earth gets glassed by the Covenant. Blood eat every human except for the Covenant girl who activates the Halo rings. I'm sure she's going to be very... She's going to be the most special, amazing, incredible human that ever humaned. Oh, wait. Uh, Honor human's like an insult. She's just better. She's, that, she's um, just ended. That video, Jay... Uh, I'm assuming all the comments are still in favor of Hassan, or are they not? Uh, for what video? I can't be bothered to read them. <laughs> well, I don't, I'll have a look. Can't someone scan? I'm just curious what the, the general vibe is, if they've just swallowed his retardedness, or, or if it's actually well, like... Um, top comment, I'm sick of people pretending like small creators are suddenly going to lose organic... Oh, suddenly going to get organic views if um, a React streamer doesn't react to them. I know Hassan mentioned this, but I could not care less if anyone uses my content to make money. My goal, the most of, goal of most content creators, is to have our content seen as many as people as we can. Even if a React streamer awesome. doesn't have anything to say about the video, it's still being seen. That's the original purpose, all, anyways. They just didn't address I mean, the like, points, then. Yeah, mm, yep. exactly. Yeah. I think that mo the most valid criticism is that reactors, especially when streaming, should try to credit better because it's easy to miss the minutes where the channel and video name are on screen. That has two cap votes. I mean, see, Hassan, Hassan made like, upwards yeah, of 40. Exactly. Oh, 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 next top comment. Hassan made upwards of $40 during the time he had Jay's original house video up and Jay received 200 more views on that stream. The likelihood that Jay made a single dollar from those views is very slim. During that time, Hassan used Jay's video to entertain his viewers and then uses the argument that Jay would receive compensation in the form of exposure, uh, i.e. that, in quotes, fat bump that con <laughs> the content creators receive according to Hassan. How is this in any way different from wage theft without compensation, permission, Ooh. or even shouting out Jay? Hassan used Jay's content and made 9,000 times what Jay made. <laughs> This is exploitation. Damn. That is not your content to use. Damn. That's a, that has good. 30 upvotes compared to the Aww. other 2,000. Aww. <laughs> but it displays still... third. Maybe, they said, maybe it's like an account that you have some kind of knowledge of or, or connection to, and so they push like... I don't know how it works for... I mean, I don't recognize it. I think I mean YouTube. I think it might be because it's newer. No, it's not any newer. I, you, I mean YouTube doesn't strictly order it by number of upvotes. I know. I just um, thirty compared to. Didn't you say another one was like two thousand or something? 
yeah, the first two have got 2,000, that one has 31 now. Um, then there is, um, yeah, so, but YouTube doesn't always order it just by top vote first when you arrange by top comments. It's like, an, it's an, some kind of algorithm that shows you them, you know? Well, I think it's good in terms of trying to breathe some new life into other alternative popular did, comments, you know? Did you see the, um, the timestamp, by the way, where the, the, he, he's saying it all and it pops up on screen just to show that he's wrong? Well, I guess I could do it. There's no copyright worries here. Except you guys are just going to have to wait in silence for a and second. I was like, nah. At that point, I was yeah, like, no shot. Fine. The reason why he figured he out I watched his video to, to begin with as a I love, by the way, this. his coverage is 37 minutes. My compilation cutting out all of his bullshit ended up being like an hour and a half. He has left out so much shit that he says. He repeats himself like a billion times. <laughs> Maybe the editor does cut out the times he repeats himself. I'm sure if he hasn't deleted those tweets from way back when, because I still remember it, tweets. is because he posted his analytics. He posted his metrics. Show oh, they so proudly present that tweet. Like, they gotcha, Jay. Gotcha. Red-handed. Trying to claim you didn't gain from this when you, like, explicitly say you don't know how you could even figure out whether or not this is an overall detriment. Fuck me, all yeah. of them ignore that part. I think my favorite use of that is when Denims lines out exactly what she wants you to do, and it's everything you did within like the first minute. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, can she really be blamed for not paying attention? <laughs> You're trying to say because she's a mean? woman that we don't have to expect her to pay attention? That's fucked up. Yeah, it's like I, I legitimately don't actually know what you mean by that. Um, it's because she's American. We assume the... that they struggle to pay attention. Rags, can you believe Sorry, this bigotry? That? Believe what bigotry? All of it. Yeah, see, you know, she has to pay attention to like streaming and making sure that like, you know, she doesn't fall out of a oh, chair. Kitchen is in full view. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, she dude, she to... is busy transforming content. Uh, there's a whole chat next like, to the video that really like, that is not the same as just the video. Like if there's a chat there, I'd say that's an intense, you you've guys, transformed it, let's be honest. I. I think it's pretty clear that the obvious thing that she is spending most of her time focusing on is being a good content curator. Which is for important. all of those people. Look, yeah. she's not justifying it. She's explaining why it happened, okay? As if we couldn't figure it out. Um. Where are we going here? God, you were supposed to convince me that Twitch streamers aren't brainless, not reinforce it. Oh, oh no. no. Hey, look, he should be allowed to have at least one or two bad takes, all right? Everyone gets them. Not me. Sure. Hey, Mola, saw you in DGG about a week ago. I don't even know how to get to DGG. Um, any chance we see Destiny coming on at some point? Would love to see it. Hi, Rags. Love the new vids. Hello, thank you. I'm um, glad that you enjoy them. I don't, so the, it would be the same problem we have with a lot of people. I was like, Destiny doesn't do much media stuff. So it'd be a little bit awkward to get them on for some topic that would be suitable. But I mean, if you wanted to, we could we'll have to figure out. Gonna, what, what if you were going to do like some kind of stream hit, shitting on Hassan? That would be like <laughs> a deal, ideal, I think. <laughs> get them for that. Ooh, yeah, for, for our part three. Oh, this is like we've video. already done. Three on Hassan now. Yeah, obsessed. He's the new Jerry. He's the new man. villain. Well, the thing is, like, if he did a whole like Dude. hour rant about Efab, we'd probably cover it. I don't see why not. But it wouldn't matter if it were him or if it were Asmongold or if it were, you know, any other oh. like person with a lot of this reach. We'd just want to be like, what the fuck is this? There's a strong chance that he'll get mad about the Efab coverage, but you know what? There's, I think there's a lot. Much, a much weaker chance that anyone who would be interested in sending that to us would actually see it. Because, like, I feel like that might just happen and his audience will see it and they'll be like, yeah, and... I mean... Anyone in the IFA audience watch this sound streams? I anyone? A, anyone here? Twice. So, I figured that if there was going to be a response, it would have happened by now. That's well, true. I think it's well, Jay might not suggesting find out that... Yet, yeah, Jay's suggesting that it might have happened oh. and we just don't have any knowledge of it, but I would have thought we'd find out. Yeah. He, you um, think, yeah. He he blocked Chud, um, and That's as true, far as did. I'm aware, Chud and he didn't have any other interactions. It was just after the EFAP, though. Well, yeah, I w <laughs> I'm sure he's aware that the EFAP happened. I don't see why he wouldn't be. 
Um, but I, I, think I don't he's, really... he's above a soul, and what? he has better things to spend his time on. No, he's just lit. He's, he was explicit when we covered it about that super cut. He's like, I shouldn't be acknowledging any of this. And he's obviously like, yeah, I'm just not acknowledging it. Alright. Well, I mean, but he has such good self control that I'm sure he's going to stick to that. That's the thing, man. If someone. If he scrolls around in his chat and <laughs> enough people say, like, you know, respond to EFAP, he'd be like, those guys are fucking crazy, man. Actual Nazis. They've covered me like a thousand times in ten years. Just clout chasing, man. This is bro, he says, dude. What he the says fuck? Dude, not yeah. He says bro and dude, not man. It's like dude is is, is his go-to, I think. Well, you have to say literally every other third word as well. Okay, literally every third word. Like every third word. Literally. You say hello to him, and he's like literally hello. Uh, do you plan on covering any bad Elden Ring videos? It's really annoying to me how many people are claiming that it's better than DS1. That's fine. I, I, I don't fine think that... Fine it's better than DS1. They all, no. they all battle over, like... Everybody thinks that Bloodborne is the masterpiece undisputed champion, or a lot of people do. And I just, like, sort of awkwardly sit down and I'm like, listen, love the game. <laughs> but... You know what? I'm just gonna stop there. <laughs> like, <laughs> see you guys next time. Um... Oh, I don't know. Like I, I think it's fine. People, people battle to this day that DS2 is the best one. There's a lot of crazy yeah. people out there. I say let them enjoy their time. Talking about Dark Souls is a infinite nightmare. So many people were like, "Why didn't you make a Dark Souls 3 video? Why not a Bloodborne video?" And I'm just like, "Cause you know what? That was a very specific passion, and I feel like everybody's probably already got better information than I do about." It. There's so many videos going over like. I saw one recommended that was like, don't do quality builds because of the way the, the statistics work for the scaling. I was just like, I don't even fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like, alright. Yeah. Like, every time we play Bloodborne, like, we <coughs> both just, like, one of us starts and the other one plays the two, and then Fortilla comes back and plays the two. <laughs> yeah, no, no, do, do a race. The race, complain about all the shitty enemies and bosses, <laughs> like, oh, that was great! I'll also talk <laughs> about how we fucking year. can't resist replaying that game, so fucking yeah. good. Like, I'm already back to, like, oh, if this would, like, come on a PC tomorrow, I would start streaming that game immediately. I'm sure I said that <laughs> when we ended our recent arc on it. I was like, if it did release on PC, I'd be back again. Because, dude, mm -hmm. playing in 60 FPS compared to 30 is, like, a whole different game. It would be... Oh, no. If it releases, it won't <clears> be 60. It'll probably be, like, unlocked. Oh, I fucking hope so. Mm-hmm. Because we're, luckily, we're at the point where 60 is low. <laughs> You tell consoles about that, sometimes they don't listen. <laughs> and then sometimes you have people being like, you know what, I think 30's fine. 30 is fine, guys. 30's fine. Oh, well, you know, what about, what about 13? Bad, Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's 30. the that's real like, gamers come out to play then. That's like, yeah. like Lego yeah. levels, nice. Oh, yeah. I hey, no it. spoilers, Mauler. <laughs> I well, saw your Twitch stream, Jay. I, I, I was about I to say, the there's meme. people in this stream who would have seen that already. They would have seen it. Uh... So, oh, um, did you did you stream some Legos, uh, Jay? I didn't stream any Legos, but I streamed. Um, well, I I streamed a reaction to some so someone from a website called um, I think Catholic Three Six Five. Nice. Um, where there, where it's all it's all devote Catholicism. Um, stop. Released a perspective stop, piece. Stop! 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 They released an Devout. article where yeah. they gave. Devout. I figured. I figured. You were. Devote. Wait, what? what? I'm sorry. He said devote Catholicism. Said, oh, I think he said devote. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, it either way, dang those. Whatever <laughs> I said, it is now correct, and everyone else is wrong. <laughs> um, it was a um, um, divide uh, Catholicism uh, website where they they shared the the Catholic perspective on my five-hour talk to you video essay. Oh, and I wow. had a quick react a... to that article. Wait, is there what's the difference between a Catholic and a secular perspective on your video? Oh, Catholic? um, I now having read the article, like, I'm not sure. I don't know, like, it was all a conclu. So, um, they concluded that um, the like wokeification of oh. stuff like Doctor Who and He Man. Is the same force that's respect. Hang on, that's responsible for something like the um, 
deviation from the traditional Latin mass in the Vatican or something, and it's the uh, same force behind well, the... Not true. Wait, but that was the Vatican too. The Catholic Church did that in, not too long ago. In... Let me have a look. Yeah, um, that was Pope John Paul II. That was Vatican II. Or was it Pope John Paul I? I can't remember. Mm. That is a very interesting comparison. Because I, I was just baffled by it mostly. Know, for those who don't know, Catholic masses used to be done in Latin, all the way up until it was like, it was like when it was it was in yeah 1965, all the way up until 1965, Catholic masses were done in Latin. And then they made these the the uh, one of the changes they did in Vatican II was that it would be the language of wherever they were, right? So that well, was see, that sounds so to that, me, it seems to make sense. Yeah, it does make a lot of fucking sense. People know know what's happening now. The homilies were always in English. Important thing, like so when so after you had the the gospel reading and everyone got to sat down sit down, you know, and fucking rest because going to a Catholic mass is like exercise is a workout then the priest would come out and he'd go to the lectern and he'd say he'd talk about the gospel here's what this and here's the message and it, it is his messages of the day and here's what the morals are just him you know be you know talking and chatting and all that stuff right that part was always in the language that people can understand but the mass itself was in latin so here, here i've got the conclusion to the article here right so i do seriously intelligently believe that the subversion of a children's cartoon show is directly connected to the current apparent on the traditional Latin mass. Okay. That I is, feel like I would, you shouldn't describe the things like... that you do as intelligent, like your own beliefs. It's like, yeah, I intelligently believe this thing. I need to hear what their reason would be for that. Because uh, well, the only thing that I could possibly, if I was going to try and understand it or give that some meaning, what I would do is I would say that they're, because it isn't, it's very, it, it is, it's inclusifying the thing, but in different ways, whereas one is good in the sense that we can understand what your words are now, and the other is like that's the empty sort of inclusion. We're just gonna do all this stupid dumb shit that doesn't mean anything to score points, right? But... Well, I don't think they really had much reasoning. Like I couldn't. Um, their reasoning was that um, they found someone who. Uh, well, I found someone, but they they referenced someone who had written an article about the video, where they claim, where they essentially defend. Have you seen? You might have seen this. That the person who defends the. That is not actually being as racist as we thought to try and justify some of the Doctor Who stuff. Um, like, they try to defend that the Nazis wouldn't treat someone with dark skin more poorly to defend an episode of Doctor Who and then call me, oh. like, far right because I didn't agree with them. It's you fucking wild. Right yeah. Well, your far rightness aside, we'll get into that later. That is a pretty interesting take to have to own the to own the J. Defending the, the Nazis to own J is quite a Oh yeah. People have the right to have that opinion, I will say that. The um the, and the connection they draw is that people are like willing to the, the the woke are now willing to defend the Nazis if it goes with their narrative and this is and therefore deny reality, and this is the same force that's that, that's that's destroying Christian traditions or whatever. It's that's it's a it was a really impenetrably written article. Um, it was really hard to just get the fucking meaning out of it. It was like a forest. Um, yeah, it's like yeah, Christian yeah. Apologetics. Because uh, they're I, I, bad. Um, Let's, let's not derail for too long. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Watching your streams makes me feel like you guys are my friends, which I know is not true. Anyway, that's Correct. what happens to hot, charismatic people. Oh my goodness, look at you. You can be our friend after all. Oh. <laughs> what an arc. 
Lord Longbong of Muirslington Abbey. Have you given oh, any more go. thought to a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on, it'll be a legendary movie fap. Mm. Yes. Ohio Ragasan squishes for the good oh. boy. Ohio. Thank you very much. Yeah, there I will be a Long Kong one, one day. At some point. Oh. Yeah. There will be a Long kind of Kong a... someday. I remember that being a neat movie. We have movie. so many things on our watch list. We do. We have it's so insane. many things on our watch list. It's nuts. Not just stuff that we need to watch, but stuff that needs to get out. Yep. All of the stuff. Don't so worry. So many treats in the store. So One day. many. So I'm a few minutes behind. Y'all legit talk about Coom or Snitler like every other minute. Quality content on God. Also, can y'all oh. say a random tism? Oh. Let oh, both a random tism? What is a random tism? Yeah. Just a random tism? Random the words? Or just. Yeah. Maybe it's just like a very strange uh, comment that's not correct that someone might say out of stupidity. What do they mean, just like saying glorm kind of or whatever? Well, what, why don't we combine like all three? Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. Okay, so it's a it's a random word. What what were the three? You have to say I, one of them was like glorm. One of them was an incorrect statement that someone would believe because they're glorm. stupid. Everyone um, knows that Glorms are one seventh of Schleimbleem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so I what, think that the first one was to say a randomism. Second is saying like Glorm or Schleim, and then third was if you guys said a, a thing that someone could theoretically believe to be said by someone, but is insane. I don't know. Like, what if you know, like in the Vietnam War, they were seen as aliens because of how different they were from us. <laughs> <laughs> Is my three. And like, uh, I'll, I'll do one. What if, what if in the Schleem War they were seen as aliens because they were so different from us? I think that's fair. Schleems are weird. Whoa, you take that back. Oh. Take it back! Schleems killed my family. Good. Schleem in the Long War was hiring. <laughs> Shrimply Scrimbo. Schleem Long War. Shrimply Pibbles. Squirbly, Squirbly Crumbsworth. What are the crumbs worth? What are the crumbs worth? What are the crumbs worth? Okay, what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move on now. Worth? I am concerned for Fringy. He has yellow eyes, which is a sign of liver failure. Add that oh, to no. him not admitting <laughs> that he's a bird, and I'm scared to death. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Jay it's really enjoyed that. Fun. Yeah, that was funny. Jay enjoyed knowing a friend of, like, the, the entire fucking universe is dying. Yeah, um, I, I really well, enjoyed I the news this Yeah, it's a very bleak outlook, Fringy. Um, but I guess I'm you sick. have you have a liver failure, so you're allowed to be bleak. Damn. I, I, I okay. like beak. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> it is a beak, though. What? What? Yeah, I thought you, you like, were okay oh, with it being a beak. All oh, rags with his fluffy tail. I like. I like. Yeah. Violence. <laughs> Silence is violence. Yeah. Silence is violence. Um, my children are listening. Why are your children listening? <laughs> your this? children, your children shouldn't, shouldn't be listening, be listening to, to this. us cover <laughs> This is not family friendly content. No. Well, how old yeah. are your children? Like maybe they're like twenty five. I guess they're always your children in a sense. Yeah. yeah, people still call them their children even when they're adults. They don't typically use it that way if they people mean are... that they're of all of the consenting people... ages stuff, so... Because people, people don't everyone's... say my adults are here. My adults are here. I say that. Yeah, you guys are my adults. You have adult children. Do you have a boy child? <laughs> Boy child. Oh, no, this says I have YouTube Premium, so no ads. I imagine this was when Chud was uh, talking to us about ads and stuff. I well, like this. That one. was like early on in the episode, so. Oh, we're definitely yes. not very far into it. <laughs> uh, I like this British lad. Bring him back more. Well, the only problem is that he's not much of a movie person, from what I gather. So we're gonna have to like find topics that he might be able to jump. In. Maybe Gartic Phone could do that. Oof. Oh yeah. I'm sure he'd be very good at it and wouldn't be edgy at all. Yeah. 
Hmm, how could Mola be making money on YouTube? Gee, I just can't possibly think of a way he could be making money here. Well, anyway, here's some dollars. Well... Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, but the, I mean, we make money from AdSense as well. You don't have to stuff the videos with it. You know. <laughs> What's an advert? It's when the video stops and it goes, Did you ever want to have to cook meat outside with barbecue? Well, you're in luck, and then you click skip. Because you don't need a barbecue. Just pay an editor an exposure forehead. Oh no. <laughs> pay them in uh, the means of production, right? That's the way to do it. Yeah, let them keep so their edits. I still don't fully understand what forehead means in this context. I know what it normally means. Post, um, post forehead metal. Uh, hang on. The game is schleaming. Uh, is that a Sonic game? And now it's absolutely wrecking my shit. <laughs> There's your forehead. So the expression being made by the forehead emote is essentially the, that of just mm. fucking laugh my ass off sort of thing. But in, a, in a sense, see. like, oh, you dropped your, um, you know, your, your camera into the ocean from a cruise or whatever? Jump in, go get it, lol. Like, it's that kind of, like, attitude. Hmm. They had to an exposure for him. Hmm. And I'm not even a Twitcher, as they call themselves. So I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a tuba of the U's. I'm a tuba. Ah, it's a tuba. Tuba. I'm a tuba. I'm a tuba. That's what the cool kids call like it. it. It's, gonna, it's gonna catch on really well. Is it though? Mola lives on Rags's basement. He needs no money. I live on the basement. On the basement. He lives on it. I guess if you, I guess a lot of us live on the basement. Like the first yeah. floor is on the basement. I guess so. So I live on the basement. Nice. But who's in the basement, right? Is there anybody? Or is I guess you gave me like a full on room. No, there's no one in the basement. Okay. Right. Felt defensive, you know, but I'm, I'm sure there's no one in there. No, there isn't. Molding, coping, crawling, spigging, crying. Don't know. He lied what. to me. <laughs> that was my first he molds of me. <laughs> a Hassan EFAP on my birthday? Cheers, massives. No problem. Take my money, Mr. Longman. Chat will feed you. Oh, that's nice. You can buy all kinds of dollar meat store stuff at that point. Meats? For a dollar? Yep. Mini meats. Dev, only give me money if you can, want, and feel I deserve it. Chud, give me. <laughs> <laughs> give me. <laughs> well, Chud one for one repeated what um, Bad Buddy said. And that got memed into oblivion, so I was surprised that it, like, it was just echoed here so casually. I think it's just, uh, I think what helped contribute with the Bad Buddy one was just the indignancy and the, the fact that she really peaked the microphone screaming into it like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, Chud was pretty indignant as well. Yeah. Uh. I guess it's just five dollars a month. Like, there's something about that. It's just like the five Ooh. dollars thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then people don't respect me as a content creator <laughs> because of you know, it's like, oh, that's that's why I'm not getting paid so much. I guess it's just I don't know. When you have to yell at people to give you money, I feel like something's gone wrong. <laughs> not <laughs> respecting the market at this point. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the free market will decide your value. Your fate. Uh, yeah, I was about to say your fate too, but I decided to, I guess, to be... I, I just decided not to take that opportunity. <laughs> I am you why. the market. Not yet. <laughs> this is, uh, I guess, I, Amazon is talking to, or maybe uh, Disney. Uh, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be Amazon, right? Because, like, Amazon doesn't make these decisions. It's up to the audience to decide your uh, fate, I guess. Oh wait, the free market, sorry, I got mixed up. Oh damn, someone's, someone's super chatted in. Chat knows nothing. Is this a Denim's reference, or just a truth that we have to accept? Why not both? <laughs> that implies that Denim said something that was true, I don't understand. Oh, uh, well no, she said I don't know a lot. True. But she knows... If she doesn't wait, I, I don't know. What, what's the opposite oh. of knowing some things? Not knowing some things. Oh, that's kind of like everybody, right? 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, I think I, it's mostly the amount of things you don't know. I, uh, I, I just pulled up the clip and I wasn't ready again. I remember I said the 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 mic peaks, but I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> My ears. They caught hurt. you off guard when you were prepared for it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's That's because I knew talent. Yeah. I knew it peaked, but I didn't know it peaked that much. He's also rebranded. It's not. It's not bad money anymore. Changed <laughs> the name of a stream. I wonder. Well, that'll help with their reputation. Five <laughs> Oh, you did. Look at you go. See. Oh no. All that Kirby talk reminded me of the first Rayman masterclass in design, but too bad it designed to utilize cruel and unusual punishment. Not sure what that's referring to exactly. I don't either. It's referring to Rayman. Learn to listen. Jay, there was a whole other part to that that you missed. Good the talk. Re reference Design of game. Uh, the game being cruel and unusual with its punishment. If you could provide us insight on that, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, shut the fuck up! I've not played Rayman since I was like five. Liar. So I, I don't know. Liar! Liar! Brought him here to kill me! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the kind of fun I would expect from the LEGO games, where they could like redo the lines and then just make them even stupider. Oh, fun. Stupider. Imagine doing that with the sequel trilogy as well. Yeah. Somehow Palpatine returned. And someone in the audience goes, How? He goes, Somehow. How? <laughs> he just keeps it. Somehow Palpatine returned. How? Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> you keep finding How? ways to put it into the dialogue um, just throughout the entire fucking movie. Oh, yeah. That would be great. We have to stop Palpatine. Who somehow, somehow returns. returns. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they get away with doing that. Oh, it would be so good. See, and like, ah, oh, that's another thing that I realize is missing. I should really save this for Saturday. There's no fucking, like, all the dialogue is like, just, just empty and hollow in terms of like, entertainment value. Yeah, and it's not empty and hollow in the way that it was originally said in the movies. No. It's empty, well, the prequels. But it's empty and hollow and just this... <sighs> yeah, the it's bad enough the voice actors are generally bad. Um, they seem so uninterested. Uh, yeah. A shame. But what's the point in... They just said lines from the movies, and then they added some of well, their own, but that shit... And I'm have just you like, heard Qui-Gon's voice actor, Rex? Yeah, it was. That's the, I, that's the worst so far. It's, it's the nothing worst. like him. They, they <laughs> hit you right on the head. You boot that fucker up, and Qui Gon Jinn's voice actor is like, "I'm clearly not Qui Gon Jinn." <laughs> it's, it's a voice that is like, there's not even an impression going on there. Someone was just told to read these lines out. <laughs> they didn't know who the character was. Obi Wan, we must go this way. And you're just like Liam Neeson, huh? What the fuck is Deku? Don't know. Hi, Rags. What is, what is Deku? And one of the challenges in the game told me to go to, I think, Deku space. Let me, let me get this right. Um, uh, uh, uh. I didn't know people took it these says, It says, oh, Dakar. Spelled D-Q-A-R. Oh. I don't know. I didn't know people took these LEGO games so seriously, to be honest. I had a bit of that when I was talking about this on Real BBC, and I was just like, okay, games should work, first of all, <laughs> whether or not they're for kids. Jesus. Mm. Um, if anything, we should have higher standards for children's games. I mean, certainly in content control, like, you gotta be careful with whatever you're fucking peddling oh, yeah. to, to kids and stuff, but... The ability to play through the game shouldn't be in question, especially for fucking LEGO game. How did this happen? We'll go over on Saturday. I think, um... Something like a game opening with an advert for a DLC is way worse than a children's game. Yeah, I'd say so. Um... Emergency Relevant Wings quote. Dejected tone. Alright, we've made one dollar and lost one subscriber. 
Oops, you guys have earned three minutes of commercials. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Funny. I like the idea that Chud would have heard that being read out and said, yeah, that guy's fucking yes, Chad. Yes, yes, Chad. <laughs> it's like Wings is like, yeah. Chud Logic and Wings streaming some COD. That's what I want to see. Streaming some cock. Nuh uh. Nice just, cock. Just COD. Also a bit of cock, I guess. Nice Rags, fucking. did you know that England is your city? Oh, I had no idea. That could be true, as England is the name of a city in Arkansas. And Mola, England is your city, too. All right. England is your city, too. I've decided not to push back on this anymore, because you know what? They're happy saying this, and I don't want to upset them anymore. I'm just like, yeah, sure, England's my city. All right. You're happy to say it. I'm happy to listen. Uh, Mola is king. And who is queen? <gasps> Me. Oh, sweet. Who's the jester? Mel. Oh, Fringy. Hey, it's Fringy. Fringy? Wow. He could have hey. made him the court alchemist, but no, you made him the court jester. Oh, he moonlights okay. as an alchemist. <laughs> Imagine he was like, wait, what do you mean I'm the jester? I'm the alchemist. It's like, that's what you think. This is what everyone else <laughs> thinks. Everyone else is like, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Make your potions, sir. Yeah. Potions are large. Hello, Mola, Rags, Fringoid, and others. Hello. Hi. This... No, I refuse. No, no, I figured. Anyone who doesn't say hi back is obviously just a big ol' uh, Grinch, basically, of hellos. Yeah, we don't want no um, Grinches. More like a Grungus, but okay. A Grungus, a Grunglo, a Shrunkly Scrimbo, a Squirbly Crumbsworth. Who are you, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> <laughs> I am Dr. Seuss. Soothsayer, the wordsmith. Soothsayer. <laughs> This Twitch versus YouTube analysis is fascinating, but to be fair, my brain cells will be very happy when it's over. I think so. As much as people enjoyed certain parts of it, let's be honest. It's nice that we don't have to go through any more of that shit. It is, it is nice to go back to the other things that we normally do, whatever they are. I forget. I've never been so fucking familiar with a J video before. <laughs> Thanks to everybody <laughs> watching it and not listening. Charlie was a mask Karen. I stopped watching during COVID. He's a mask Karen. What what is a mask Karen? Like you like like you like you need to put on a mask or I'm gonna call the manager, or I don't have to wear a mask, even if you do call your man I don't Did you say mask Karen? I thought you were saying like mask Karen, like a lot of Karen. No, I think this yeah, I think that the, what what they're saying is what Rag just said. Like like maybe he was like if he was the kind of person that would fucking tell all people if they don't wear a mask, that would suck, but, uh... I don't know. I hope not. That's... Ugh. I saw someone in your store, and they weren't wearing a mask. Can you get security to escort them out of the building before we all literally die? Uh, this one just says Batman's pet goldfish. Hmm. Well, maybe that's the user, but there's no... Oh... Here. This is alien like Filmento's comments. Oh my. I wouldn't want to re reference such racist bigotry. Bigoted racism, whichever one is the correct. Um, With a car, you can go anywhere you want, Dev said to himself out loud. Is that a problem? What I mean, was wrong with that? <laughs> that seems I guess like you can't go like anywhere. But... You can't yeah, go but anywhere. You know what? <laughs> Yeah, when people say, you know, they yeah, don't mean yeah. literally. Well, they mean like, yeah. you know, there's so many roads no. in the world. Basically, road pretty much anywhere you want to go, could ever want to go, there is a road that leads to or nearabouts to it. Maybe what about the moon? There are roads to spaceships that can go to the moon. Oh, no, then. Yes. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, outsider of EFAP depicts the community as toxic, but we are now in the timeline where the former laughing stock of one of the streams is now being fervently defended from people who mistreated him. Oh yeah, I guess it's funny how this reference a lot. It's like that is some fucking almost foundational history for EFAP now, because the more episodes that are made, the further back in time that is. Yes. We've come a long way since Rhino Milk. And you know what? There's no reason milk. not to farm rhinos. <laughs> he said the thing. Why? He said the thing. Rhino pills will make your reaction come harder. That's hot. Yeah. 
Rhino, I like, yeah, I heard that rhino horns were supposed to be like an aphrodisiac or something. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, they give you the, the horn. <laughs> Um, what was Charlie's J response called? Uh, I think it's literally just called his channel called Drama Response. There's two of them. Um, because so. he never made a, a vote response to me. Both of them are talking about Dark Viper, where he also mentions me. I think one of them is called, like, I think the first one is called Our Reactors Have Bad People, and the second one is called Drama Response. There you go. The Rhino Pills have unregulated amounts of Viagra. Oh my. Like, like over the estimate or under? have you well have have you seen a rhino that wasn't on viagra with that thing right. just flopping over their noses ah. is that why the horns are hard like if you took the viagra yeah. out the, the rhino viagra. horn would go floppy absolutely that's why they're so if horny. they don't have the viagra it just it's like the 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 what is it the gullet the waddle on a turkey the little red <laughs> thing that hangs down that's what that's what rhinos are like if they don't take Viagra. I always thought that. You just never see it yeah. in the wild because they're always so yeah, horny. You, yeah, yeah. You, there's a lot of it. Just it's not it's not photogenic. And if you're gonna go out and photograph rhinos, you're not gonna photograph a flaccid rhino. It's just it's bad taste. And they're like, excuse me, can you not photograph me right now? You know, I'm not at my best. I'm really, yeah. Uh, which Keith David role do you like the best? Arbiter, Goliath, Captain Anderson? Oh, well, those three options. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, Dark Horse coming in from the rear. Navy commercials. That was your favorite Keith David role? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The way he says accelerate your life? Jesus Christ. I wanted to jump in the ocean for my country. Hmm. Well, I think the idea here is you be have to choose boy. between the three. Um, let me see. <sighs> between the Arbiter, Captain Anderson, and... Goliath from Gargoyles. I'm not familiar yeah. with Goliath from Gargoyles. Was he the... No, that was Brooklyn. Uh, that's the only one I know because I, I, I really want him to fuck me. But there is the I. It's hard to so between the arbiter and Captain Anderson, right? Oh, arbiter is less dynamic, but it it's so it's always like suitable. It's a flatter kind of delivery for that character, but it works really well. It's that's really tough to say. I think I'll go with Captain Anderson because there's a bit more range involved. I think. Elroy Potashnik. Now that's a good reference. That's Community, I think. Yeah. Else world rags is a navy admiral. <laughs> I can't nice. really give a choice on these. I haven't played any Mass Effect. I've only heard bits of him from Halo, and then I don't even know the the Goliath one. So, I got nothing. It's like a, he does them both really well. It's almost like which character do you prefer? Remember, he was in uh, Pitch Black, a movie we are still yet to see, but we will. Mm, on e Are we gonna do the whole trilogy? I'll see why not. I'm totally down for it. I Oppenheim. I've seen the first two and I like them both. Uh, I I did. They're just especially Chronicles of Riddick. It's just like what the fuck. It's it's like a Paul W S Anderson movie. It's amazing. Uh, so life changing. So, would you say? It did change huh. my life. It changed my life for the better. Who's eating crisps? I you fuck. Celebrated my life. I'm not. Someone is. They know. They are now. I wish I would be eating crisps. Oh, it's probably Fringy then. <laughs> I use the process I of elimination. <laughs> oh, that could be like a postcard medal sends to people, where it's just him at his desk eating, you know, a bag of crisps, and it's like, wish you were here. <laughs> you know, it's it's. <laughs> That's the heavenly moment for him. Since <laughs> <laughs> you were here, but he's home eating crisps. Like you're probably on some kind of trip. That would suck. I'm back home with my crisps. About gamer glasses, I first heard of them as just regular blue light reducing glasses before some doofus started selling them as gamer. Okay. 
Well, they, I, I, yeah, they, I mean, they probably work. It's just one of those, if you pay more than like $10 for them, I feel like you're getting scammed, but they probably work. Can I get a good recommendation for a fairly decent gaming chair? Would like one with a good leg rest too, lol. Really? A leg rest? I have no idea where to begin in terms of like recommending quality gaming chairs. I don't know if you guys have a thing on that. So I have oh, one, yeah. and I got it because I needed a new chair because my old office chair, which I really liked, was just it was just it was it reached the end of its lifespan, and. I happened to just come across one that was on a really significant sale, so I got it. But I don't know what kind it is. It's an... To look. It's an E-Win. Uh, so... By the way, I have been approached by a... Uh, I, think, I think it was E-Win. And they said, hey, we want to do a partnership thing to sell chairs. And I was like, alright, this, this chair looks neat. And so I did a little mini poll to see what price range chair I wanted them to send me so because that's the one that people were more, most interested in buying you know that price range and I said oh, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you and I don't know if I'm going to do it I just don't know mm. um, I don't know I just don't know about it I like this chair um, but I just don't know I don't know when it comes to gaming chairs I just I don't know about it oh at that point then you just have to go for I don't know I got some YouTube videos on it. There's probably somebody out there who's got like a good breakdown of these things. Yeah, I, I watched. Uh, that's what that's what I did. I, I watched some YouTube reviews of some chairs because I went through their their catalog and I found one of the price range that people seem to really kind of go for and gravitate towards. And I looked around and I found one that I kind of liked and I let them know in the emails and so now I guess it's just sort of on standby. And I just, I don't know, because the, the business aspect of, you know, how much money am I getting per sold chair? And I'm like, yeah, but that's a lot of money to get people to buy a chair that I only get a certain amount of. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to them and say, make me a better offer and we can, we'll talk further. But in fact, that's what I am going to do just to see how high I can get it. Because I'm, I'm fine recommending it if because they're going to send me one and everything and they want me to do, the, you know, the review and stuff. But. I don't know. Think about it. Still hearing that. Could be a carrot at this point. Ooh, carrot. Like, is, is that actually... Are you picking that up? No, I was just talking about random noises coming from somebody. Because I... Insane. It's gonna... It's gonna do that. I didn't know they get picked up. Okay. Maul is on his, his saucy arc. That's saucy? Yeah, it's very saucy. I love sauce. Still oh, hey, sauce. mayonnaise is a... Hey, a mayonnaise is a sauce. That's like what that was. That's the mayonnaise sauce. Mm. Uh, been listening to y'all longer than I've been married, lol. First kids do <laughs> soon, and y'all help me get through the nervousness slash 55-hour work weeks. Well, I mean, Move the fuck you know, over, congrats, and uh, good luck with everything this, this, this be happening. 55-hour work week. You know, um, that's like, that's like... Not very impressive compared to some of these Twitch streamers who have to do like eleven hours per day, something with a. Or sometimes they can't even like they have to pee in a bottle or whatever. That's what I've heard. Because <laughs> pissing gets... in a bottle. Yeah, so you know maybe maybe try a little harder in life, you know, and maybe you could be like one of them someday, the hardest of workers. It is amazing that we are, we're kind of, we're, we're at the point where people can say, oh yeah, I started to listen to you and then I got married and I'm about to have a kid and here I am and I'm still listening to you guys. That's kind of a, that's an interesting thing to think about, really. It really, it really kind of is. I do wonder you know, sometimes, like, we... what is the average longevity of a podcast? And what is the average longevity of a, a marriage? <laughs> a year. <laughs> what is the average longevity of a worm? <laughs> mm. Was already married, did have a kid. Um, I was already <laughs> married, did have a kid. Oh, so he's just Sleepy. the saga continues. Because the thing is, like, as long as none of us die, I don't see why we'd stop doing this. <laughs> I don't intend to stop doing this. I, I, I also mean, don't I mean the, die, the, but... there's a lot of reasons I could say that for, but one of the main reasons I was just gonna say is like, dude, 
I don't think they're gonna stop releasing movies, TV shows, stuff no. anytime soon, or games. And yeah, I like talking about it. And I, I like, like doing it. it. Yeah, so yeah. kind of works out. Contrary to popular belief, this does not uh, start after I made the TLJ videos. I've just been doing podcasts for ages, or rather streams where I talk. Because I like talking. And then I found other people who like talking. Mm, nice. And we did all the talking together. Like, whoa. That's even more talking. When you take, like, a talker and you time it by deviance. a talker, it's not quite like... It doesn't just add the talking together. It creates more talking than the sum of the two talkings. Exponentially. Uh, yeah. Exponential increase in the talkativity. Hey, like, you had two talking plus two talking. Doesn't equal four. In this world, it equals, like, six. Because there's just more talking. What do you have to add up to get modern talking? Modern talking. Oh, nice band. Thank you, thank you. Seems like, like a modern warfare joke or something. No, no, modern no. talking. Rags got me. It's cool. That's all I needed. I'm glad he's. This is Rags. He's got your back. <laughs> I advise he can not recognize being all your him. references like reading a book. <laughs> oh, fuck books. They repeat themselves too much. Oh yeah, fuck books. <laughs> Fuck books. That shit with like, I'm pretty sure he was talking about book spots. Like, no, he was talking about books. <laughs> he was very explicitly <laughs> talking about books. Fucking book, like goddamn books. I hate books. <laughs> I love the delivery of it. It's perfect. Uh, when he goes, it reminds me of fucking books. Like the fact like that he just stops there for a moment, just books in general. He got a paper <laughs> cut as a child or something. Some traumatic book related incident. <laughs> Someone spoiled it's a said, Harry Potter book. It's said in such a, like, you can relate to this kind of way. And you're like, no. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. Snape the Half-Blood Prince. How could you say that? relate to this because I can't read. Yeah. Hey, some Twitch streamers can read, Jay. How many? Prove that. That's why they have text-to-speech on so much, because they can't <laughs> actually read. They have to have someone. Dude, that's another thing that's like, there's a, you know, there's a lot of topics about this, but like, when they have the text speech and they talk over it, or the video's playing and they just let it, it play and don't acknowledge it, it's just like, damn. I was about to mention that. Like, someone says, like, oh, it, there was some in the ones we were covering, we just didn't sort of highlight them, but Hassan will be reading a comment and then it'll just be like, hello, Hassan, I've enjoyed your content for years upon years. I find you so inspiring and, uh, you know, like, um, thank you so much for such great content. Uh, here's a donation to show my appreciation. And then it'll just be like, no, Jay's video is bad too, man. Yeah. Brew, and then leave. But hey, it was text to speech, so it's fine. It's been said. I really, I really like the idea that he uses that because he can't read. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, sort of effort. Everything is effort re reduced, you know. Which is okay, I suppose. Well, yeah. Why do you put in more effort to stuff like? And then you had to. So I can see what I'm arguing, like. Isn't the whole idea to make things as easy as you can? Isn't that like the human experience? We try and, you know, make everything more efficient and stuff. And like, yeah, I guess so. But at that point, Hassan can just stop doing anything because he has enough money to like well, no, live be a playlist very comfortably of, for the rest of his life, right? Playlist of your videos in the stream or someone else's and stuff, just cycling with a still image of him. Well, I mean, let's say, let's say he could. I mean, he could just move somewhere, buy a property, he could even become a landlord, just rake in that money without having to do very much. Um, and just just live comfortably for the rest of his life, because he now has... Uh, you fucking live. Well, I mean, compared to other jobs, it's pretty, pretty easy. To be what? A landlord? What yeah. What capacity? Like, what job? Imagine that's going to have more difficulties than his current job. That's true, Absolutely. actually. Is. Easily, yeah. Like, you've got a lot of shit on your plate. You have a lot of buildings and a lot of tenants, a lot of codes. You have to pay a bunch of people. Actually, yeah, you can... That's way harder than what he's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's In harder. fact, I'm not sure you could do it. Like, my roof, literally... There was a really bad roof leak in here, in my unit. And I had, like... It, when it, it tumped rain one, t one night, and it just... The, the roof just part of it gave oh. out where there's sort of the, the squares of the wood where how it's designed and man like they had to come in and fix all that stuff and they had to fix the roof on the inside and outside and they redid the interiors and like man that's all 
that's all. There must be um, there must be much easier and harder landlording jobs though, because I imagine if you own like a brand new development, you own like you own you own one brand new development and like everything's up to code and just everything's brand new, so it really doesn't have to be fixed that much. And you know when it does need to be fixed, you just call someone who can fix it. Well, yeah, but like. About like somebody who owns. Why aren't we just thinking of like somebody who has an investment property? They're technically a landlord, and that's just one house. And usually they have an estate agent who handles that. So like it's just a money machine for them. Yeah, that'd be more. I mean, like ultimate, ultimately, what I'm going for is the kind of person who owns a thing and no longer has to put work into it because they've hired well, people I, to do that for them. We may as well just go with he just so puts like, his money in stocks that are reliable and then retire. Well, yeah, because that's sure. essentially equivalent you, if you put you could all also your have, money. Um, yeah. You know, you could have someone who has a dealership and then has a trusted employee to manage it for them. Isn't um, that crazy? That kind of thing. You like my brain is like, well, no, because he he believes in this stuff, and then my brain was like, what? I mean, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's convinced himself he does. I, it's so weird to when someone has no idea how to argue any of the positions they hold. You start to wonder, like. Is this a position what you hold? You like, it's just a meme for you, like a thing that makes you money. A lop. It's, it's kind of weird to think about. Like, is that what it means to hold a belief when you have like no clue how to even articulate it? Well, it almost devalues a belief, doesn't it? Because <laughs> man, he's getting like roasted by a lot of different bigger channels right now, which is really fun. But a lot of them are just like one of the biggest, biggest points they have to make is just, he has no fucking clue what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Which is true. <laughs> it doesn't have I to mean, be. He's a socialist who doesn't know what the means of production is. So it's like I don't, I don't think that he believes the things that I think he probably believes some things, but I'm not sure <laughs> that what he believes is actually what socialism is. Because like he doesn't seem to know what it is. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like whatever he believes in. Apparently it doesn't fit the bill because he, when he describes it, it's not the thing that he says it is. Like so, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. Interesting to think about. Uh, watched Goodell earlier this week. Excellent work as always. Also, couldn't help but notice all the Persona music used in the vid. Good taste. Irax. Hi. See. Um, yeah, the Persona music is just like almost a mainstay in a lot of it because that's what a lot of people in video essays use. Um, yeah. The tropes. I don't understand this EFAP arc. Is this how you plan to win? You can't just destroy Hassan. You love Jay, save him. That's how we're gonna win this thing. Oh, right, yeah. That's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. To be fair, I, I don't want like Hassan destroyed. I want him to fucking learn, grow in some fucking way, which I doubt will happen. So at the very least, get people to be more aware of what's been going on with him. That's the best we can do. Then I'll sell for that. Because, like, you know, like, him and Movie Bob, in, in a sense, like, it, it, that's where Hassan belongs, by the way. He, he belongs Movie Bob tier. Where he's just, like, this crazy guy who makes some videos here and there, and every once in a while you see clips from him, and you're like, oh my god, what a fucking idiot. And you move on. I don't know that, like, he, he needs to be that high. Because, like, Movie Bob has a core audience, and he does, like, he, he does uh, command respect from it. I guess some people, because he earns like three grand a month on Patreon, and hmm. Do you I feel mean, like Hassan should more be like you whether know, whether or not he, movie from, what, has from X the work fans, he produces, his sphere of influence is tiny, and that's kind of from the from the work he produces. Me. I feel like he he's in sort of a like a three to four live viewers when he goes live zone. That's actually fair. Movebob does put more effort into his work than Hassan does. So absolutely, yeah. Okay. He writes his material, at the very he least. He does. Uh, JK... I mean, like, Movie Bob can construct arguments, they're just not, like, they're just bad and wrong. Whereas I'm not sure that Hassan even does that. Like, Hassan just sort of makes a word salad and then lets it out. Mm-hmm. Oh, just kidding, TLJ still sucks, that last chat was a meme, hi, M. That's me, I guess, but don't worry, we c we can tell that one was a meme. Uh, so, um, this is the thing where you get to you have to choose between two superpowers. First one is called Upgrade. 
The ability to fuse your body into any tech and give it various upgrades. Or munch fruit. Allows the user to eat anything. Eaten items can be merged into and manifested from the user's body or be combined to create... I'm guessing there's a part two. These Both these powers sound bizarre. Yeah. Oh, I guess combined to create. That's where it ends. Hmm. Okay. Well... Well, the problem is I don't want either of these until I know more about them. Um, <laughs> yeah. The one where it's like, fuse any wild. technology into your body. It's like, is that permanent? And what is the upgrade? Or is it is the drawbacks? Like, that sounds like it could be terrifying. And then, yeah. like, allows like, the user... specific upgrades. Allows the user to eat anything. Like, so if I eat, like, a penny, what, what happens? Well, anything. Can I eat a star? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. This thing, I don't know enough about these two to be able to say, and to be honest with you, I'd be like, I'm alright, I'll leave them both. I wouldn't want to risk it if this is the only information I'm getting. The fact that, yeah, eaten items can be merged into and manifested from the user's body. I don't I know, don't... man. I just, yeah, I'm not I even really sounds, certain sounds what that neat. means. I don't even know well, what Well, I imagine it would be like you could swallow anything and then get it back out. I guess you could I do that anyway. I don't know what I could... What would I do with that? I have well, food. Yeah, I have, what if and need... I live in a civilization that's designed to provide me with all kinds of different well, food. Well, like, I guess it's like I guess instead of packing stuff, you could just eat it and then get it out when you arrive at your destination. I mean, you could become a really effective smuggler. What a worthless superpower! <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't, well, you wouldn't have to carry to bags store. around. And if you ever want to take, if you ever want to want to take hard drugs on a plane, you'd be able to do that, I imagine. Man, when they were giving out superpowers, you ended up with a shit one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listening to you talking about the monetization of your content reminded me that I've never gave you anything for the hours of entertainment you provided me, so here's a little something. It's not much. Sorry. Dude. Oh, you, you don't know, have anything to apologize don't have for. Got anything from listening all. to us that the fact that you guys are here is more than enough for us to be very thankful. Uh, and. What? Yeah. And. Oh, yeah, sorry. Band. Oh, I like <laughs> but, um, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, rags. Time to reclaim the N-word. Me. Laugh me out of what? Rags, a furry racist confirmed? No scratches nice. for the bad boy. Unpog. Ratio. No caps. No paps. You will Ouch. give me Rays. all of the scratches and you will love it. Um, by the way, I, I've been casually following the deep lore of the chat and there's someone who's very, very upset at me for my horrific Fallout 76 review. Apparently, it is really? horrific oh. and terrible, and I lie. Um, and lie. the example that... Yeah, exa apparently the example that was that, that he gave when someone asked him for an example was that I call it an FPS when uh, I have a clip of me in the video in third person with a melee <laughs> weapon briefly. So if that's if that's what you have for your video, you should not make that video. Guys, why do you delete your channel? I'd have to find that out. You you should you should not make that video. If you that's um, if that's your if that's your you're go scared of the truth, Rags. Yeah, Rags, you've been annihilated and you you get all defensive I'm and scared. I'm guessing you want me to ban this guy, huh? I I am trying to save him from himself. <laughs> all right. Also, I don't care. That was two years ago, three years ago, and it's Fallout 76. I, I was going to say, care. at this point, so, your video not may not be yeah. representative of what the game is if you were to download it, and play today. No, it day. certainly isn't. Um, yeah, it. I've heard it's been, but, a lot of stuff's been done to it, but... Uh, the Rags' video is great for if you improved. wanted to see what happened when that game first came out. Because holy fuck balls, when that game yeah. came out, it was a disaster. Jesus Christ, that game. Don't even know where to... Oof. Has it, has it improved, or has it just changed? I, as far as I know, it's 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 definitely improved. They've added a bunch of stuff to fix things, you know but what, I just never went back to it. I'll say it. If it's Jay, been changed, it's video. probably better. It probably <laughs> is, yes. Every kind of glitch and bug that you could possibly imagine is in that game. It was fascinating. It, it kept me playing because of how interesting all of the different kinds of bugs were. Between the between the bugs and glitches and the server issues and all just the weird design shit, it was kind of fun to play to see what new bizarre thing was over the next hill. Um, 
I swear, these garbage Twitch streamers alignment would be chaotic stupid. Hmm. Howdy long man, hero rags, Don Bless, will enjoy Hello. listening later. Hello. Awesome. Speculative evolution slash world building project zero day, oh day zero I think they mean to say. Serena the world of birds, look it up, it's amazing, cool speculative creatures and good storytelling. Mm. Oh. Sounds like fun. I want to say people the world have, of birds. Um, yeah. I think people have recommended the speculative evolution thing before. Well, there's a lot of cool speculative evolution projects out there. My, uh, the one that I follow is, um, oh, I want to say, I can't, I, you know when you realize that you never pronounced something out loud before? I think it's like Bibladorian or something. Um, it's called Alien Biospheres. It's real, real neat. Liar. Very Bible high effort YouTube series. It's Bible Dorian because God created all of the creatures, the speculative and otherwise. Did he make turtles? Yes. He did. He make cat? No. That one, cats aren't real. Oh, like horses. I actually thought yeah, that. Yeah. I was like. Pretty sure they're not real. When I said like who made them, I was thinking to myself, I shouldn't have said that one. That's a fake one. That's from Star Wars or whatever, isn't it? You've been tricked. Yeah. So George the Lucas day. made them. To be fair, I think that was a pretty cool idea. Like this little, it's like lions but really small. Cats. Yeah. Really dumb idea, kind of. If you think about it, it's kind of like Jar Jar. Jar Jar. Jar Jar's my favorite Punished Jar Jar solo series. Punished, punished Jar Jar. Bounty Hunter and gets his Misa revenge on Bennett. Standing in the rain, smearing gooberfish on his head. I appreciate his passion for gooberfish, and I feel that in the many scenes of him being alone, you know, contemplating his existence, he would be consuming a gooberfish, and that wouldn't be played for laughs. It's, that is a goober. He's a food he enjoys. No need to say anything else, you know? Um, I love EFAP chat. All right, you may get angry at Rags Mola sometimes, but these guys haven't banned you for simply criticizing them. They ain't no Hassan. I appreciate highlighting that, but not being Hassan still leaves open a huge chasm for being pretty evil. <laughs> <laughs> like, he only represents a portion of uh, the latter. Who wasn't Hassan? Day. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi from the Czech Republic. Love you guys. Adore Mola's videos. Hi Rags, can I clone you? I don't know. They said you'd be the perfect so. boyfriend. No. I love you. Well, as much as I appreciate that, I like the idea that there's only one person similar to me. We would end up being different people, but I, I kind of like the idea that there's a sort of exclusivity to my, uh, my brand, if you will. Yeah, I mean, if you were cloned, um, that the individual that would create would be, in effect, your identical twin, but with the unique facet. They are they have a huge age discrepancy with you. I mean, they would they would be raised different. They'd probably have all these different perspectives and ideas and no experiences. No, Rags and... would have ended up this way no matter what. No matter what. In in, in all of in all of the universe, there is one constant, and that is rags. Yeah, the if he'd grown up constant. a different country, he would. Uh, one point would have been Express like. Express mathematically, it's R, generally within general relativity, and uh, yeah, and such. And so, yeah. Like if you're, a, you know, in, in whatever place, whatever time, you'll just randomly be like, oh man, I really want to talk about movies and stuff on like a podcast. Yeah, I need to... Is there a thing called the internet yet? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh sweet. That's just what you wanted. How neat. Yeah. Surf Ninjas was a good movie, you kooks. Surf Ninjas? I haven't seen it, but I think it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, I don't know about Surf Ninjas. And I don't- I only think it's terrible because I just- I have an aversion to surfing and ninjuring at the same time. I just feel like that's just incompatible. Ninja. You should watch Hassan's two-minute bread video. It's hilarious. YouTube won't let me link it. It's called Hassan Pika, everyone. Two minute bread video. Bread video. Talk about bread? Does he manage to fuck up talking about bread? I can believe it. 
And I can have a look. Do it. See what happens. What, what did they say it was called? No, they said it was called Hassan Piker, comma, everyone. Hassan Piker, everyone. Yeah. I mean, that's good. That's the title. It's, you know, that them. Has it got dot, dot, dot at the end? Well, not in the one that they quoted, but maybe in the... How many are there? Two minutes. Two minute one. Yeah, the two minute one. Alright, I will tap in for, for the two minutes. Of course, Dev's a chaser. He defended Jay. Also, send your memes <gasps> on Twitter and Discord. Um, I think we managed to show them. Also, where is Metal? How can you make fun of it when it's not here? Oh, damn. Jeez. Sorry, Wait, what? Nothing. I don't know I'm, I'm, hey, uh, hey. Hail hey. Rags. Oh, well, that ended. Hey, no, Hi. hey, hey, I'm right here. Stop. What was that? By the Bastard. way, is it just Bastard. me? Or does Hassan look extremely wide in his upper body when the camera front faces him? It's slightly disturbing me sometimes. His head is a, a, a hilariously small. He has a very small head. Yeah. He has a very small head. I remember that was one of the things that Devin Tracy would do whenever he uh, would do the Hassan responses, is he would make the effect that makes Hassan's head even smaller. I mean, it's it too really tempting funny. not to. Um... YouTube video zero day one. True facts, sea stars. Those are some animals. What's happening here? The format of this is weird. YouTube video zero day two. Thalassin, three minutes of Morley humor, and three all war Arch Warhammer lore vids. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I yeah. I just. One. I just don't know what's going on there. I lost on that one. I'm sorry. Uh, That's an odd boy. That's an odd boy. Chud, next time, don't yell and say Smug Ross instead. He didn't know that was the way Ooh, to escape nice. any criticism. Okay, that's like a, Smug a really big key. Yeah. Most people don't know about. I would argue it's kind of like the greatest way to escape criticism. Name a greater way. I'll wait. Put in your Goodell, true, with no context. True. That's kind of just like a constant Twitch thing. It's spread into other places now. People like saying true. True. Feels like the British wants to punch me. Oh, Chud, I guess. I like how he's being referred to as the British guy. I'm just here like, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's the British one. British. 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 He does have a lot more of a typical British accent, though. I'm sitting here. The one that confuses everybody all the time. <laughs> I didn't mean to exist. Stop existing. Perish. What is all this political jargon? I don't understand these terms. The hell is a turf? Trans exclusionary radical feminist. I think what it stands for, right? Uh, I think so. Ever want to do a deep dive on Metal Gear Rising? There are six hours of codex calls paired with the main story. I think it's really good, albeit I over the top. Or oh, it's over the top. Story. Also, hi Rags, Mola, you're gay. Thank you. Oh. Giving the old gay treatment. Um, I wouldn't be the one to deep dive that. I don't care about it, but I don't know if anyone here does. I don't think I would be the. I've deep played the game what now? and I like, but uh, I haven't played enough of Metal Gear. As a series, I think. No, I just, be... yeah. I played five. That was it. Hello. I saw some. I've see, I keep seeing a lot of revengeance memes these days. Yeah, because the memes <laughs> are great. But I'm just saying, yeah. even having played the game, I don't think I'd be in a position to, to I have to replay that into. game. The game is so good. Yes, it is. But was it better than the new Lego game? Oh. Probably. Uh, yes. <laughs> what did you discover, Jay, on your travels? So, he's explaining to an adult um, what economic policy he stands for by using, like, loaves of bread as an analogy for money. Oh, God. First, so he's like, let's say you produce 20 loaves of bread Why can't you just uh, see at your money? company and you have one employee. So, yeah, that was my thought through the whole thing. So I'm just saying, I'm like, looking there, talking to a fucking adult going, let's say your company produces 20 loaves of bread. You take home for yourself 15 and give your employee five loaves of bread. And it just cuts to this adult that he's fucking talking to you like, yeah. <laughs> what was the point of all this in the end? Um, 
Well, I bet confuses his own numbers as well. Like, I swear he's talking about a business that produces... Uh, what? Um, well, he says that he, he says that the employee on their own produces uh, the boss on their own can produce fifteen loaves of bread a day, um, and I don't. I just he just doesn't explain where he gets his numbers from. He says I think that the boss should get ten loaves of bread, the uh, and then the employees should get um, one employee should get eight loaves of bread and the other should get seven. I'm like, okay. How is he? Distributed this. So that sounds, yeah, because because like that, that sounds like weird. that sounds like you don't want to have any employees. I'm just confused as to how he split those apart. I don't know. But maybe he explains no, it really I'm, well. I'm, in the I'm may well, the thing is that it's like maybe there is an in an internally consistent thing that he's thinking, but he communicates it so poorly. Well, you know, what? strong maybe, but he communicates it so poorly. Like the 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 level of um that I have just conveyed to you what i just conveyed to you is a decoded version of what he said i'm oh. like um i he ah uh, he ha uh, i oh, the thought comments is like i'm lost so hang on why did they hire another person if their bread output was going to remain <laughs> 20 yeah, that's another good point. <laughs> yeah, because I'm listening to all this stuff and I'm going, it's like a lot of this, just even from this explanation, is like, man, like, don't ever hire people. It sucks. I don't There's just loads of. What? I love the idea that he just fucks up loads of basic stuff. <laughs> it's just like. Well, yeah, like, the numbers are just inconsistent, I think. That sounds funny. Uh. Fringy, Fringy is not a bird. You're a goo doctor made of frogs. Ooh, the lore expands. I don't know if you. That's not true. Oh, the lore does not expand. Mm. Also, Hassan's oh. not a commie. He's not smart enough to be one, and they ain't smart. Hi, Rex. Hello. Um, I don't. He's a, does he identify as a socialist, not as a communist? I don't fucking know. I think he's a social democrat, isn't he? I, Hang on, let's have a, I'm pretty sure I think he's he just has, at least. I think he just says leftist, and he. Uh, hang on, let's. Have, oh, I can't. I can't, I went to look him up on Twitter. I'm like, I think he has to be blocked. Um, <laughs> let me. I think it might be in his bio. Let me check. What do you want to know? I'm. I'm still pure. <laughs> uh, what his ideology is? Hey, Hassan. What is your? <laughs> what are your principles? <laughs> oh, you mean uh, medals? I thought you were talking about his sons. I don't have any principles. Next time, uh, how are you, German? Lightning warfare. Mm, it doesn't say in the biography, so I, I don't know. His ideology is brain rot. I don't think that's what he claims, but it would line up. I think that son knows that bio is short for biography. No. He'd say it's short for biology. He just thinks it's the Greek prefix for life. Uh... <laughs> the creature of the day, the long horse. Look it up. Friendly thing that shows up in your dreams to warn you of coming danger. Usually it's infinitely long neck. Or oh, using its infinitely long neck. <laughs> Digicalis cleavage in the Nice. Um Damn. the long horse. Yeah, apparently. Alright. It looks like it's a like a half a horse skull on a snake body. It's like it's I guess it's some creepy pasta thing. Called the long horse. Wait, what? Apparently he the warns you horse? about danger, so that's... Oh, that's good. Unless he is the danger. There's an SCP called the long horse. That could be it. it. Why the long horse? Nice. Nice. Uh, hey, horse, uh, why the I long... Caught. It's probably did. Well, I bet you could just stick your whole arm inside of a horse's 
vagina. Just get all the way up to the shoulder in there. How about it just keeps going and, going and going and going? You, you're probably just dead in there. It's not where you I... probably just crawl inside. <laughs> it's not where I thought this would go. Uh, uh, uh. Just get up in there, get a little step ladder, and just be like, uh, wake me up when it's spring again. <laughs> That's why you don't make your children listen to e <laughs> That's why you don't let your children watch e I saw that in chat. <laughs> have adults listening to it. Bid, uh, your pronunciation of insulate and assume trigger me greatly. You're on a show, not a so. Oof. Insulate, assume. No, well, you would say assume and insulate. Or in assume. Wait, what, what's, what's, I would... how do you say insulate? Insulate. insulate. No, no, not you, bid. <laughs> insulate. Insulate, yeah. Wait, which one? Insulate? I'm gonna say insulate. Insulate. Insul no. I'm probably gonna say insulate, though, now, because it feels like another one of those assume situations. Why oh, would you yeah. assume that? Because it just seems right. Uh, that's fair enough. Justice, hashtag justice for Frongo. Well, apparently justice oh. was just saved. Hardcore. I don't think I don't think that Frongo should have justice. Oh. Wow. Wow. I'm a big fan of justice. After we Thank invite you. you on and everything. Well, I didn't. They just said bring me on, and I was like, oh. Bring me well, on. I need Frongo. I need Frongo to know this that I feel about him in this way. How? Oh, Who did? Efat makes the best Nazis. Fringy is green, Rags is horny, and Muller is Welsh. So he's practically divergent. The best Nazis. Green, horny, and Welsh. The three genders. I'd say I'm proud of our combination. And we can't beat. Really good we summary work. of Efat. Yeah. We work hard for the money. Green, Welsh, and horny. Mr. Gustavo Fringy. I mad the green goo, and now I poot in water so people believe Australia is real, everything going is bland. Uh, is this meant to be like some lie or something that they've concocted? Australia? I, that's the prevailing theory, yeah. No, then... Well, whatever. <laughs> Australia is a lie. That's alright, whatever. Did you see Jay's stream covering Hassan's Nazi kill stream claims? First, I've seen him actually angry. Feel so bad for him. Uh, I was also angry. As was a lot <laughs> of us. on that stream. Yeah, we were, we were uh, not, uh, not pleased. We do try to keep a happier tone, but it ain't cool. It ain't cool. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. Uh, Dev Skywalker. But Uncle Owen, I was going to Toshi gas station to pick up some power dumplings. Power dumplings. <laughs> good reference. That is a good ref. Power dumplings instead of power couplings. Nice. Um, is the Esler sitch? Seriously, what is it? Esler. Oh, think of one. Lumber. Slut. Slag. I'm pretty sure those are allowed. Slide whistle. Slide whistle. Is it? Salamander. Fuck, marry, kill, a semicolon, parenthesis, and a dash. Okay. I mean, if nobody wants to respond to that one, I ain't got nothing. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pass on that one and respond to the next one twice as hard as I would have. All right. Said, okay. I'm going to read out the next one as it's done. Wait. Hold up. Bald or bald? I can't tell with these accents. Jeez, guys. <laughs> well, it's bald. Well, but yeah, I mean, that, so when you say like you can't tell because of the accents, that happens with a shit ton of words. We just bald? we just had one recently when I said sauce and Rag says sauce. 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 You know. Those are bald. Bald. Oh. Yeah. Bald and balding. You are a bald person. Bald what do you say, Metal? Which do you choose? You? I want some pizza. No, 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 no. If you're going to describe... That's an idiot. 
gonna just describe the shiny parts of a man's head when it's in the sun and it's all sweaty, but also no hair. What do you call that? Bald. Bald. All right. So you seem to fall on the 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 British bald, side. Not bald. British. What about you, Fringy? Uh, I'd say bald. Okay. There we go. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be too confusing. Rags says a lot of things weird. It's all right. Shiba dog dressed in a traditional outfit waving Japanese fans. They've done that before. They just say that. Traditional <laughs> outfit? Wait a oh, minute. Oh, is it one of the stickers? It's one I of the stickers, to, right? Hang on. So when I copy these from the fucking thing, <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they come out as text, but they're not, they're not, they're not oh, specialized text, though. They just read as normal text. Like they... We like don't someone... just have random weirdos watching us. <laughs> sending it turns out strange non it's emojis. That's what's been happening. Maybe. Wow. Oh fuck it! That all. was pretty funny. Why does it like if they just Why had a, it do that? a colon on either side and it was all one word? That would make a lot more sense to me. Yeah. You just realized <laughs> that bullet? No one told me anything. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have guessed that. That's, there was nothing was intuitive that. about that. We take a few of those for me to realize what was going like, on. Is this a Shiba dog <laughs> dressed in traditional outfit? Okay. I of course <laughs> think that you're referring to me for obvious reasons. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I will. I yeah. Okay. We, like I said, we had that one before. And it's like oh, because the emote has probably been used before. I see. <laughs> Baffling. Uh. A relative wrote, "Remember Ligonberries." into a letter he was writing to America because his wife said it. It was confusing to the recipient. I have no idea why. Ligonberries? Lin oh, sorry. Lingen. Lingen? Lingonberries. Lingonberries. I do not know what those are. I am i don't know about the Lingonberries. Neither do I. Perhaps there's lots of Lingonberry um, lore. That Lingonberry bushes? Lingonberry bushes that are scattered about the countryside wherever they're from? Perhaps. Maybe it's one of those those fancy bushes that grows in the lands that Gulliver went to on his travels. Oh man, Gulliver's my man. Mm, legend. <laughs> Gulliver. Whenever someone says Gulliver the name, I think of a seagull. E. Gulliver. Yeah. Oh, man. You got a lot of those around here. Sea Gullivers? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, Fringy, Hassan has never put two pieces together in his life. Rip every jigsaw puzzle he has ever attempted. Uh, <laughs> nice. No, the poor jigsaw has left to toil on piece together. Quotes of the day. Rags. It says, it says F gaze? <laughs> Hell yeah. F gaze bisexual muster race. What, what am I dealing with here? I probably said f I I probably said fuck gays bisexual master race. Why did the why did you butcher this so much? Like the way I read it is how it like but why? Why did they put it all as one word? It's like was that on purpose or is this I don't know. <laughs> Oh maybe no, I maybe I sticker. slurred it. Like I just Well maybe they said muster race instead of master race cuz they were worried about getting clicked on YouTube. Oh yeah, um, yeah. maybe saying yeah, maybe Maybe okay, saying fuck sense, the gays by sexual master race isn't approved by Google. So then the fringy one is your cream is my goo. Uh, cream hunter. The problem is <laughs> hunter. Uh, is, that, is that the full line? Your is that the next is Predator goo. movie? Hey, yeah, cream hunter. Like, it would be like the <laughs> subtitle of the movie poster. Your cream is my goo. Mm. Oh, so that would be yeah. Like Jabba. The tagline. That doesn't sound like yeah. a particularly interesting film, but... I'd watch it if it was a I face think feature. that sounds very interesting. Okay, whatever you say. You yeah. live a very uninteresting life if you don't think that that kind of a tagline gets you just excited to see what happens. I'd like to see the Cream Harvesters. I want to see... Yeah, I want to see... Who... Like if Denis Villeneuve is doing it, I want to see, like, Planet uh, Fringy and stuff. I, I would be... Yeah, I want to see the animal. nature of this goo and why some consider it cream. Yeah, cool. Lots of lots I don't of know why anybody cream. considers it cream. That's just a failing. Exactly. That's why I want to see your film. team. Your team. Your team goo then. 
Well, I think it's referencing well, I don't know what like it is yet. your body One is my trash. meat. You know, like like the, it can. Yeah. It, you know, I don't think it's supposed to mean that the <laughs> goo is, is cream. That it will become once you've processed it in your various plants or labs. You know, because we had some artwork that related to that, where you you were clearly at work uh, harvesting cream. I'm not sure what for what purpose. I, I wouldn't claim this any. Would want to do that. Okay. Um. For your cream taxes, your cracks <laughs> for the cream king. The one for me. The cream king demands his cracks One for me is, can I eat this? And then refuging it to a tree. Do they mean referring? Uh. So at this point, there's there's no reason for that to be spelt. Like, how do you how do you turn referring into refuging? Refusing? I guess. Okay. I assume so. Oh, but, yeah. still, we are not illegal. I guess illegal. Illegal? illegal? <laughs> it's literally capital E, lowercase L, uppercase. Yeah, it's 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 strange. No, no. Okay, we made it through. We made it through that one. Good. Mm. Um, Jay premiering the big one. Yeah, Jay premiering videos while we were running EFAP. So rude. <laughs> hey, I, I like made it as soon as it was ready. Streaming. I can do the same thing. Yeah. I thought you meant like stripping. He's Strip. premiering the big one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was very offended. It's, it's like you just you hate us and trying to steal all the viewers. Who's fucked up? I am. I wrote several letters. Several. Damn. My goal was to see if I could cause a dip in in the EFAP viewership. You did. Um, you fucking and crippled I... us. Yeah, that was my goal. We went down to three viewers. It was really weird. Went back up. You crinkled it. Are mosquitoes even important for anything, or can we exterminate them like we should have done centuries ago? Um, I don't know. I don't know if they, they have any purpose in the food chain of the world and stuff. That's good, you know, not cringe. I hmm. imagine that they probably do. It's probably it's something to... they do, right? Well, they exist for some purpose beyond, I guess, making... God Shit being diseases. cruel. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Like a, a way to exterminate them being fully developed. Isn't that a thing? Sorry? Um, but I, I think that there was like a, a way to exterminate them fully developed. It was just never deployed. Hmm. I don't know. DDT. I don't have a source on that though. Sauce? A sauce? Sauce. 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 is very sexual. Mm. One more Sex thing. Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> One more thing. Moist critical on EFAP, huh? Uh, you'd be welcome to come I don't on. Think well, yeah, if you want to come on, on, absolutely. We can talk about all kinds of things. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Stuff and things. Every day. Does Disney have a right to hit EFAP with a copyright strike once Fringy has rec recounted every single Simpsons joke and scene? You won't be able to. They keep releasing new episodes. That's true. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Is it bad that I get so irritated whenever I hear about Hassan? It's probably because he won't listen. I personally am not a great counter-arguer, but I still know what he's doing is wrong. Um... I think it's reasonable to have been annoyed. Stuff that happened in the stream, for sure. <laughs> what is echo? Un unreasonable to be annoyed by that. How dare you? Sorry, Fine. continue. What uh what is echo chamber dogmatism for one thousand? Dogmatism. I bet you don't appreciate that, Rex. No, I lo no, uh, all me me and all the dogmatists, we we have a great gale time. We, we got the parties and go bowling. Yeah. Cool. We are wizards. We are mages. What does Kirby turn into if he eats hot cream? Ugh. I don't know. I something that's We shouldn't we shouldn't tempt fate in such ways. <laughs> <laughs> One of those unholy combinations they're releasing in the last game when they decide Kirby's had In the final Kirby, yeah. Punished Kirby. Final <laughs> Kirby, the end. Final Kirby, that's what it's called. <laughs> Ironically, it does so well, they make another one afterwards. 
Or it's like Endgame when it was never the end. Never. Not an That's intent anyway. Beginning. Yeah, kind of. MC will be going for like another 20 years, so, probably. This says Assault Shaker. I'm assuming that's an emote. That makes more sense. Like Maybe Assault like Shaker a or somebody who shakes uh, Assault? I assume Assault Shaker. Okay. That doesn't help clarify anything, but mm -hmm. okay. Well, you said, was it someone who shakes Salt or Assault Shaker? And so I said Assault Shaker. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Then why did you ask me if it was that? I'm asking. I I just seek. I I need more information. <laughs> than better just options that. next time. <laughs> what do you mean better options? Yeah, what you other said options it was either it was either a shaker of salt or a salt shaker witch, and I said a salt shaker. So yeah, that doesn't help me though. Is so why did you ask me if it was that? <laughs> like, what is this so your what, own what fault? I'm asking, it's not my own fault. I figured you should have understood. Like the said, point that oh, I was Rags, asking is, is it? Rags holding a fruit. What? Is it a banana or an apple? And he says banana. I go, oh, that doesn't help me. No. <laughs> what's I, that what's is Rags going to do about it? That is entirely disanalogous. The question I was asking was, is it a salt shaker as in a container filled with salt? You didn't say that. Or is it the person? Well, so when I asked That's you. That's a different question. Is it? Shaker or a shaker of salt. Because moving the goalposts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the goalposts. The planet's just moving and you're static there behind. Yeah, I'm Captain America, bro. I'm planting my feet like a tree while this injustice takes place because I ain't. I yeah, ain't you can feel it. free to do that, but remember, Tony wins, so. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. They both get what they wanted. I mean, if you want to present it as that, sure. What did you think Cap wanted in that movie? No, Tony wins the external conflict with the Accords. That is undeniable. What do you We're mean? We're talking about Sold. Okay, alright. No, all right. I genuinely don't know what you mean. Tony wins the conflict. Cap doesn't sign the Accords. Yeah. No, I know. But what I'm saying is, like, the world that Cap wants is the world that doesn't end up uh, coming to be. Well, no, he's he wants everyone to make their own decisions on it. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. But I mean, ideally, he doesn't want the Accords to be a thing that, uh, that happens. Well, yeah, he, he doesn't, and he leads the Vigilante Avengers, then. Yeah, no, no. Now, I wouldn't say either of them win, uh, ultimately, what they both well, won. Well, no, I mean, of course, neither of them really get what they won in the end. It's, it's a pretty Pyrrhic sort of, uh, circumstance. A Pyrrhic. Not when the fat people not, win. Not Pyrrhic. Uh, nor Pyrrhic. Which I'm sure somebody has said once before. Isn't that like a... Wasn't that a... Didn't somebody say that when we watched the video? Or am I mixing that up in my head with some other reference? Dude, at this point, I think everybody has said everything in the videos we've covered. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. Uh... If he cares so much about chat, why does he ban them? I'm... I think even in line. So, here's, well, here's there's the enough people that you can ban heaps of them, and it's really yeah. not a problem. Here's, here's the answer to your question. Uh, let's go with six examples. The three that are critical of him, he will read out and then ban them or rip into them personally on a very fundamental level. The three of them that are positive, he reads them out and then says, "Yeah." <laughs> what do you think he's gunning for in chat? Mm. He wants to clear out the people who are critical and encourage the people who say, Hassan is a genius who is right about everything. Fucking, when he reads it's stuff like that and goes, true. Yeah. True. <laughs> it's so awkward. It's to say great. It's true about all these compliments of yourself. Uh, but I run towards the criticism, you know, I embrace it. It's like when I, YouTubers uh, pin and love a comment that says, You know what I like about this YouTuber? They're so smart and fair. I, I you know, I say it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Tweets that tweets and comments that are telling you how great you are. And you're just like, what? It's not my opinion, it's theirs. <laughs> it's just one that I concur with. <laughs> I, I simply <laughs> think it's well-founded. What? Yeah. How come you never see anybody hard in comments that say, you know what, you're pretty bad at this, my dude. To be fair. <laughs> I've started doing that, it's really fun. I was gonna say, I have I'm sure it is really fun. I'm pretty sure Sargon did it a couple of times where you'd like, you'd pin comments that fucking hate him. Because it would just be funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny, isn't it? It's just like... 
because that's probably not what you expect, you know. No. <laughs> Personally, part of that. It's kind of like, it's hard to insult somebody who kind of almost takes fun in, in your insults. Which is why um, people and... probably say next to Hassan that annoy him and then he punches his, uh, <laughs> uh might desk. Or... <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The pinned comment on my no bullshit video still just says, oh great, another triggered SGW or something. <laughs> oh man. Please get off, just get out they of these to... weird internet circles, please. They need to catch up with the times. It went uh, SGW, anti SGW, and then anti anti SGW, and then back to anti 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 SGW. So you know, it's like instead of just cutting off the antis, we keep adding them on because it's a new era. You can't repeat the titles. That was. Uh, that was... Oh god, I I forgot that she existed. Tommy Lauren, Lauren, you remember her? I think so. You remember that her? Name uh, is like a parody of the Oscars or something that was called the Snowflake Awards, but it was in 2018 or 2019. <laughs> so it's like, fuck, man, you're like three years too late on that one. <laughs> now it just feels a bit awkward. Yeah, Snowflake has definitely gone out of common parlance a little bit. I hear yeah. it every once in a while. Now it's racial slurs for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Look, the internet's a weird place. <laughs> you know what's is. coming next. And it taught everything moves so quickly. Uh, a, oh, a red box of popcorn. I guess I can just read these out and it does the effect of making you think of what emote you're seeing. So. Hmm. I'm imagining a red box of popcorn, yeah. A red box of popcorn. Hmm. Corn has been cooked this day. Snowflake still pisses the right people off, at least. I don't think it does. I think all it does is just kind of make you look a it's little just bit... Become, um, it just become a general um, insult, I think. Snowflake can just be an accurate descriptor anymore, sometimes. Really. Um, yeah, sure. Someone is particularly um, fragile in a way that... Yeah. I, I, particularly in a political sense. Um, I mean, I think... I think we used it when um, loads of people got really mad that I said I wouldn't rim Trump free. I think that we we called them snowflakes a couple of times. Wow. I can't even remember that. What <laughs> you said. We, no, did, wait, we it, did a video on R. Jay no, I, I, know, I know that it was on R. I just can't remember specifically uh, the full context of that video. Jay's not going to put the rump in Trump. No. Essentially what <laughs> yeah, I, I just I made, made a little joke where I was like, this is this is less appealing to me than giving Trump a rim job, and like <laughs> about a dozen people in the comments were really oh, angry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm remembering. It's because oh, I think I remember this because I remember I remember I was thinking like it's not about it. It's, it's just so you would. It's okay. Trump's okay. Well, it's like, just in terms um, of well, here's the thing. Right? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure. Like, like if I made that yeah, joke today, it'd be about Trump, Biden. I wouldn't rim like, him. I was gonna say a lot well, of people wouldn't rim Trump. Whether or not they support him. Yeah, but the it's reaction, I feel, is like it's just the opposite of, like, right. Trump derangement syndrome. It's the one in the opposite direction, where, like, well, any do, trans, right. any perceived transgression against <laughs> Donald Trump, you just jump to these insane conclusions about I, people. I, it's as cringe, well, alright? I just like the idea defend, that you say must that. Must defend Trump, senpai. You, you say I want uh, to rim Trump, but then they're just like, wow, so orange bad bad? And you're like, yeah. no, I just wouldn't. Because yeah, 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 yours is just orange man good. It's as vapid. I just think, don't whole, don't, too, whole, don't worry um, too much if Jay's decided not to rim Trump. Well, like, yeah. What does it say <laughs> about what the politician do you like? You know, I like, would rim him. Not a lot of people were like, um, I'm a good American. I would rim the president. <laughs> like a lot of the people were saying, like, well, why you make this? Why you make this joke about someone else? Why don't you make this? This joke about a left-wing figure, because like, he was so the just, president at the time. Yeah, that is that is pretty <laughs> funny. It's like, why did you make this reference about um, Tony Blair or something? It's like, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I would, I would rim Frida Kahlo. Well, and then, and he, he was like, who the fuck's Frida Kahlo? I was like, see, the book doesn't then, work because you have to wonder who that person is, and people. Yeah, well, it's like, if I made that joke then, right? If I made if I made that joke about someone else, did they? Did, do they fucking think that that would be um, like reasonable for that person's fans to get mad that I well, said then, I wouldn't give that person a rim job? If you said that you would rib like Ulysses S. Grant, then all the Ulysses S. Grant <laughs> fans are like, wow, 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 UDS Look, right there. there, Ulysses Mad Bad, <laughs> Ulysses Derangement. Like, <laughs> <syndrome. laughs> Ultimately, if I was making that joke today, it would probably be about Biden. 
Like, well, of course, because he's pregnant. It wasn't <laughs> a, um, <laughs> see, I still do want to... political comment. I still find it amusing to say it about Trump just because he's such a character that, like, the scenario of him being like, <laughs> 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 funny <laughs> about the that's image, like, isn't it? I think that's true yeah, of yeah, Biden that's as that's well, that's though. I think, yeah. well, I think, I think. I think that if you looked at any example, if it was George W. Bush, I feel like even that's funny. It's just an image. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's as funny Jeb, about Obama. Jeb. Give it Jeb. I don't think it's as funny about Obama. No, I think that's because Obama's got too much of that kind of like. Oh. I think I don't know what, well. how I describe it. He's, I, I think, think Obama's just like closer uh, to being conventionally attractive. Like, I was about to say, I think it's it's just like the standard sort of handsome man no, energy. Man. <laughs> he's, he's definitely... Handsome, smooth man energy that doesn't make it yeah. as funny a juxtaposition. I'd kind of say the same for Ronald Reagan. I feel like that isn't funny either. But like, I don't know, George H.W. Bush feels a little bit funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <What's>, Gerald <laughs> Ford would be funny. Yeah, Nixon would be uh, hilarious. This is the thing about this kind of thing. If you said like George Washington, people would be like, "Why did you pick George Washington? Like, what? Why? Why him I can never tell George? a lie. I am George Washington. You got to You got to go more obscure than that. You got to pick like the really obscure presidents from like the 19th century. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying it was that like, um, the, any choice that isn't in some way contemporary will just be like, why did you choose them? Unless they're associated with rib jobs in some way. Like, or what? alternatively, if it's a really funny... Lord Admiral well, I think rib. that, um... I feel like an obscure reference in and of itself can be really funny. Like, if for some reason you just reference something nobody would ever think of. Um, yeah. Especially if like there's, if like, a, just, a connection to the thing just, and the person that's clever or something. Well... I guess, like, if someone said, you know, I wouldn't rim Andrew Jackson or something. This is his name, right? The one after uh, Lincoln? Or am I mixing him up? I don't fucking know. It was Jackson, yeah. then Grant. I think so. I think you should know this, Rags. You're American. <laughs> yes, I should know the list of the, the 40... Hey, look, you know what? I know the list of, like, the last 10 prime ministers. I can't really do much better than that, except for... Now. Uh, Isn't Biden uh, the 46th? 40, yeah, yeah, Biden 46th. Yeah. Yeah, if, if Biden right, doesn't right, know, I'm a better American than you. If Biden doesn't Damn. know, I don't have to know. Look, wait, the moral, we'll start, wait, hold moral on, of this story yeah. is that no, all those people who are upset in the comment section about you not wanting to rim Trump, they should be saying, <laughs> oh, goody, more for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jackson was before Lincoln. Wait, sorry. So, who? Oof. Because it was vice president, right? As vice president, what was his name? It wasn't Andrew Johnson, yep. right? Because that was someone else, wasn't it? Or Andrew Johnson was someone else. Andrew Johnson? No, so it was Andrew <laughs> Johnson. What do you want me to say to that? <laughs> Wait, fuck. I, damn it. Yeah, so it was Andrew Johnson. Okay, hey, look, all right. Jackson and Johnson is kind of... Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Just like... My, what, my, like my, how fucking flat that was. Album. Like, Andrew Jackson? Or was it Andrew Johnson? Was that someone else? <laughs> just like, yes, that I'm is someone else. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out who's who. The who's who of American presidents. I only know a couple of Canadian ones. I know Wilfred Laurier because he was in Civilization VI. I know Wilfred um, Brimley. I was gonna say, I know the <laughs> 64th president, Wilfred Brimley. I know him. And then, uh, what was, uh... I He's can't remember anybody else. He's the Great White House in the sky. <laughs> where it's made of sugar. Hell yeah, what um, else would you make it out of? You know, one um, of I it is it's said that Beethoven's last words were I will hear in heaven. And so Wilford Brimley's last words were were like, I don't know, something sugar related. I, I, like I You, you ran out of time to make the joke. <laughs> I feel like I'll I can have all the fucking pie I want in heaven. I don't have to use Splenda. I could use the real deal. Um all by the way, oh. the um the free play the galaxy free play stuff is actually pretty good. Like, there's some decent stuff and, like, puzzles and challenges here. Uh, like, better than in the original game. Which, I mean, you know, strength wasn't the combat and the puzzles, but, you know, we, we've got some stuff going on. I would hope there's some um, content in the game, yeah. Le bourgeois. Did I say President of Canada? That's stupid. You Prime Minister. You got the same system as we do. Prime President of Canada. Constitutional monarchy. Well, because I only know about him, and I know Justin Trudeau, and I know his dad was Prime Minister too, but that's that's all I got. Who was Prime Minister you. 1? I have no idea who the first Prime Minister of Canada was. Couldn't tell you oh. that. I couldn't tell you who the first Prime Minister of Australia was. 
Kano? The only one that I know going really far back was John Curtin. That's it. Um, <laughs> otherwise, it starts in the yeah. 70s. Why, why is that funny to you? Oh, he uh, led Australia during World uh, War II. Show him some I, goddamn I, respect. In um, in real countries, there's this thing called curtains, and they like <laughs> come across I, I know the what windows curtains there. are. Oh, that's what what's funny. Are. That's the whole thing. You yeah, know what? People thing. are called Smith because of blacksmith, but you don't laugh at that, do you? Well, that's cool. Yeah, because they're Smith and not blacksmith. Yes, blacksmiths are cool. Will is a black. <laughs> yeah, Will's a blacksmith. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that impressed by that one. <laughs> I, 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 I think that's that's all right. That's okay. good. <laughs> nah, now I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Mola, come hang out with me in Florida. We can shoot guns and say gay. Also, hi rags. Hello. Look, if I'm gonna go hang out with someone to shoot guns, it's probably gonna be rags. I'm sorry. So what, are you going to do it in Florida specifically? I don't know. If, is, there no, is there any reason why you don't want to feel we'll like shooting Florida. guns in go... Manitoba? Manitoba. I just I Manitoba. haven't had a big sort of Manitoba. passion for Manitoba, though I I have heard good things. Well, I mean, isn't I mean, have you not wanted to visit Winnipeg? I hear that Winnipeg is so cool that I'd rather go there than Cape Canaveral. <laughs> Winnipeg sounds like a girl's name. Winnipeg is it? That's please tell like me the... Winnipeg is in Manitoba. Otherwise, like that joke doesn't work. Come on, tell me Win Winnipeg is in Manitoba, and I didn't get it wrong. Winnipeg Come sounds on. like. No, I'm not going. Winnipeg is a province. Like you liar! No, it's what not. What sexual act were you gonna say, Jay? Pegging and Winnie the Pooh. Winnie oh, the no. Winnie Why would you? Winnie yes, it is. Winnie. Yay. <laughs> so what, what you'd have to do in... is you'd have to be a girl, and you'd have to have a strap on, and then you would have to peg Winnie the Pooh, because I think... You'd have to be a girl to peg somebody. I guess that's true, yeah. I suppose you could peg someone if you were a guy. Yeah, you Especially could. Especially those who are just, strap just one on. less endowed, you know? Or you could just... What? You could get a what sleeve, is... right, for your, your dick. You could put it around there and... Strap it on, and it's it's like a, it's like it's basically transhumanism. So um, anyway, video game controller throws a face down tantrum in between the words "rage quit." I'm guessing that's an emote. Maybe. <laughs> video game controller throws a face down tantrum in between the words "rage" and "quit." I gotta be then, right? Yeah, it's like, gotta be. Yeah. Every Every Dude, this is funny. Like, sense. this is it's like a fucking a Star Trek episode. It's just, it just proves the. So that means someone had to look at all these boats and be like, I don't know. A, it's kind of like a video game controller that throws like a face down tantrum in between the words rage, quit. Uh, how, how should, should we, we ask the guy like, who works should, in this building who drew it? Should we ask? Like, them? no, we're different teams. No. So, uh, no. yeah. So when <laughs> they copy and paste that from the thing, what should it read? It's like, uh, video game controller throws a face down tantrum in between the words rage, quit. I guess that's the best way to yeah. I like how straightforward this is. Translated into Chinese, then back to Italian, and then to English, just to shake things up, keep them on their toes. Please bring this British dude again, please. Hey man, well, well we bring back all kinds of people. It's just a matter of getting the right topic. I just want to bring Chud Logic on to discuss whether or not the Batman soundtrack is better than the Nolan trilogy soundtrack. Okay. He would, what would he listen to both that? of them. He would know nothing because he's like a politics guy or drama guy. Like, they don't listen to music. They don't know nothing. True. Mm -hmm. Music is a tool of the oppressor. I've heard mm -hmm. that. I've heard that. Have you actually heard that? Yeah. Why would you not believe me? Uh, probably. Uh, honestly, I, just, I probably. I, I, I. At this point, I don't even know if I believe that that's something that's never been said. <laughs> Well, everything's been said by someone, right? No. I don't know about that. <laughs> Why would you think that? Name, okay. As in, like, name... every, every kind of take has been, like... No! Oh, sure, name... maybe... Well, no, no, not even... No, actually, no. Because it's certainly wrong if you say... There's, there's definitely a combination of words that have never been spoken before. And there is yeah, a combination there are, there of are specific words, but I guess... Um... That we've never heard before, because there'll be takes about things that because haven't been invented yet. Exactly. I guess I don't think it's possible that no one in the world has ever declared music as being like a, a tool of an oppressor. I'm um, I, I can I believe guess, that that's. Been I guess said, I guess when but... we get into like, I guess that when we get into like much more specific stuff, then sure. But when 
Well, like, I, saying, like, uh, Calagranati Gongafi Lissaragati. It's like, has that ever been said before in human history? It's like, maybe. Well, that's, well, that's <laughs> just a Scotsman talking. <laughs> hey, man, you can't do that. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, uh, that's where I'm kind of getting at with the whole, like, we could definitely say stuff that's never been said before. It was just let me speak for an hour-long fucking word. When thing. we get to, um, when we get to, like, um, non not like a level. I, we have to get to a level of like specific or like just nonsense, right? Because I feel that like most generic things have been said before, um, especially if you're not going to be a stickler on specific phrasing. I feel like that's tautology. Like most generic stuff is generic because it's been done or said a lot. True. Ooh. But I guess there, there there is a threshold of how generic you can be before it's never been said before, <laughs> right? Or how? This feels worthwhile as a discussion. It was like the comment in chat. Jay, everything has been said. Also, Jay, Winnie the Pooh being pegged. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that would have been said before. <laughs> oh, no doubt. Um, Probably been drawn before. So, hair character lying on the side, raising his arm while saying, how's it going? That is a super chat because that is describing an emote. I'm f I remember that emote, so yeah, that's definitely one of those. Oh, how's it going, eh? Why, gonna, why would a pear piece. be Canadian? Why would a pear be Canadian? Yeah. A pair of what? A pair of Canadian. No, just um. A pair of a pair of apologies. No, just like um. <laughs> pear. Why would a pear be Can? Oh, is oh this is like a joke. Why would a pear be Canadian? Mm -hmm. Um, why would a pair mm. be Canadian? Mm. Let's see, Canadians are cold and polite, and they like syrup and hockey. Pair. Uh, because mm. they're, uh, they're because they're covered in syrup. <laughs> No, like pears and syrup. Like you, you. A lot of times when you get fruit out of cans and stuff, it has like it has a syrup with it. I don't know why is it. Oh, I was asking you. Oh, I that that that's my guess is that they are best served with syrup, like all Canadians. I don't typically eat Canadians. Whoa. Is that offensive. Think so. What nationality of people do you eat? <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> oh no. Wait, we had all allowed to make fun oh, of Mexico. Oh, I was. I was, um. Last time I visited my parents, right? I got okay. home, and, um. I got, I got home there, and. My mom, I was like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, wait. I think that. Yeah, my mom was like, oh, I'm hungry. And just like, there was a brief pause, and then she just says, Oh, I could murder a Mexican. <laughs> I was <just> like, yeah. <laughs> Mom, no. <laughs> I'll take a sandwich. It's fine. Stand oh, you back. too. Stand back, Jay. How about... <laughs> wow, how old is oh. Jay's mom? <laughs> <laughs> He's very back, old. She, she, she hates I'm those going Mexicans. I'm murder the Mexican. <laughs> it's very strange that she feels this way towards Mexicans, considering... That where no, Jay is from and where Mexicans are from is a very large distance. It's all those movies, man. <laughs> American movies, propaganda is what it is. That's why, uh, why she feels that way. Ignorance. When you see enough so. like movies like The Matrix or whatever, you just start hating Mexicans. They call yeah, Jay a gringo. Damn. Uh, green goo? Fringy's goo? Green goo? goo? They call oh. him a green goo. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm, I'm a... gonna leave now. It's getting oh. time for bed times. So... Sleep well, ah. Nestle. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, for bed. Bye. I'm a zero bit hobbyist YouTuber and Twitcher, and I know not to steal people's content. If he did this to mm. me, I'd necessarily grow by orders of magnitude, yet, I would still be upset by him taking my work. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, a lot of discussion on that you topic, might, and there's a lot of assumption. You like, might assume, but... Mm. Jay, just fucking be thankful for your fat bump. Jesus. 
the fat bump fat of bump. Uh, 200 Not viewers me, for like bump. an hour. Mm. Which, to be honest yeah. with you, if you would ask me to guess him covering the video and then what effect it would have on Jay's video, I'd be like, then you, you know, like guess a number and there's like a selection of four. It was like 10 viewers, 200 viewers, 1,000 viewers, 10,000 viewers. I'd probably gun for the 1,000. I'd be like, surely it's not 200. And I'm assuming because it's a four answer thing that the highest number is the wrong one. But, um, I just, I just wouldn't have thought it'd be so little, but then you find out why, which is that barely anyone could figure out who made it or what it was even called. Yeah. So I was like, oh. And plus, there were Hassan viewers, so it must have been extra hard for them. Oh, hey, that's mean. They're so young. Well, that's why it's extra hard. They're, they're not. They've not. Their brains haven't finished developing yet. Oh. Little embryos on Twitch. Wait, Morlington, where can I find those old videos of yours? I want to know. Oh, when I did like Let's Play stuff, all that's on like, fucking. I, I think it's just deleted. Like it was, it was all just like different plans I had, and then I was like, actually, I want to do this, and then restarted, and I was like, actually, I want to do this thing. Actually, yeah. But I learned so much from those days that I now implement them in my gaming streams. So I think I told people like I was struggling, struggling hard to get some on uh, commentary Strim -strim. out for those Lego games. Lego games, yeah. Lego. Legals. Yeah, it looks like you were really. I can't even see you, and I could tell you looked bored. Oh yeah, I was. I was dying with like, why must I? The fucking level of bugged out. Ooh, I was testing my patience. Oh god, the end door. Ugh, hard, it's like hard. of all the levels to bug out, it's the one that has like no <laughs> gameplay. But it thinks it's a game, you know. It, it it wants to come to the game party and say hello to everybody, and they're all like, oh, you're not. More of a cutscene. Eba dog laughing slightly while blushing and covering his mouth with one arm. Oh, I can do that. I can I can reenact what the emoji is. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. See, I did it. I did it. For once in my life, I was an emoji. Very cool. A rainbow. That, that would be an emoji <laughs> <interesting. laughs> He was an emoji once. <clears throat> a rainbow clapperboard with the words behind the scenes. I guess I was an emoji as well. Oh my god, another does one. Everyone, everyone, does everyone know what a clapperboard is before we proceed? Does I anyone do. need to? Okay. Does everyone, I don't. everyone. So that's, so you know, in the movies when they say action and they have that thing and they oh, clap it, that's the clapperboard. Okay. Board. Didn't know that's what yeah. it was called. Yeah, that's the clapperboard. What about a slapperboard? Slapper board, that's what happens to an actress in Hollywood. They slap her board and she gets so used to it. And that's the real shame is that she gets to a point where she's so used to that happening. And it it's a tragedy, normal. really, and it shouldn't happen. Yeah. Uh, a laptop computer with work on the screen. Yeah. Sort of hmm. picturing that emoji, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, what What do you think they wanted to sort of express with that, you know? I don't know. I Yeah, hmm. I, I'm drawing a blank. Maybe it relates to the fact that you. we were talking about how they don't do much work. That could be it. That's very possible. Fuck. Oh, this one just says a thumbs up. It's nice and simple. Oh, that is nice. Now people can manipulate this and start describing emotes that don't exist. Just to pretend like they... Oh, yeah. That could be fun. Could be fun. That could be pretty fun, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm like... Man, killing... Everyone. There oh. we go. Done it. I'm an improviser yeah. at heart. Austrian painter. 62% of statistics are made up on the spot. Bet you didn't know that. I did. Did you guys have an opinion on E3 going away? I remember growing up watching E3 coverage on game trailers and Giant Bomb. I just yeah, don't care don't about really E3. Care. I, I suppose I just don't. Yeah, I just don't really care about these award game presentation commercials. It's a it's one massive glorified commercial. I mean, I, if I had friends that were interested enough, I'd tune in with them. 
But other than that, I should be like, just give me the updates, what's coming out. I've been too disappointed for too many years on too many different things to really care about these sorts of big corporate masturbatory lie sessions. I think at this stage, um, pretty much everybody's moved away from, you know, doing all of their announcements there to basically co-opting Nintendo's uh, strategy. Nintendo Direct has kind of become, because now Sony does those state of play and like, they do their own presentations, not at E3. Yeah, so. Okay. It's just going to be substitute for something else. Substitute, substituted for something else. Substitute tweeted. Lord of the yeah, Rings, like the two toilets featuring Hassan Pika and his chair. The chair is imbued with Hassan's soul and tricks people into consuming fecal tier content. Beware the Dark Lord Hassauron. <laughs> nice. That could Sauron. be a whole cartoon. Sauron. Unless you can get him to do the live action one. The Twitch arc is to beat is beat to beat MG Rising plot. Um, I'm sure there's similarities with what we went through and uh, things that happen in Melgear. There's always relevant quotes in that series, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not dead. I've been here the whole time. Good. I'm glad you're not dead. Yeah. Is because most white gnats are also objectivist. White gnats? White nationalists? Oh. Are they? Is that what that means? I, don't know. I have no that's my, clue. That's my best guess as well. They seem to be... I don't... I don't know how they would be objectivists. I feel well, like I don't. Because... I don't see how that would be the case either. I don't understand that way. Yeah, Unless I legitimately I don't, don't see how that things. works. It seems that they'd be like racial collectivists, or at least they would they'd discriminate. Objectivists in a... uh, reject alternative notions of rights, such as positive rights, collective rights, or animal rights. How how in the world could they be objectivists then? Isn't like the whole idea of trying to preserve like an ethno state or something that you're appealing to some sort of collective like utility? Isn't that what they all isn't? I, I don't fucking know. Rights that are based off of whatever race it is. Some yeah, vague I, I, general I, group that has been chosen for whatever reason to be of some sort of collective value. That doesn't sound right to me at all. It seems but. to be the only thing that. Because white nationalist in and of itself is just that they think that there should be an ethno state for whites. And then it's at, at that point you could have many different flavors of white nationalists, I suppose. But that seems to be the only thing that really would tie them together. That's an attempt to smear Ryan Rand. I don't know. I just looked up objectivism. There was a part on Wikipedia, and it's got Atlas Shrugged statue on there. Um, because from, I because as from what I remember from Ayn Rand and objectivism is it, it's a super, it's a super focus on individualism. Uh, and people not taking your shit. Uh, but that's just, that's kind of all I really remember. Wikipedia about isn't it. exactly unbiased. I don't know that anybody is when it comes to any of these subjects. Yeah, I was gonna say, where, where's your unbiased source for describing a political position? Senator Hassan Strong. Imagine a world free of censorship, a world where I can play a video for an entire stream. Jaden Exe. I was wrong about you. You're not greedy. You're just a massive sh Massive shat insane. It's just massive shat insane. I agree. Anything that yeah, that insane. yeah, I've had trips to the loo like that. Hassan is a male Twitch thought. And the thing about that... Oh, thought. Is it's really profitable until it isn't, because all your viewers find someone else. Because Han doesn't add anything. He's still going strong for now. We'll see what happens, I suppose. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Hey, boyos! I got my Mola plush. I'm gonna be in and out of this one. I'm watching 152. I'm catching you up. 
Good to see Mula with 100k. Love. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it was be like love, comma, and then a it name. just says love. You know, love can be neat. Um, fact of the day number one: in Australia, rainbows are actually colorful giant snakes. Really? No, that's just Damn. the rainbow serpent story. Huh? The it's a dream time story? story. Yeah. Dream time. Like, yeah, it's like tell, average. Like, what's made up? Time, what isn't but... though? Because. I have no idea, but that's not for me to decide, is it? <laughs> All right. Back to the day two. And I guess, I mean, yeah. What's the fact, Siphon two? fours are multiple individuals fused together working as one. Wait, what? Sorry? Could you say that again? Siphon fours are multiple individuals working together oh, as one. Oh, siphonophores. Oh. Yeah, those, uh, those things that we saw under the water that glow. Neat. Uh, I don't know that that's a fact neat. about Australia, though. That's just a uh, fact. Well, it was described as fact well, of the day, not Australia, fact of Australia. Things. Oh, of the day. Okay, right, I see. Well, uh, everything's about Australia, Fringy. Okay. Base with steam from nose. I, I, I'm familiar with... I guess such that's an uh, emote, is it? Yes, yeah. Oh, that'd truth. just be the angry one, where the steam is coming out your nose, could you- Oh wait, it's meant to come out of your ears, isn't it? No, I guess it can come out of your nose, too. Yeah, give me a lightning on the last lap, thanks. Thank you, thanks. Don't even have time to use it. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. The sad truth is that Hassan is not peculiar. All normies react emotionally instead of thinking critically. They do not seek truth, they rationalize. Hey, I think the average person is smarter than Hassan. There, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I didn't get any pushback either. This is this is the most truest thing that's ever been said. Um, True. Welsh voice. You steal the fruits of the working class. I spend months to make a four-hour video on the Space Wizards movie. We are not the same. I mean, we're definitely not fucking the same. <laughs> the song's doing a a whole different thing. I swear, Hassan's about to scream out, Look here, all right? Look, listen. That would be great. <laughs> Stay strong, long men. And morning from the land down under. Also, good day, Fringu. Hey. Hi, Rags. Good day. I lost my retirement fund in the great devaluing of pooch points. Oh. No, no. I think pooch we, we, we prevented on. that from happening. Bye, bye, bye. I did. I did. I did warn the Raggleton about the influ in, 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 in influx of a million pooch point rewards, and, we, and and I think we stopped it before True. it happened. This person, yeah, I don't know what's up with this person. I think they might have been. I don't know. Maybe someone bamboozled them into some unsavory investment, or I don't know what happened. The ten pooch, pooch point points are strong. The economy is still strong. Ten pooch, point, pooch points is a lot. The, the million reward was, was just a little meme, okay? It wasn't a, it didn't actually yeah, go it's out. just a little meme to make sure you're paying attention. Absolutely. Anyone would know that. That never existed. Pooch points are still going strong. Jesus Christ. Hassan can't hold more than one thought in his mind at a time. He reads the first thing that makes him angry and ignores the rest that gives context to the points he's trying to respond to. Absolute tool. Uh, there's just no good way to... Sort of review his his approach to criticism. You can't like there's barely anything to pull out of there that could be considered a plus. Yeah, everything he says is wrong and based in Ben going shut up. Yeah, and then banning you for either a week or forever, and then the audience that you thought were you I don't know you had a sense of community with mock you and on your way out. Um, my idea drawing, I think maybe they, oh, my idea, I guess, drawing the dollar meat man was his, he's a Lovecraftian monster pretending to be human, but the only reference was racist Chinese cartoons, also hut cream. Ooh, oh, that was the idea bad. behind the drawing. Yeah, because, like, the fact that it was Chinese owned, I guess you want to try and be like, well, it's a Chinese owned hideous monster, and you can end up accidentally drawing something very offensive, I suppose. 
<laughs> um, Hassan had been smoking that Windows 95 Puda Ifrin. Oh, is that meant to be high to me? Yeah, I think so. Hassan's uh, hey, hey. smoking something. I don't know. Hassan has an out of shape hamster running on that wheel at his head. I think it died a long time ago. He's just. Uh... Um, also, we are at 4 hours and 23 minutes, but we're kind of 23 minutes over what I'm trying to make our, um, our catch-ups go to these days. Uh, wow. Mahler hates tradition. The problem is just we haven't gotten through all the Hassan EFAP ones yet, and we definitely haven't gotten through today's ones. Um, <sighs> well, what we can do is... I mean, we could do a, an offline one later, or... I just know that I'm super tired. I've had a rough sleeping tism today um i mean well we're still we've we've answered more than have come in so we're still progressing um, oh that's good and you know i such a weird thing because it's like i think that we, we we had some really fun discussions today and a lot of them came from super chats and so this is just kind of the way it works um we will uh continue to chip away but we're probably going to stop here uh more we'll speed run it. See, that's the funny thing. I could do that. I could just be like, all right, rags for you. Just don't reply to any of these. I'm just gonna read them all out in a big row and then go thank you at the end. But like, we wanna engage. We wanna be like, oh, you talked about fish. Let's talk about fish. You guys like talking about fish, don't you? I enjoyed the discussions on fish. See? It is something that I find very appealing to my sensibilities. I wish that I engaged in such discussions more often than I do currently. Or you could do an offline one, like Rag said. Well, um, what makes you think we aren't already doing that? <laughs> we, we could have many that are just rearing to be released. But, uh, yeah. No, but we could. I will um, grab the ones up for today and just put them at the end of catching up with the Hassan ones so that next week we can probably do that uh, cool. all together. It'll just be like a, a part two. Um... Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're getting there. We did take a chunk out. Um, so, suppose um, we, we will simply say uh, goodbye and good night to all the friendly people at home. Good night, everybody. Thanks for showing um, up and listening to our super chats and, uh, and, and you know, just hanging around. Keep just company. Just being, being there, doing what you do over there as you scroll. Um, sorry, yeah. I did not imply that Ayn Rand was a Nazi. What the fuck was that? All I did was what? read what the definition of objectivism was and said it didn't seem to align with, like, what white nationalism presents. Yeah. Also, she escaped from the USSR, Ayn Rand did. Uh, I don't know where that got pulled from. I don't even know that much about her. Calm oh, down. I see it, yeah. <laughs> Fringy implied Jewish Ayn Rand was a secret Nazi. How in the world did you get that what from what Fringy fuck? said? Did you yeah, like, what the hell? What the hell? Dude, if, oh, if Fringy had said or implied that, me and Well, Rags... then I apologize. Ah, yeah, all whatever. He said, <laughs> okay, all he said is that he <laughs> didn't want to give her a rim drop, dude. <laughs> Legitimately, what did he say that even would have... I have no <sighs> clue how they got that from what you said. <laughs> Like I said, I know enough, and I know Rags knows enough, that if you had implied that, we both would have been like, no, I don't think so. That's the, no. I but, mean, especially considering the arc that we just had, <laughs> like, you think that's something that's gonna be happening? Oh, come on, EFAP are well known for randomly calling people Nazis. I think I way. heard anti-animal rights or something. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's the other thing. Is just, like, he just read shit from Wikipedia? This is, this is like explicitly not exactly what he thinks. Um, no, I think the only time I mentioned it was I saw the Atlas Shrugged statue on the Wikipedia article. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I assume everyone already knew that objectivism is tied to Ayn Rand, but like, the, the, she, isn't she like the progenitor of it? I think she. Uh, think, I, I think, think she, so. She's if if she was Early, building off of some previous it, political. Yeah. Thing she certainly turned it into something that and she's known for it. So maybe it was something different, and then she took that and then changed it and built upon it and turned it into something else, and that sort of became her thing. Um, 
I don't know. I think Leonard Peikoff made a book about her objectivism and everything like that, but I'm, I'm just not, I've read, uh, four of her books. I read the fountainhead and Atlas shrugged. We, the living anthem. And I think that's all the ones that I've read of her, mm-hmm. but I, I don't, I don't think that. I played I, a I mean, game it's... Bioshock. Yeah. <laughs> a game a Bioshock. Game. Bioshock is a great game. Um, but, okay, so to to continue from what we were just so, talking about, bye. Yeah, to wrap up. <laughs> bye. See you later. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, everyone. Hang it out. Goodbye. You guys have a good night. Thanks for donations and uh, keep us company. Bye, we'll bye. see you on Saturday for the multimedia medley. Talk about a whole bunch. Of... Mm, yeah, bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.